Célébrons la résurrection de Jésus-Christ. Votre vie ne restera pas la même. Your career will never remain the same. Ta carrière ne sera pas la même. Your family will never remain the Ta same. famille ne restera pas pareille. Téléspectateurs dans le monde entier, bonne fête de Pâques. If you know that God will do something special in your life today. 
Si tu crois que l'Éternel fera quelque chose de merveilleux dans ta vie, crie Alléluia. Feliz fiesta de Pascua Pascual y a todo y haz una bienvenida a alguien en tu lado. Televidente en todo el mundo, una vez más os doy un feliz fiesta de Pascual y esperamos que el Señor lo vas a hacer este día. Viewers all, all over the world, you are not left out. Les spectateurs dans le monde entier, vous n'êtes pas épargnés de ce service. Televidente. The Bible says in that book of Psalms 118 verse 24. That this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. La Bible nous enseigne que voici le, le jour dans le livre des Psaumes que voici le jour que le Seigneur a fait afin que ça soit pour nous un sujet d'allégresse et de joie. Les spectateurs en tout le monde tampoco nous a dejé à part parce que la Palabra nous enseigne que hoy es el día que le Seigneur a hecho. Right now, open up your heart and worship God in the beauty of His holiness. Ouvrez dans votre cœur à présent, adorez l'Éternel dans la beauté de sa sainteté. Ahora es tiempo de abrir les labios y adorar al Señor. The Bible says only those who worship God in truth and in spirit can bring down the presence of God, the power of God, and the healing of God. La Bible nous enseigne qu'il n'y a que ceux qui adorent l'Éternel en esprit et en vérité qui peuvent attirer la bénédiction, sa délivrance et son salut. La Bible nous enseigne que les verdaderos cristianos sont ceux qui vont adorer le Seigneur en la vérité et en le Spirit. Right now, open your lips and worship God. Adorons l'Éternel une fois de plus. Alors, après très sous présence, abrite tes labes et adore à tout Seigneur. Hearts and the last, beginning and the end, offer and omega. Commençons à remercier l'Éternel pour le souffle de vie. Alors, damos una grâce au Seigneur pour le droit de la vie. Thank God for giving you victory over principalities and powers. Dis merci au Seigneur de t'avoir accordé la victoire face aux principautés et au pouvoir de les ténèbres. Grâce au Seigneur pour avoir donné la victoire à delà de tous les obstacles. Thank God for fighting all your sin and unforeseen battles and giving you victory on every side. Rend grâce éternelle à l'Éternel pour avoir combattu pour toi et t'avoir accordé la victoire de toutes côtés. Dans grâce à Seigneur pour avoir luché à tout bataille physiquement et spirituellement. He paid the debt he did not owe. I owe the debt I could not.
away. Amen. The Bible says in that book of Proverbs 28, verses 13, that whoever, whoever, cons, whoever cons cancel his sin cannot prosper, but whoever confesses his sins will find mercy. Proverbs 29, verse 13, the Bible declares that whoever confesses his péché euh, recevra la miséricorde de l'éternel et celui qui ne confesse pas ses péchés ne pourra pas prospérer. La parole nous dit c'est que à qui ne tape pas sous pécado, non qu'à verra la gloire du Seigneur, mais à qui ne confesse sous pécado, siempre verra sa miséricorde et accomplindo. Right now, open your lips and ask God for his mercy. Ask God to forgive you of all your sins. Ouvrez votre bouche, confessez vos péchés devant l'éternel en lui demandant de vous pardonner. Ahora es tiempo de abrir la boca y decir al Señor que te enseñe su misericordia, que perdona tus pecados, ore ahora. Tal como lo hizo al ciego Baitimao, yo recibo la misericordia del Señor en tu vida. Ore, ore. Dice, oh hijo de David, tenga misericordia de mí, tenga misericordia de mi carrera, tenga misericordia de mi vida, ore ahora en el nombre de Jesús. Ouvrez votre bouche et invitez le Saint-Esprit de venir prendre le contrôle en ce culte. Alors, mettez la bouche et pitez le Esprit du Saint, le Seigneur, que tome le contrôle de ce culte de hoy. Invite le Saint-Esprit de venir prendre le 
Saint Esprit into their service. Invitez le Saint Esprit pour aller plus venir prendre le contrôle au cul de ce matin. Invitez le Saint Esprit que hier est ce lugar de sa présence. Invite all the spirit of God to come and teach us and show us His way. Invitez le Saint Esprit de venir nous enseigner et nous montrer ses voies. Invitez le Saint Esprit que nous enseigne et nous enseigne comment lui orer et assez tout pour le suivre. Pray us in Jesus' name. Nous sommes toujours dans la prière au nom de Jésus Christ. Assez qu'à ce qu'on a bien béni dans le nom de Jésus. Let everything that is dead in my life be resurrected. Tout ce qui était mort dans ma vie soit ressuscité. Let everything that is dead in my career be resurrected. Tout ce qui est mort dans ma carrière se ressuscite. Let everything that is dead in my family be resurrected. Qui est la résurrection dans ma famille. Prayers in Jesus name. This is all Señor Jesus Christ for the power of resurrection. Resuscitate all that lo que está muerto en mi vida. Ore ahora en el nombre de Jesús. Like the flower needs the rain. Like the bird needs the wind. We want to know Présent, recommandons le serviteur de Dieu la porte John Chi entre les mains de l'Éternel. Aurait été un peu de pédir au Seigneur et commettre la poste de John Chi, notre Père, dans la main du Seigneur. Ask God to use him as a channel of light where there is darkness in your life. Demande au Seigneur de l'utiliser comme un canal de lumière là où il y a les ténèbres dans ta vie. Dis au Seigneur que le use comme un médio de luz dans des aïe obscurité dans ta vie. Ask God to use him as a channel. Where there is sickness in your life. Mano Seigneur, il utilise comme un canal de guérison là où il y a la maladie dans. Dis au Seigneur que le use comme un canal de sanidad donde hay enfermedad y afición en tu vida. Ask God to use him as a channel of deliverance where there is bondage in your life. Le Seigneur l'utilise en ce matin pour te délivrer. Dis au Seigneur que le use pour te libérer libre cette mañana. Ask God to strengthen him, empower him, and equip him. Que le Seigneur l'impacte, le fortifie et l'utilise pour sa gloire. Dis au Seigneur que le use, que le yana de son pouvoir et de son onction pour que tu puisses y arriver. Ask God 
be using to give you instruction, direction, and revelation. Le mandat du Seigneur est d'utiliser la fin d'apporter l'instruction, la révélation et la direction dans ta situation. Dis au Seigneur que les révélations et instructions pour pouvoir aider à tous nos autres soi. Prayers in Jesus name. Nous sommes toujours dans la prière. Ainsi que quand tout le monde est dans le nom de Jésus. La Bible nous enseigne dans le livre des Proverbes ce qui accorde de ce qui tout ce que tu demanderas devant l'Éternel te sera accordé. La parole de Dieu est libre de Romains 37 qui a qui en a mal Seigneur te va t'atteindre il a tout le désir de se corriger. Right now open your lips and tell God what you want and what you want him to do for you. Demande au Seigneur tout ce que tu aimerais qu'il fasse dans ta vie en ce culte. Abba la boca ipi da Seigneur lo que quer que ele haga e lo que deseja que haga em tua vida hoje. Prayers in Jesus name. Au nom de Jésus-Christ. Ainsi que oremos en le nom de Jésus. The presence of the Lord is here. The spirit of the Lord is here. His touch in every life sing the
cross. He died young so that you will live long. He died at 33 so that you will die at the age of 100. 120. 150. 200. Are you ready to live long? Are you ready to live long? Nobody is permitted to take your life before time. If you are here today, under this atmosphere, nobody will take your life before time. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Who is shooting you out?
to his loin fell on the ground. Don't look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Who am I? That Christ will die for me. Say neighbor. Who am I? That Jesus Christ will leave his throne. But to come and die for a poor man. Say who be me? Say never who be me? Never who be me? Now who am I there? Where Jesus can die for me? Say never. Give me space. 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 Listen, even Prophet Ellie said, 
This woman done drunk. In the kingdom of God, we are not drunk with wine. In the kingdom of God, we are drunk with the spirit. Is somebody drunk this morning? Until my shoe open. Yes. I say I dance until my shoe open. There is a miracle for you today. Amen. If you believe it, begin to wave your hands. Instrumentalist, just give me strings. Give me strings. There are some people the Lord is going to deliver in this service. Every dry bones in your life will rise again every dry bones in your ministry will rise again every dry bones in your career will rise again the bible says the chastisement of our sin was found in him and it says by his tribe we are healed oh. the apostle you committed was found in him that crime you committed was found in him when the sins became heavy on him his father turned his back away from him oh and our Lord Jesus Christ. Hello, hello. Father, why have you forsaken me? And at that same moment, he turned to the world and he said, It is finished. Oh. for you to kneel on the floor for Jesus oh. maybe that make up on your face you don't want to cry for the finished work the Lord did on you on the cross of Calvary oh. 
That's for me and my household. We will not be silent. We will praise our God. As for me and I come, we will not be silent. We will praise our God. As for me and the man of God, Apostle John G, the senior man of God, we say we will not stop to praise our God. All the evangelists in the house, the shepherd, we will not stop to praise the Lord. We will not stop to praise our God. Oh. Do you know what he did for me? Man may not understand how far you brought me. They may not understand. Your neighbor cannot understand what he did for you. Only you knows what he did for you. Only you know. Higher. Man may not understand how far you brought me. Oh, take My whole strength fail me. Friends and family bees turn their backs on me. But Lord, you stood by me. You never let me down. My own strength fail. Friends and family bees turn their back on me. Oh, me, oh, me, oh. But Lord, you stood by me. You never let me down. That's why I say, what have you not done for me? Only you know, what have you not done for me? I cannot imagine all you went through just for me. Somebody wave your hands to the Lord. What have you not done?
If I shout, it would be enough. If I kneel, it would be enough. If I prostrate, it would be enough. If I cry, it would be enough. Oh. Daddy, if I shout, it would be enough. If I prostrate in the presence of God, it would be enough. You are the great and mighty God. You are great to be praised. You are beautiful for all situations. You are the joy of the whole world. as a fragrance unto him as a sweet fragrance unto Jesus say my life I present to you come up in sweat in a flare and perform for twice and yeah come up in sweat 
Lord itself our worship. Jesus itself our worship.
Yes, oh my love, I want to make you smile. I want to bless your heart. Yes, yes, oh my love, I want to make you smile. I want to bless your heart. Yes, oh my love, I want to make you smile, I want to bless your heart, yes, oh my love, yes, oh my love, yes, oh my love, I want to bless your heart. fingers are not there, you have a hand. Even if your hands are not there and you have a line, just look at it and say, Lord, I worship you. Look at your legs and say, God, I worship you for my leg. Say, Lord, I worship you for my eyes. There are some who have eyes but I cannot see. But the Lord has given you the privilege to see with those eyes of yours. Just lift up your voice and worship Him. Just worship Him. Let's believe that God must do something big to us before we 
worship him. When we worship him for the little things he's done for us. Ayana, When we worship him for the little things he's done for us. He will begin to do more in our lives. You must not own the car before you worship the Lord. You must not own the house before you worship the Lord. There are some right now in the hospital bed. They don't have this privilege like you and I. That we are here in the presence of God to worship him. And while they are worshiping the Lord, you are sitting down. While they are worshiping the Lord, you are opening your eyes and be looking at others how they are shouting for their God. Some of us, we came to church with our own different motives. Some came to seek for the hand of God. Why others came to seek for the heart of God? And if you want to assess the heart of God, it is true worship. It is true worship. It is true worship that you can assess the heart of God. That's why I said, You are amazing. Jesus, you were amazing. 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 Father, you were amazing. Jesus, you were amazing. Jesus, you were amazing. I'm a father, you were amazing. Who can wear the crown on your head? Who can crown you on your seat? Who can enter the place you enter? That's why I say you were amazing. Who can wear the crown on your head? Who can enter the place you enter? You are amazing. If you know how far God went for you, if God could open your eyes, you don't see just a little. How far He saved you from that accident. Some women entered, they didn't make it alive. Some entered, they didn't come out with their children. Oh, when you enter, you come out with your children. When you enter, you come out with your children. When you enter, you come out with your children. everywhere in the social media a whole family will lose their lives but the Lord has been preserving you you drove all the way from Yaounde and you are here God saved you you left Germany and you came here God saved you you left America and you came here my God gave you a safe trip to be here in Cameroon to worship his name many of that did not have the privilege for a safe trip and when they are worshiping God you are opening your eyes it's an error who can wear the crown on your head who can crown you on your throat who can enter the place you enter? You were amazed. Who can wear the crown on your head? Who 
Who can crown you on your throne? Who can enter the place you went? That's why we say you are amazing. You are amazing. Jesus, you love me too much. Oh.
It is time to listen to wonderful transforming testimonies here in the Ark of God's covenant ministry in Jesus' name. I hope all of us here, we are ready to listen to this testimony that is going to encourage at the feet of each and every one of us. C'est le moment pour nous d'écouter les témoignages qui transforment les vies ici au ministère de l'âge d'alliance de Dieu, Boya Cameroun. Je pense qu'en les écoutant, nous serons aussi en mesure de d'être transformés. And so know that today being the day that Christ resurrected, he died and he died with all our troubles. He died with all our sorrows, all our infinity, all our shortcomings. And today he resurrected in order for us to resurrect with him. And we find ourselves today in a new fine life, in a new way, new living condition as children of God. Jésus Christ est mort avec tous nos préoccupations, tous nos problèmes. Il est ressuscité et nous sommes également ressuscités avec lui afin que nous puissions mener une vie chrétienne. So it is time for us to listen to life transforming here, the testimony here at the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry. Viewers all over the world, stay tuned. Please watch your screen. With my problems, looking for someone, someone to help me out. Then I met this man, he told me he was Jesus, and that he loves me more than anything. Then he showed me his gift. Jesus Christ. Our brother is here this morning in our midst to share his wonderful testimony with the people of God. Brother, you're welcome to the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry in Jesus' name. Please present yourself and share with the people of God your wonderful testimony. Frère, vous êtes la bienvenue ici au ministère de l'Arche d'Alliance de Dieu. S'il vous plaît, présentez-vous et partagez avec le peuple de Dieu votre merveilleux témoignage. Je m'appelle Kani Amsi Benoît. Je viens de Yaoundé. Je viens ici pour les parties B. Our brother presents himself as Kani Bendik. He says he comes from Yaoundé. The problem that brought him to the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry was hepatitis B. Ce qui m'a fait venir ici, c'est les parties B, comme je l'ai dit tantôt. He said the problem that brought him to the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry was he was suffering from hepatitis B. Alors, j'ai fait un, j'ai pris un vaccin, une dose. Je suis rentré à la maison naturellement. 
Après quelques années, j'ai eu un paru qui m'a obligé d'aller à l'hôpital. He said all this started when he went for a vaccine and took just one dose. He went back home, living his life, and years passed by. So one, one day, he was just sitting in the house and he felt feverish. So he decided to go to the hospital. Arrivé à l'hôpital, le médecin m'a ausculté, a prescrit un check-up. Et lorsque je suis allé faire ces examens, au retour de ces examens, je suis allé rencontrer le médecin qui les a interprétés. Et à ma grande surprise, elle m'a dit que je suis victime d'une hépatite B. He said, when he decided to go to the hospital because he was feeling feverish, as he arrived in the hospital, the doctors recommended him to do a test. Where, when he did the test, later on the results came out. So when they tried interpreting him, they made him to understand that he was suffering from hepatitis B. Bien sûr que j'avais aussi le palu qu'elle a soigné. Et pour ce qui concerne l'hépatite B, elle m'a recommandé chez un spécialiste, un gastro-entérologue euh, à l'hôpital CHU. C'est ainsi que le médecin à l'hôpital du CHU m'a mis sous traitement après avoir fait des examens approfondis. He said after when this was discovered, he was later on treated for the fever that he was having. But as time was going on, he discovered that the hepatitis B kept on spreading in his body up to an extent where he was sent to a specialist in order to go in for deeper tests. C'est ainsi qu'à la suite du traitement, malgré tous les médicaments que j'ai pu consommer, Ça n'allait toujours pas, le taux ne faisait que s'augmenter. He said though he had to go to that specialist after some check up on him, they had to give him some medications in order for him to take for the treatment of this hepatitis, hepatitis B. B. But when, but he, when took he took it, it as, as time was, was going, going on, on instead, of instead of the sickness, the sickness to, reduce, to reduce, it was instead, it was instead aggravating. aggravating. Le taux a augmenté jusqu'à 12 lors de l'avant-dernier examen de contrôle. Et à la suite de cet examen-là, j'ai encore fait un autre examen de l'échographie abdominale qui a révélé beaucoup d'anomalies. L'échographie abdominale a constaté que mon foie était déjà enjoué de graisse et les veines hépatiques étaient dilatées. Il a dit qu'il a pris ces drogues, but though instead the hepatitis B was small, increasing up to an extent where they had to recommend him to go and meet a cardiologue, and he did a scan. And when they did the scan, they discovered that at the, around his around his uh, in his belly, they discovered that there was a lot of fat around his liver. So the the the, the thing was instead increasing. So he discovered that even the veins along, around his uh, liver was also getting weaker as days were going by. Alors, lorsque le médecin qui m'auscultait par rapport à l'échographie abdominale, il me disait, il faudra aller rencontrer un cardiologue parce qu'à la longue, ce que je vois va te causer un problème cardiaque. So our brother makes us to understand that after when he was being recommended to go and meet a cardiologue, he went there and they, they made him to understand that there was a lot of fat around his liver and this was causing his veins to get weak. À la suite de cela, ils m'ont remis les examens. Je suis rentré à la maison étant abattu. Je me suis affalé dans mon fauteuil J'étais dépassé. So he said later on, when he heard this news, because the doctors made him to understand that this thing was aggravating, the liver and the heart was so much affected in such a way that he was, they were telling him that anytime soon he was going to have a cardiac arrest anytime soon. So he said as time was going on, he was feeling very bad. He had to go home because he could not really find solution to his problem. Alors, dans ma foi, 
puisque étant à la maison constamment, je regardais Act of God. C'est ainsi que le Seigneur me parle, me demande d'aller voir son fils, l'apôtre John Chi. So he said that day he finally left the hospital. He came back. While he was in the house, he remembered that he has always been watching the Ark of God's Covenant ministry. And so a voice just told him, why don't you go to the Ark of God's Covenant ministry and meet the servant of God, Senior Apostle John Chi? Je vous assure que j'ai été beaucoup affecté par cette maladie. Ça m'a affecté financièrement, euh, moralement. Ça m'a même affecté tout mon entourage. Ça me fatiguait de temps en temps. He said his uh, hepatitis B affected him so much in such a way that even his finances went down, even his uh, social life, he was always feeling weak. Alors, j'ai appelé euh, le ministère à Fogot et ils m'ont rassuré que la ligne de prière, c'était cette semaine-là, donc le 24 juillet, et ils m'ont demandé de venir vendredi. C'est ainsi que je me suis déplacé et je suis arrivé ici le vendredi. So he said in because in such a solution where he could not get it, he had to take the decision of coming here in the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry where he came with a medical report and he came on a Friday. Arrivé ici par la grâce de Dieu, tout s'est très bien passé. On m'a enrôlé le samedi. Et le dimanche, j'ai eu la grâce d'entrer dans la chambre de puissance et l'homme de Dieu m'a fait le toucher divin, comme vous avez vu sur l'écran. Au sorti de là, j'étais tout heureux. Put your hands beautifully on Master Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Our brother said when he came here on that Friday, on Saturday, he was opportune to be registered for the prayer line. And he was privileged to get to the power room where he had an encounter with Jesus Christ through his seventh senior apostle, John Chi. He said just a touch brought total healing in his life. He could feel relief and he felt transformed instantly. This can only be Jesus Christ. Hello. Après ce toucher divin, l'homme de Dieu m'a demandé, en fait, à nous tous qui étions dans la chambre de puissance, que nous, il nous a dit que nous sommes guéris, que lorsque nous partirons d'ici, que nous allons à l'hôpital faire des examens de contrôle pour se rassurer que nous sommes guéris, mais que nous retenons cette chose, nous sommes guéris. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ! Indeed, our God is a miracle worker. He said immediately after he was prayed for, the man of God gave them a word of encouragement in the power room and said, after you leave this power room, as you go back, go and redo your test because Jesus Christ has already healed you. Alors, une semaine après que je sois parti d'ici, je suis retourné à l'hôpital et j'ai fait les examens de contrôle de la charge virale qui s'est avéré négatif. J'ai fait l'échographie abdominale qui s'est avérée entièrement négatif au point où le médecin se posait des questions, mais je ne vois absolument rien. Monsieur, vous êtes tranquille, vous n'avez aucun problème. Are you just watching like that? Then to your neighbor, say neighbor. Say neighbor. Today, as I enter that power room, Only one touch, only one touch will bring transformation in my life. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Our brother said when he left and went back home, just in that same week, he went back to the hospital, the same hospital that diagnosed him of having hepatitis B, that was up to an extent that was, was about taking his life. 
But he said when he went back, they did a checkup, did a scan. Even the doctors were shocked because as they did the scan, they could not find anything again. Even the sickness, nothing was finding, found in him again. He was completely free. Turn to your neighbor, say neighbor. Today, after today, I will be completely free from any sickness that is possessing my body. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Après ma guérison totale et parfaite par Jésus-Christ, je voudrais conseiller mes frères et sœurs qui sont ici et même dans le monde. Parce que la maladie, le médecin fait le traitement, mais c'est Dieu qui guérit. Aujourd'hui, par la grâce de Dieu, je suis guéri. J'exhorte tous les frères et sœurs de se connecter sur Jésus-Christ. Car Jésus-Christ, c'est le guérisseur de tout mot que nous pouvons avoir. Restons connectés sur Jésus-Christ. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Our brother is encouraging the faith of each and every one of us here. That belief, when you come into the presence of God, remember that doctors treat, but Jesus Christ heal. And know that whenever you are in any situation, whatsoever be the name of that sickness, know that when you go closer to Jesus Christ, to Jesus Christ there is no sickness and there is no name given to anything. For Jesus Christ knows that each and every one of us is in sound health because we are born to be in good health. He died on the cross in order for you and I to be alive. He was sick for you and I to be healed. And so believe that when you come closer to Jesus Christ, your healing is certain in Jesus' name. So, brother, we can see some documents on the board. Please, can you explain to the people of God what is written on the documents? Uh, Frère, nous pouvons voir certains dossiers sur notre écran. Est-ce que vous pouvez expliquer au peuple de Dieu, téléspectateurs dans le monde entier, ce qui est écrit dans ces dossiers? Ok, je vous présente là les résultats avant la guérison. Je vous présente le taux d'hépatite qui était à 12 500 et la conclusion qui disait que l'hépatite se voit dans le sang. Ici en bas, c'est le certificat médical. Lorsque je suis arrivé ici, on m'a demandé un certificat médical que je suis allé faire à l'hôpital euh, régional de Béa qui prouve que j'étais malade. Après la prière, donc, après la prière, le, le, le contrôle de la charge virale, comme vous le voyez sur les documents médicaux, s'est avéré négatif entièrement. Comme vous le voyez là, c'est négatif. Et sur l'échographie abdominale, il est également négatif sur tous les points. Il y a l'absence de dilatation des veines hépatiques et le foie qui est entièrement en bonne santé. Our uh, brother is, is, uh, explained the documents on the board. He said the first document was when he went to the lab and they did a lab test on him discovering that the, the level at which the hepatitis B in his system has gone up to uh, 12, that's 12,500 level. That means it was at the point of damage. But he said, and the next document shows when he went and the doctors finally diagnosed that he was suffering from a high level of hepatitis. He was being affected by hepatitis B. And the second document on the board shows that after when he came here and Jesus Christ located him in the power room through his seventh senior apostle, John Chi, after that day, he went back to the hospital immediately and they did and they ran another test on him and discovered that everything was normal. Everything came down to normal. His, even his stomach and his liver, the level at which the the fat was at his liver, everything was normal and it disappeared completely. So he came here today to thank God and recognize Jesus Christ for all the wonderful and mighty things that he has done in his life. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. So 
So, brother, we pray that for this wonderful thing that the Lord Jesus Christ has done in your life, when you go back, may you make the word of God a standard for your life and this healing to remain permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Ciudadano del cielo, televidente en todo el mundo, hoy más os doy una bienvenida en esta fiesta que estamos celebrando hoy, que era la muerte de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, y con mucho gozo os doy un feliz día. Hoy y ahora es tiempo de testimonio aquí en el Ministerio de la Alca de Dios. Esta mañana estamos recibiendo a nuestro hermano que estaba hasta aquí, que vino aquí, por un asunto, un problema de hepatitis. El hermano nos dicen que todo le empezó un día con fiebre, se sentía mal. Y así se fue al médico, donde los médicos le hizo análisis y le decían ahí que tienen hepatitis B. B. Y el hermano dice que desde ese tiempo él se empezó a sentir muy mal porque la enfermedad ya estaba mucho en la sangre. Y al tiempo se iban hasta que su hígado y estaba lleno de gresa. Y el hermano dice que estaba debajo de muchos tratamientos, siguiendo tratamiento en el médico, en el hospital, también en medicina tradicional. Pero todo esto no lo podía ayudar porque la enfermedad diario ya se pusiste más peor. Así un día, se, siempre como había de costumbre, mirar nuestro canal de televisión, solía ver lo que el Señor suele hacer en la vida de los demás. Así se diría que tiene que llegar aquí para también poner y experimentarse este poder. El hermano vino aquí un día como hoy, que era la registración de la niña de Pista para Poder, y se fue registrado con los certificados médicos que estaba enseñando que verdaderamente tenía esta enfermedad en la sangre. Así vino y entra en nuestra sala de poder, y cuando se recibió la mano del apóstol John Chi en el medio de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, Después de la oración, el apóstol se le dijo que tiene que salir libre porque antes, después de salir de aquí, tiene que irse al médico porque estás totalmente libre de esta enfermedad. Con fe recibió esta palabra y una semana después, el hermano se fue más al médico y hacer, haciéndose más análisis y los médicos ahí vean que ya estás totalmente libre de esta enfermedad, de esta aflicción que era el hepatitis B. Y ahora está diciendo que la mano del Señor es la que cura, porque los médicos tratan, pero el Señor se libera y cura para siempre. Que Dios bendiga a nuestro hermano en el nombre de Jesús. Seguimos nuestro programa con más testimonio. Put your hands together for Jesus as he walks back to his seat. Make it louder, make it louder. Aplauso en su presencia. Citizens of heaven, answer me like you are truly a citizen of heaven. Citizens of heaven, yes, testimonies still continue here at the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry. Viewers all over the world, wherever you are, stay connected. Watch your screen. Les témoignages continuent ici au ministère de la Séance de Dieu. Les spectateurs du monde entier, restez connectés et suivez attentivement ce témoignage. Regardez votre écran.
is named Che Belinda. This is my daughter. I came from Mutengene. The problem that brought us here today is post-operative infection. Since they operated my daughter three weeks today, they have removed the stitches, but the womb is open. Every day we are in the hospital to do dressing for the womb. It affects me the mother. Because when I see the I see my daughter like this, I'm not happy. I'm not feeling fine because the pains that my daughter is passing through. My daughter is not going to school. Financially, I've spent a lot of money to not avail. That's why I've come to Ark of God Ministry for solution. My expectation is that God will heal my daughter. My name is Chamtera. And the person standing beside me is my mother. We came here because of the post-operative infection. Since they operated me, they removed the stitches, the wound has, there's no change in the wound. The wound is just there. We have been going to the hospital for dressing. They dress the wound every day, but the wound is only expanding there's no healing in the wound i've been feeling a lot of pains i cannot sleep i've not been able to go to school and i'm in form five i'm to get the gc this year i'm unable to eat they do everything for me we went to the hospital there was no solution that is why i have decided to come to the ark of god covenant ministry I'm believing God for healing, for deliverance upon my life. Amen. We pray with you that you should have faith in God. Jesus Christ never said goodbye. You are the right place. God is going to use his humble servant, Senior Apostle John Chi, to put an end to your problem and give birth to your future. And you are going to come back here with a mighty testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Help my daughter. They operated her for appendix. Uh -huh. And since the wound have not yet recovered. They operated they, her? Yes, man of God. For appendix? Yes. Since then the wound could not cover again? Yes, man of God. Man of God, help me please. I cannot go to school. I'm from five. I'm to write a GCE. Man of God, please help me. This will not cause a lot of pain. There's nothing I can do on my own. They do everything for me. Man of God, please help me. Do you believe that Jesus Christ will heal you now? Yes, man of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Jesus Christ, be healed. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Et la blessure est devenue inguérissable. Il est maintenant pour recevoir le toucher divin, toucher l'écran, en demandant au Seigneur Jésus Christ de vous localiser. Regardez l'écran, téléspectateurs. Avec foi dans l'attitude de la méditation et de la prière. In Jesus Christ's name. Ce tir Thank you, Lord, est venu ici avec for healing your daughter. une blessure inguérissable. Christ is not concerned about the wound here now. Okay? Jésus Christ n'est pas Behind this wound, there à la is blessure. A root. Derrière okay. cette blessure, so il y a une racine. Is what Jesus has 
dealt with. Amen. Okay. Move. The problem is solved. Amen. Lorsque la racine est déracinée, le problème est résolu. Amen. Turn up free. Il vient de recevoir l'ordre de soulever pour la gloire de Dieu, téléspectateurs, peuple de Dieu, veillez acclamer merveilleusement pour Jésus-Christ. Hallelujah. Our sister is here in our midst to testify. If you're clapping for Jesus, you'll do it better. <laughs> Glory be to God. Our sister is here in our midst to testify of this amazing miracle that God Almighty has done in her life. Sister, you're welcome to the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry. Introduce yourself the woman next to you, and share with us your amazing testimony. Citizens of heaven, my name is Cham Tyra, and the person standing next to me is my beloved mother. We are from Limbe. Alors, notre sœur ici s'appelle Mademoiselle Cham Tyra, et tout à côté d'elle, elle a sa merveilleuse maman, et elle nous dit qu'ils viennent de Limbe. The problem that brought us here was the problem of open wound due to an operation. Alors, elle nous explique que le problème qui l'a conduite ici au ministère de la silence de Dieu, c'était le problème d'une infection post-chirurgicale. It all started when I started feeling pains on my stomach. Then that's how my grandmother came. She saw me when I was crying. She called for my auntie that was in, that that is a nurse for her to bring drugs because they thought it was malaria. Alors elle nous dit que tout a commencé par euh, de, un mal bénin au niveau de son bas ventre et elle a saisi sa maman qui a interpellé directement une de ses tantes qui est infirmière et ils ont soupçonné que c'était le paludisme. And when she came, she she gave me the malaria treatment, and that's how the, the pain continued. Nothing changed, and that was when they took me to the hospital for checkup before they saw that it was appendix. Alors, elle nous explique que l'infirmière leur a donc fait une prescription euh, contre le paludisme. Elle a commencé à prendre des médicaments, mais suite à cela, il n'y a pas eu de changement. La douleur ne faisait que devenir de plus en plus intense. C'est ainsi que sa maman a résolu donc de l'amener à l'hôpital pour faire un diagnostic. And they said the appendix has already eaten up. That is an emergency. So they booked me for an operation immediately. Alors à la suite donc de ce euh, contrôle médical, il a été découvert qu'elle souffrait de l'appendicite et que c'était à une phase terminale. Il fallait absolument prescrire une opération chirurgicale. After the operation, I went back home. Then I came back after a few days. They removed the stitches. Me going back home knowing that the wound is going to recover. But after I saw that no, there was no change, the wound was instead expanding. Alors c'est ainsi que elle a donc subi l'opération chirurgicale de l'appendicite et que jusque là elle a retourné à la maison. Mais jusque-là, le moment où elle a commencé à enlever les, les fils de suture qu'il y avait sur son ventre, la douleur ne faisait que persister. Aucune condition ne s'est améliorée pour elle. And then when we went there, the doctor said they are going to remove part of my flesh to cover the wound. Then after, my mother here told me that I should have faith that there is nothing that is going to happen like that. That's how we find ourselves here, and the man of God, Senior Apostle John Chi, prayed for me, and that's how I regained full healing. To, to really get what our sister is saying, 
You mean the doctors wanted to remove part of your flesh, that means part of your body, to cover up that wound? Yes. And when the man of God, Apostle John, she prayed for you, what happened then? We went back. The wound just healed completely as in it covered. Are you just listening like that? You are clapping for the God of Apostle John Chi. You can do better than that. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Is there anything too hard for God to do? Is there anything impossible for the God of Apostle John Chi to do? I'm sure you know the answer to that. Je sais que vous there is nothing solution. impossible. There is possible. nothing hard. Everything is possible for the God we are serving. Tout est possible Hallelujah. Alors notre sœur nous dit que après avoir enlevé dans les fils de chaussures sur son ventre, euh, les blessures sont restées ouvertes pendant longtemps, comme vous avez visionné sur l'écran. Et elle ne faisait que ressentir de plus en plus la douleur. Et c'est ainsi que le médecin a donc proposé comme dernière solution de couper une partie de la peau et refermer le ventre. Sa maman a donc dit non, cette chose ne serait pas possible. Elle va exercer la foi pour que sa fille reçoive la guérison. C'est ainsi qu'elle a pris la résolution de venir ici au ministère de la silence de Dieu. Elle a donc été reçue par l'homme de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi. Dieu a utilisé les facteurs de l'homme de Dieu pour la restaurer totalement. Et après la prière de l'homme de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi, Elle a été totalement guérie. Nous avons vu comment les blessures sont complètement refermées. As you can see, there is no pain. I can tap my stomach. There is no pain. Just the touch from Senior Apostle John Chi has made me heal properly. Hallelujah. So, right now, we are going to see that evidence of Jesus Christ, which has been made manifest in this young girl's life. Right now, watch your screen. Regardez votre écran. Nous allons voir cette évidence maintenant à travers l'écran, ce qui s'est passé avant et ce qui s'est passé après le miracle de prière qu'elle a reçu ici. Same belly that was open. Look at how it has closed completely. That is the healing and resurrection power which was present when Jesus Christ took to the cross for you and I. That is that same power that is present here at the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry. And today, you will experience that same power in the power room in Jesus' name. So right now, can you explain that document to, to us? This is my medical report. This is to attest that the above named patient has been diagnosed of surgical site in infection following a Following a surgery. Yes, our sisters just showed us the medical report. We showed the gravity of the infection, the gravity of the open wound she was suffering from after the surgery for the appendicitis. And once she just came here with that open wound, just one touch from the man of God, Apostle John Chi. And you have just watched how the wound closed immediately. That is what the God of Apostle John Chi can do. He can turn your life around, change your story. This sister's case was a hopeless case. You saw, we all watched the gravity of that wound. We all watched how that wound was open, such that the doctors even had no choice they wanted to cut part of her body again just to cover that wound. You can imagine that. You can imagine the suffering this girl was going through. She could not go to school. She could not live a life as a child. Just a young girl of 15 years. 
You can imagine. And now the God of Apostle John Chi has given her a new life and a blessed one at that. Can we please celebrate this grace? Can we celebrate this grace? Et nous pouvons célébrer cette grâce. Alors, téléspectateurs, nous venons de regarder ici sur le babillard le rapport médical qui avait été fait par notre sœur Vera lorsqu'elle avait une blessure ouverte sur le ventre. Et le rapport médical déterminait qu'elle avait eu une infection à la suite d'une opération chirurgicale. Alors, à la suite de son passage ici au ministère de la Science de Dieu, et qu'elle a reçu la visitation de l'ange de Dieu au travers des facteurs de l'homme de Dieu, la porte John Chi, elle a retrouvé complètement sa santé. La blessure ouverte de son ventre a été totalement refermée. Elle ne ressent plus aucune douleur. Elle vient de, de nous présenter euh, physiquement euh, la cicatrisation de ses ouvertures, ce qui montre la preuve que notre Dieu, le Dieu de la peau de Gentil, est capable de faire. People of God, as you can see now, I am fully regained, strong and healthy after the touch from the man of God. Now I can go back to school freely without any pains on my body. Hallelujah! Make it louder, make it louder, make it louder! I don't know about you, but I am excited to be under this grace of the God of Apostle John Chi. Are you excited? Are you happy? Are you privileged? Put your hands together for Jesus one more time. Alors notre sœur Vera continue à nous dire que depuis qu'elle a reçu sa guérison ici au ministère de la Seigneur de Dieu, elle ne ressent plus aucune douleur, elle n'a plus aucune peine, elle a reprend, elle a repris complètement ses études maintenant, elle est là pour rendre grâce à Dieu pour ce qu'il a fait dans sa vie. Citizens of heaven, My name is Jan Belinda. The person standing beside me is my lovely daughter. I want, I want to thank God for what God has done in his life. Alors, elle vient de se donner, elle nous a donné son nom, et tout à côté d'elle, c'est sa fille. Elle est là pour rendre grâce à Dieu pour ce qu'il a fait dans la vie de sa fille. It all started when he got up one day. He told me that He has pain on his stomach. Alors, elle nous explique que un jour, sa fille s'est réveillée et elle lui a dit qu'elle ressent la douleur au niveau de son bas ventre. And I and 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 as he told me, we went to the hospital and the doctor booked us for operation. Alors, lorsqu'elle euh, a donc, appris cela, elle a tout de suite conduit sa fille à l'hôpital et après le diagnostic, le médecin a prescrit immédiatement une opération chirurgicale. After the operation, the he was not healed. That's why we came here to the Ark of God, Convenant Ministry, and the man of God lay hands on my daughter and my daughter healed in Jesus' name. Alors, à la suite donc, de l'opération chirurgicale, la blessure ne s'est pas totalement refermée. Au contraire, des ouvertures se sont faites, comme vous avez vu sur l'écran, au point où l'inquiétude était devenue grandissante. C'est ainsi qu'elle a donc pris la réception de venir ici au ministère de l'Alliance de Dieu. Et elle a, été, elle a eu à rencontrer Dieu au travers des facteurs, son serviteur, la porte John Chi, qui a prié pour sa fille et instantanément, elle a reçu sa guérison et sa délivrance. Citizens of heaven, the person standing beside me is my lovely daughter. What brought us here is open womb. Alors, euh, elle vient une fois de plus euh, de reprendre son témoignage. Elle nous dit que ce qui les a conduits ici au ministère de la science de Dieu, c'était une infection suite à une opération chirurgicale. My daughter was operated and the wound was getting open. Alors elle nous explique que sa fille avait été euh, opérée et le ventre est resté ouvert au niveau des blessures qui avaient été touchées. The doctor said they would cut her flesh and lock the wound. And 
We have our neighbor that is fellowshipping here. He told us that there is prayer line. Alors, c'est ainsi qu'à la suite de l'opération chirurgicale, les blessures sont pas refermées, mais au contraire, il y a eu des ouvertures au niveau de son ventre. C'est ainsi que le médecin a donc proposé de couper une partie de sa peau quelque part sur son organe, sur son corps, et de refermer ses blessures. Elle a donc refusé et un, un de ses voisins qui est membre dans ce ministère leur a conseillé qu'il y a euh, une prière ici et qu'elle vienne ici juste pour la ligne de prière. That is how I brought my daughter here and Apostle John, Apostle John, she pray for my daughter and my daughter get healed. Alors c'est ainsi donc qu'elle a fait venir sa fille ici au Monsieur la Chérie de Dieu. Continue to put those hands beautifully for Master Jesus. What our mother is trying to say, our mother is just trying to explain the ordeal that she went through with her daughter. How it all started when her daughter was complaining of stomach pain and she was rushed to the hospital and then a surgery was performed on the daughter on an appendix. And then after a while, that part of her tummy started opening and it became a wound. And that wound refused to close. Upon everything that was done, the wound kept opening and opening and opening and caused her daughter so much discomfort that even the doc there was no hope. Even the doctors decided that all they could do was to cut off part of her flesh, part of her daughter's flesh, to want to cover that wound. But the mother said no. And the neighbor introduced them and told them that Uh, that there was going to be a power room service. There was going to be a prayer line service here at the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry that they should come. Please continue. As we came here, as the man of God touched my daughter, my daughter got healed. Before then, my daughter was not doing anything. And when my, when my daughter started to feel the pains, my daughter would start to cry. I would go and look for my own corner too. I start to cry. When I finish crying, I came back. You asked me, Mama, where are you coming from? I, I told her that I'm outside. Our mothers just explained the gravity of what her daughter went through. And that when they came here to the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry and they encountered prayers from the man of God, that was how a daughter's problem came to an abrupt end. That is how the wound closed. But that before then, she also was suffering as a mother. You know how a mother's love is. You know how a mother's love is. A mother cannot watch her daughter go through pain and the mother will not go through pain. So she says as her daughter was crying, she too, she, would, she, she didn't want her daughter to see her cry. So she would just go to a corner and cry her own and then come back after a while. But after the prayers... From the man of God, Apostle John Chi, from God's general himself at the power room. Everything, all the trouble, all the problem, the pain, the infection, the open wound, everything has come to an end. Glory be to Jesus. Alors, téléspectateurs, nous sommes toujours en train de suivre le témoignage de notre sœur Vera, qui avait des ouvertures au niveau de son ventre à la suite d'une infection post-chirurgicale. Alors, c'est ainsi que sa mère vient donner le parcours, comment est-ce que cette situation l'avait affectée. Elle nous explique que la maladie de sa fille l'avait tellement affectée au point où, lorsque sa fille commençait à pleurer, elle se mettait aussi à pleurer et elle se posait la question, où était son Dieu? Elle nous dit que financièrement, tout ce qu'elle pouvait avoir comme moyen financier a été mis pour l'intervention en vue de la santé de sa fille. À la suite de la recherche de la solution, elle a pu rencontrer euh, un frère qui est dans ce ministère, la chance de Dieu, et qui lui a proposé qu'il vienne se faire enregistrer la ligne de prière. Lorsqu'elle est venue ici au ministère de la chance, ils se sont fait enregistrer la ligne de prière. Sa fille a été euh, directement reçue par l'homme de la porte de Chi qui a prié pour elle, et instantanément, elle a reçu sa guérison et sa délivrance. I want to advise all the mothers that when a child is going through pains. Please run to God and you have your solution as I have my own solution. 
Alléluia. Alors, le conseil que euh, la maman de Vera nous donne ici, c'est que lorsque vous avez un problème quelconque, recherchez la solution en Dieu, car il a la solution en toutes choses. So we rejoice with you for this wonderful healing that God Almighty has done in your life. So what is your advice now to your colleagues, your mates are all around the world watching you? My advice is that God is the only solution to any problem. Whatever problem you are having, just watch to God and you see your solution. Hallelujah. Alors, le conseil que notre sœur Vera donne ici à tous les téléspectateurs et plus particulièrement à ses camarades d'âge, c'est que lorsqu'on fait face à n'importe quel problème, accourez vers Dieu car il a la solution à tous problèmes fondamentaux de la vie. Ciudadano del Cielo, notre hermana Chem Terra desde Boya, estás aquí esta mañana, oh. vino aquí, estás aquí pour dar testimonio de lo que el Señor Jésus-Christ hizo en su vida. Así vino aquí por un asunto de apendicitis, porque la hermana dice que la pen, eh, un día tenía fiebre y su abuela se llamaba a su tía para que la pueda ayudar. Y después de dar el tratamiento de paludismo, se di cuenta que el, la hermana seguía sintiendo dolor en la matriz. Así la llevaron al médico por más análisis, donde la dieron ahí que tiene este problema de, apendic de apendicitis. Y ahí los médicos le dijeron que se tienen que operar este día mismo. Y así la hermana recibió la operación, pero algo pasó después del día, en vez que las curas, las heridas curas, pero la, las heridas seguían abiertas. Así que esto, esta herida, el lugar que había recibido la operación no quería sanar, no quería secar. Y así todo diario, cuando se, se tenía que ir dos días o al menos todos los días para poder limpiar, se la herida y los médicos le dijeron que para tener por para encontrar una solución por este asunto se tenía que sacar la piel en otro lugar de su cuerpo para poder tapar la herida y así su madre nos dice que uno de sus vecinos y siempre congresó de congregar aquí con nosotros la dijeron que aquí quiero que vamos a tener una línea de oración y me gustaría que usted viene aquí Así vino aquí con su hija, con los certificados médicos, enseñando todo el peligro que había pasado a su niña. Y dentro de la sala de poder, el apóstol John Chi se dio orar sobre la hija y tiempo después la herida empezase a curar solo de una manera muy normal. Por eso estás aquí esta mañana para agradecer al Señor Jesucristo por haber usado el apóstol John Chi para poder terminar, exterminar esa aflicción que estaba atormentando la vida de su hija. También es aconsejado a los demás madres que mientras se encuentran delante de cualquier dificultad en la vida, que siempre se pone en la mente que la única solución en la vida es a correr delante del trono del Señor, porque en su mano tenemos todo, liberación, sanidad y todo lo que puede seguir a sus hijos. Que Dios bendiga esa hija en la madre en el nombre de Jesús. Seguimos Uch. con nuestro programa. Put your hands together for Jesus as they walk back majestically to their seats. Make it louder, make it louder, make it louder. Watch your screen, watch your screen. Mira tu pantalla. Let's watch our screen. Testimony continues. Walking down the road of life, burdened with my problems, looking for someone, someone to help me out. Then I met this man. Jesus, and that he loves me more than anything. Then he showed me his gifts and beat me on the cross. I'm Abuna Robert, I'm 22 years old, and I'm from Cameroon, Boya. 
So, sir, what problems brought you to the Akungot Covenant Ministry? I've been diagnosed with HIV AIDS. I came across this disease from fornication. So, sir, where have you been to in search of solutions to this disease? Actually, I've just been to the hospital and when I was diagnosed, following treatment, I just decided to come to, to the Ark of God Covenant Ministry because I know God can do it for me. How has this problem of HIV and AIDS affected you? I felt bad and it brought pressure among my peers. Like I going feel free and it brought a lot of pain and sadness to me. I believe God can heal me through his man of God, Apostle John Chi, and I know my healing is certain. And definitely a healing is certain in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Continue to clamor for Jesus Christ. Indeed, situation that seems ordinary may have extraordinary effects in the spirit, much of which is hidden to our ordinary eyes. So our brother is here in our midst to share with you his setbacks and come back. So as you are listening to him, you listen with a prayerful heart. So you're welcome to the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. Introduce yourself to the people of God and the people standing next to you and share with them your wonderful testimony. My name is Sabuno Robert. The person standing next to me is my lovely sister and my parents, my mom, my dad. Notre frère Robert se présente. Il représente à son extrémité droite sa sœur et ses parents. The problem that brought us to the Ark of God Covenant Ministry was I was diagnosed with HIV. And it all started when on uh, November when I realized I could not eat and I was constantly losing weight. So he, he brought a bottle to me and with time I didn't really take it serious like that. But I went to the clinic and I did other like normal tests and I took normal drugs because I felt maybe it was just something like an upset in my stomach or something. Alors notre frère Robert nous fait savoir que tout a commencé en novembre quand il a commencé à ressentir certains malaises. Il s'est dit que c'était juste passager et nous fait savoir que ce qu'il a préalablement amené ce mystère de l'âge de l'alliance de Dieu, c'était le problème du virus du sida, l'infection. It all started after the university when I graduated. By the time I was like, after I had gone on to live my life as a normal young man. I was like trying to have fun. I didn't really take things like seriously because I'm from a Christian woman. I know what it means to live a Christian life. But with, with time, as I got to get in contact with other friends and the influence and how I saw them living their lives, I didn't think it was a problem living the life we were living, having trying to catch fun. Alors notre frère Robert continue à nous faisant savoir que tout remonte à lorsqu'il a été gradué de l'université, étant un jeune. Garçon, il, il voulait mener sa vie comme euh, tout garçon de son âge. Et, et étant issu d'une famille chrétienne, il savait effectivement ce que c'est que d'être euh, chrétien et également la vie qu'on doit mener en tant que chrétien. Mais éventuellement, il était à la merci de ses camarades qui voulaient qu'il passe, qu'il mène une vie de leur âge. Coming in contact with bad friends influenced me in a way, and the what we were doing from time to time, we we'll go to clubs, try to like have a good time and live our lives the way we could live it, and uh, without any thought of consequences. I forgot all about my my Christian upbringing, and it affected me in the way that's affected me right now. Effectivement, notre frère Robert nous fait savoir qu'étant ce jeune homme qui voulait mener sa vie en tant que jeune garçon de son âge, il entra en contact avec ses camarades de classe qui 
l'ont amené dans des boîtes de nuit. Il a commencé à vivre une vie impie et il savait effectivement les conséquences de cela parce qu'il vient d'une famille chrétienne. So while at the club, we, at times we, we drink a lot, we smoke, we do all types of things, and when we have a lot to drink, the next thing we try to like play around with girls. Alors, il nous fait effectivement savoir que lorsqu'ils allaient en boîte de nuit, ils consommaient excessivement de l'alcool. Il les arrivait même de fumer. Il nous fait savoir qu'à la suite de cela, il allait aller avec les femmes et se mouvoir avec les femmes. So, we went around having an affair with girls and when I saw that this life was not good, based on how I grew up, I decided to take a step back. In my closet, trying to pray to seek the way of God, I, I realized I was not um, kind of fine. And on a certain day, I went to my friend, we wanted to eat, and I just felt, I just heard this voice like, do a checkup, do a checkup. And that's how I went to do my checkup. Alors, ayant commencé à mener cette vie malsaine, il se retrouvait en boîte de nuit, à fumer, à boire avec des amis, et par la suite, ils allaient avoir des relations intimes avec des femmes. Étant issu d'un background chrétien, il nous fait savoir qu'il avait en lui ses connaissances chrétiennes et à un moment donné, il s'est posé des questions. Il s'est dit en lui que ce qu'il était en train de faire n'était pas la volonté de Dieu. Et quand il se posait ces questions, il a décidé donc d'aller faire un check-up à l'hôpital parce qu'il ne se sentait pas bien. So going to the hospital, I had no clue of what I was actually going to, to check about. I just following the voice in my head to do a checkup. When I arrived at the hospital, like the doctor asked me, what do you want to actually check? I was confused because I didn't even know what I was going there to do. I just knew I wanted to do a checkup. So explaining to the doctor, she explained to me, it's a lot to do a general checkup because there are so many things you have to check. So she was like, what do you want to check? I was like, I would like to check on STDs. And after that, she explained to me, in order to do that, and if we are going to do a general checkup, it's going to be so expensive. So we should like do the main STDs checkup. I was like, okay, that would be fine for me. Alors il continue à nous faisant savoir qu'étant conscient de la vie qu'il menait, qu'il n'était pas actuellement ce que voulait Dieu voulait, il a décidé de d'aller à l'hôpital pour faire des examens de routine. Arrivé à l'hôpital, le docteur lui a demandé ce qu'il voulait précisément faire comme examen. Il a dit qu'il voulait juste se fait consulter et le docteur lui a fait savoir qu'une consultation générale va te coûter assez cher, qu'il faut qu'il fasse une, un examen précis. Among the tests we had to do, I did a test on chlamydia, syphilis, HIV, and hepatitis B. And when they did this test and the results came out, I was diagnosed negative on all the others, but for HIV. Alors, décidément, ils ont décidé de faire trois tests, notamment le chlamydia, le test du chlamydia, le test de l'hépatite et le test du VIH-Sida. Et à la suite de ces examens, il s'est avéré qu'il était atteint du VIH-Sida. So when the results came out for the HIV, like when I entered into the doctor's office, she was like trying to like give me like a consultation on how I'm going to live my life from now on and trying to like advise me on how to go about it. And I couldn't accept it because it was, I, I didn't know how to take it. It just sounded kind of strange and funny to me. So I didn't like, kind of take it seriously. And I left home and it was, I was disturbed. Seriously, my heart, I was really disturbed. So when I got to the house, I just made up my mind to do it somewhere else. Alors, Frère Robert continue son témoignage en nous faisant savoir que quand son examen est sorti, le docteur l'a fait rappel dans son bureau et lui a dit qu'il souffrait du VIH-Sida et il a commencé à lui donner certains conseils de comment est-ce qu'il devrait désormais vivre sa vie. Il nous fait savoir qu'il avait la connaissance de tout cela étant issu d'un background chrétien. Quand il est rentré à la maison, il était confus et ne savait que faire. So when I got home, I, I could not tell my parents because I didn't know how to take it, being what it is and... I had a, a thought in me, the only person I could confide in was my sister standing right beside me because I knew she's a child of God and I knew she could be, she'd be able to take it and she would handle it well and guide me on how we should go about it. 
Alors, il continue en nous faisant savoir qu'étant confus à, à, suite à le, au résultat de l'examen, qui s'avérait positif du VIH-Sida, quand il est rentré à la maison, il était terrifié, il ne savait pas comment expliquer à ses parents. Il n'a pas abordé ses parents en premier lieu. Il s'est d'abord retourné vers sa sœur parce qu'il savait que sa sœur devait mieux le comprendre. C'est ainsi qu'il s'est confié à sa sœur. When I called her, she advised me to do the test again. Maybe it could be a mistake, she said. And I took her advice. And the next day, I went to do the test again. And it still came out positive. Alors, s'étant confié à sa sœur, il a, sa sœur lui a donné comme conseil de refaire un autre test, un autre examen. Le lendemain, c'est qu'il a effectué et cela s'est avéré une fois de plus positif. When I got the result, based on how the doctor even gave me the result, it actually made me to become depressed. And I felt a serious pain in my heart because I have a lot of dreams that I really want to accomplish in my life. And with such a result coming to me, I, I didn't know how to take it. And it actually brought this pain, self-doubt, regrets, and a lot of depression in my heart. Alors, à la suite du deuxième test, du deuxième examen que lui avait conseillé sa sœur, qui s'est effectivement avéré positif, il nous fait savoir qu'il s'est plongé dans une très grande dépression. Il a commencé à avoir mal au cœur. Il a commencé à penser à tous ses projets, comment est-ce que ses projets devaient tomber à l'eau. Et cela l'a véritablement plongé dans une dépression totale. So, with the help of my sister, as time passed by, we seek the face of God and... After a while, I went to do the check again, and it still came out positive. Alors, étant désespéré face à sa situation, le conseil que sa sœur pouvait lui donner, c'est de chercher la face de Dieu par ses propres forces. Il a cherché la face de Dieu, mais quand il est reparti pour effectuer un autre examen, cela s'est encore avéré positif. With, with, what was, with the results I had received, I even sometimes went to Google like to search to see if there was any hope for me, like if there was any way out. But I realized, like Google always tells you, there's no cure. And we, we'd seen such a, a response. I felt so bad because, like, well, that was the end for me. Alors, étant donné que ce troisième résultat s'est avéré une fois de plus positif, il était embarrassé, il était troublé, et il posait des questions de part et d'autre de voir la me la mesure par laquelle on pouvait lui sortir de, cette, de ce problème, mais il n'y avait pas d'issue. And after I received the results, with time going by and my sister praying, she advised me to seek higher grace as we, she appointed to the Ark of God Covenant Ministries and I accepted and I said I was going to come here and, and seek the face of God. Alors, ayant, étant déjà épuisé mentalement, physiquement, psychologiquement, avec les maux de cœur, la dépression, notre frère nous fait savoir qu'il a cherché en vain la solution à son problème et finalement, sa sœur lui a demandé de chercher une grâce supérieure et lui a proposé de se rendre ici au ministère de l'âge de l'Alliance de Dieu, ce qui a été fait. So I got an information from a friend that works here that is going to be prayer line that week. And gracefully, I was hoping to be here. And when I came here, I was supposed to register for the prayer line and enter the power room. And I got an encounter with the humble man of God, Apostle John Chi. Alors, Monsieur Robert continue à nous faisant savoir que, ayant reçu l'information d'un ami qui persévère dans ce ministère de ce qui y aurait la ligne de prière, il a donc décidé de se rendre ici afin de se faire enregistrer. Pour la chambre de prière, s'étant tenu par la foi, il est arrivé ici dans cette arène de la liberté et il a eu le privilège de rencontrer l'homme de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chin. People of God, when I had the touch from the man of God, I just felt this light. I just felt light within me, and I felt this power of God upon me, which I've not felt for a very long time. So I knew my healing was sure. And when I left the the, the power room, the man of God blessed me with the living water. Which I've been using to pray and seek the face of God. Alors notre frère Robert continue à nous faisant savoir que il a expérimenté la puissance surnaturelle de Jésus-Christ 
dans la chambre de puissance au travers des facultés de l'homme de Dieu, apôtre John Chi. Quand il a touché, il a été saisi du Saint-Esprit et il a senti une légèreté en lui. Et c'est ainsi qu'à la suite de ses prières, l'homme de Dieu lui a offert gracieusement de l'eau vive. So after some time, after the prayers, I decided to go for another check-up. Just to be sure, because actually, with faith, I believed on the day of the prayer that I was healed. But as time went by, I started having doubts, like, am I really healed? Or... <laughs> so I really wanted to go for the check-up again to be sure. Alors, il précise en nous faisant savoir que le toucher divin au travers des facultés de l'homme de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi, a apporté la paix en son cœur et également cette eau vive qui lui a été offerte gratuitement. Il est rentré à la maison. Il a continué à administrer cette eau vive en déclarant des paroles de foi concernant sa situation. Et ayant cette foi, il a décidé de se rendre à l'hôpital pour, pour d'autres examens. People of God, to the glory of God, After doing the test again, the results came out negative. You can do better. You can do better. If you're clapping for the King of Kings, come on, make some noise for Master Jesus Christ. Effectivement, bien aimé en Christ, rien n'est impossible à celui qui croit et celui qui applique la foi. Alors, notre frère nous fait savoir qu'il est rentré à l'hôpital pour effectuer une autre routine, examen de routine concernant sa situation. Après examen, il s'est effectivement avéré qu'il a été déclaré négatif de ce problème de veille à Sida pour la gloire de Dieu. People of God, with, with that joy in my heart, I left and I contacted my sister and I told her the good news. I received my healing and God was merciful. With that joy in my heart, after some time, we decided to do the test again, and it still came out negative. Alors, M. Robert nous fait savoir que, à la suite de cet examen, après la prière sur le ministère de l'Âge de l'Alliance de Dieu, qui s'est avéré négatif, il a été saisi d'une joie inexprimable. Il a immédiatement fait appel à sa sœur pour lui faire savoir qu'il venait de faire son test et cela s'était avéré négatif et tout, tout s'était dans la joie et par la suite, sa sœur lui a encore demandé de faire d'autres examens et ce qui a été fait, cela s'est avéré une fois de plus négatif. The people of God, as time passed by and I was enjoying my testimony, enjoying what God had done in my life, I decided to go to Douala to do the test again And by the grace of God and the power of the God, I received the blessing of God with a good confirmation. The test came out negative. Put your hands beautifully for Master Jesus Christ. Alors, étant saisi de joie par rapport à cette bonne nouvelle de ce qu'il était négatif au VIH SIDA, il fait savoir que pour une autre confirmation, il allait faire un énième test à Douala et à la suite de cela, il s'est avéré une fois de plus que notre frère Robert a été déclaré négatif du VIH SIDA. I want to thank the, the, the living Lord who by his power and in the power of his restoration and resurrection I was being healed. I want to thank the man of God, Apostle John Chi, for allowing himself to be used by God in this great way in this commission. Thank you, Jesus. Effectivement, la puissance de guérison, la puissance de résurrection a agi dans la vie de notre frère Robert qui s'est tenu par la foi en arrivant ici au mystère de l'âge de l'alliance de Dieu concernant sa situation. Il est très heureux de cette grâce et par la même occasion, il rend grâce à Dieu de ce qui continue d'utiliser l'homme de Dieu, apôtre John Chi, fait la merveille au milieu de son peuple. Say neighbor. Dites voisin. I cannot hear you say neighbor. Dites voisin. When God is involved. Lorsque Dieu est impliqué. In my matter. Dans votre situation. It does not matter. Peu importe. Who else is involved. Qui d'autre y est impliqué. The matter is settled. Votre situation est résolue. Say, do you believe that? Le croyez-vous? Say my matter is settled today. Une, ma situation est résolue my en ce jour. My matter is settled today. Ma situation est résolue en ce jour. All right, let's listen to our sisters. Your name and the people standing next to you. I'm Prophetess Patience Avunon. This is my younger brother. 
my mother and my father. Prophétesse patience se présente, elle présente à ses côtés son frère cadet et ses parents. So you have listened to your brother and what can you say? I want to appreciate God for his mercy, his faithfulness because it was um, I just want to thank God for his mercy actually. When he called me and told me he was um, like the first test he did, he called me and told me he has been diagnosed HIV positive. It was like a heavy blow to me because in our house we got, he has a lot of gifts that we have a, a, like great expectation from him. So when he told me HIV, it was a heavy blow to me. I, and I work in the hospital, so I know the consequence of HIV. Actually, during that period when he told me I was working in, in the medical world, medical men were, so there were many HIV patients there, and you know, you see them, you, you minister to them daily, so I knew the consequence. I could not, I could not bear it. Alors, notre patience nous fait savoir qu'elle est là pour effectivement reconnaître la miséricorde et la grâce de Dieu au sein de la vie de son frère. Elle nous fait savoir que lorsque son frère l'a appelé pour lui annoncer de ce qu'il était atteint du VHSIDA, c'était comme si le ciel lui était tombé dessus parce qu'étant issu d'une famille chrétienne et son frère étant très jeune, on avait l'espoir, toute la famille, l'espoir de toute la famille reposait sur lui et les attentes de son avenir et bien d'autres. Alors, nous fait savoir que, étant également consciente des conséquences de cette maladie dans la vie d'un être humain, elle était vraiment terrifiée. Elle nous fait savoir que quand ils sont allés à l'hôpital pour le test, elle voyait plusieurs patients et elle était ennuyée par rapport à cette situation. Um, so, later on, I tried to like deny it as usual. I said maybe they made a mistake with the test tube. They took the test of somebody. Maybe he should go for another test. So he went for another test in a different clinic. He came out positive. And later he still went, um, they directed him to the regional hospital. He went there, he still came out positive. So, so when he told me, he told me that they have told him that he should start medications that, um, because they have to reduce the viral load and all the like. So I told him, um, By then, I had regained myself a little bit, so I told him, we are not taking medication. I know, the, I know the importance of medications, but the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and every other thing shall be added to you. So we're going to, first, we're go, we're going to seek God first and find out what God has to say about you because he's a child of God. Even though he backslid, he's a child of God. So we have to seek God and seek his mercy, his restoration. Alors, notre sœur nous fait savoir qu'ayant reçu cette nouvelle de ce que son frère était atteint du VIH sida, quand ils ont rendu à l'hôpital pour effectuer d'autres examens, elle se disait déjà que, étant donné qu'il y avait plusieurs patients dans la salle, certainement on avait fait l'erreur sur le test de son frère. Elle nous fait savoir que quand c'est sorti positif, ils ont décidé de passer par un autre test, ce qui s'est avéré une fois de plus positif. On les a transférés dans un autre centre hospitalier où il a une fois de plus effectué ce test qui s'est avéré encore positif. Et c'est ainsi qu'on l'a appelé. On a décidé de faire des prescriptions médicamenteuses afin de réduire la charge virale. Mais étant annoncé cela à sa sœur, elle a déclaré par la foi que son, son frère ne, fera pas, ne prendra pas ses médicaments étant donné qu'ils sont issus d'un background chrétien et également son frère peut peut-être dérouté, mais l'éternel Dieu Tout-Puissant peut toujours agir dans sa vie. So I, I told him we will not take medications, so we're going to start praying while um, we're going to seek a higher grace. Thank God for God. He, he brought this ministry to Cameroon, so we be, I, I told him that we, I believe that if he enters here, that God is going to heal him. And so we, we believe God, we believe that if, if he can, if The man of God can lay hands on him, he'll be healed. But during, while waiting for the, um, for the um, prayer line to be announced, we decided to seek the face of God in prayer, especially in the part of repentance. Because the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, from verse 54, it says that, oh, death, where's your, where your sting? Oh, grave, where's your victory? So the power of, that the strength of sin, of the strength of death is in sin. So we are really seeking God in the area of repentance, breaking, we wanted to like present ourselves to God, Father have mercy on us, for the Bible also says in Proverbs 28 verse 13, 
that if we confess our sins and we forsake it, that he's going to have mercy on us. So I told him that we're going to go to God. Just write, I told him to write down every sin he knows he has committed and take them one after the other. Go before God in prayer. Ask God for mercy. If God sees it from the sincerity of your heart, if you are repenting from the sincerity of your heart, God sees it that you have repented, he will show mercy. Alors, ce patient continue son témoignage en nous faisant savoir qu'il n'a pas accepté de ce que son frère passe par cette, par cette prescription médicamenteuse. Ils se sont tenus par la foi. Ils ont commencé d'intenses prières et également, ils ont dit qu'ils devaient passer par une grâce supérieure suite à cette situation. Mais avant de se rendre ici au ministère, ils continuaient à prier et à, à implorant la, la miséricorde de Dieu. Et également, et ils ont commencer des prières de repentance parce que la, la parole de Dieu déclare que ceux qui confessent leurs péchés, le Seigneur est juste et bon pour les pardonner. Alors ils ont continué par la foi à prier et à implorer la grâce divine dans la vie de son frère. The, finally, the um, prayer line was announced and he came and God, the servant of God uh, laid hands on him, the servant of God, Apostle John, she laid hands on him and I believe he was healed. So that Sunday, we, we, we started celebrating on that Sunday because during the prayer line and after the mass, mass and prayer, the man of God also gave a word that it is God's will to heal his people. So we, we had that confidence that God had healed him. Alors, une fois de plus, c'est continuer en faisant savoir qu'ils ont continué à prier, à eh, eh, demander au Seigneur de pouvoir accorder la grâce de guérison à son frère. Et quand finalement il a le privilège d'arriver sur le ministère de l'art de l'Alliance de Dieu, il s'est enregistré pour la ligne de prière. Et elle nous fait savoir que l'homme de Dieu, le serment de l'homme de Dieu, il a déclaré que vous avez la volonté d'être guéri, vous allez être guéri. Alors ils ont reçu cette parole par la foi. So he went and did um, the test. He came out negative. He called me and, and told me that he has done the test. It's negative. So we're just so grateful to God. That was when, because during all this time, we were just. The two of us that knew about in the family, nobody. So after that, we now told the family this was going. He put the I, I called my sister to my sister. Then he put up the this in the family group, and everybody was shocked. When they were rejoicing, and so we want to thank God, we want to appreciate God for His mercy, for not allowing him to be destroyed. I just want to say, to Father, thank you. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Alors, Sœur Patience continue le témoignage en nous faisant savoir que continuellement, étant dans la prière, ils se sont rendus ici au ministère de l'Alliance de l'Alliance de Dieu. Son frère a eu l'opportunité d'entrer dans la chambre de prière et a reçu un toucher divin de la part de l'homme de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi. Quand ils sont retournés à la maison, ils ont décidé de passer par un autre test pour confirmer de la guérison de son frère. Et effectivement, après ces examens, il s'est avéré que son frère était négatif du VIH sida et elle nous fait savoir qu'il n'y a qu'elle et son frère qui savait qu'il était atteint du VIH sida. C'est ainsi qu'ils ont décidé d'informer toute la famille de cette situation. Um, I want to, I really want to appreciate God for bringing a servant like Apostle John Chi in our generation, especially in Cameroon. I'm really grateful to God. Um, I want to, my word of advice is no matter the, the result, no matter the name of the sickness, no matter the, the circumstances, we should always come to God first. We should always put God first and run to God, especially in a place like this where the anointing is present to break all kinds of yoke. Alors, elle profite de cette occasion pour rendre grâce à Dieu pour la vie de l'homme de Dieu, apôtre John T, qui se laisse quotidiennement utilisé par Dieu pour apporter la guérison, la libération, pour transformer la vie de son peuple et également pour la grâce d'avoir été reconnu dans, ce, dans cette nation. Et comme conseil, elle nous fait savoir que lorsque vous passez par des situations similaires dans la vie, venez à Jésus-Christ car lui seul a la solution aux problèmes fondamentaux de la vie. Citizens of heaven, Yes, I'm really grateful and thankful to God to allow me to be here today to testify for his goodness. My name is Sabuno, Miss Sabuno Francisca. Beside me here is my husband and my children. 
Notre sœur, maman Abouna Francisca, se présente et présente à ses côtés son époux et ses enfants. Yeah, when I, we are here because of the testimony I've already gotten. They, they hid everything from me because they knew I would not be able to take it. Being my last son, I'm so attached to him. And as you see him, he's a prayer warrior of the family. Most cases, no spiritual cases we had in the family. He has been the one to handle them. So I was, it was really going to be a big shock for me. But God arrested it so fast. Thank God. Alors, une autre maman nous fait savoir qu'effectivement, on lui a caché cette nouvelle et elle nous fait savoir que si elle était au courant de cela, elle ne devait pas supporter la douleur. Elle veut savoir que sa fille présente est la guerrière de prière de cette famille, le fils également, et, et étant tombé dans cette situation-là, ce n'était pas du tout facile, mais Dieu Tout-Puissant a pu apporter une solution à leur problème. So, maman a to know about the problem of the son after the son had gotten his healing. So, mama don't really have much to say, but I want to find out from you, mama, how do you feel after you learn that your son is free from this problem? I'm really so grateful to God. I'm thankful to God for his faithfulness. Alors, mama est bien évidemment reconnaissante envers Dieu pour sa fidélité, parce que quand elle a reçu cette nouvelle de ce que son fils était précédemment atteint de VIH et que Dieu Tout-Puissant l'en a délivré, elle ne peut que dire gloire au Seigneur Jésus-Christ pour cette guérison dans la vie de son fils. I want to also thank man of God who have allowed himself to be used by God to bless some of us facing, facing these challenges. I don't know what I would have thought with a challenge like this and many of us sit here. here. Effectivement, face à ce défi, face à ces difficultés au sein de la famille, maman ne sait pas ce qu'elle aurait fait, mais elle est tout simplement reconnaissante envers Dieu pour ce qu'il a fait dans la vie de son fils. So, maman, we join you to thank God and to thank the man of God as well, because the man of God, Apostle John, is just a medium. So, sir, please introduce yourself to us, the people standing next to you. My name is Abuno Edward. This is my wife, my daughter, and that is my last, our last son. Monsieur Abuna se présente, il présente à son extrémité gauche, son épouse et ses enfants. I just want to thank God for what the Lord has done for us. When I heard this very message, when I heard this message, I, I was surprised. That you know, you are a man of God. When we have problems in the family, especially spiritual problems, we call on you. How then can this type of a thing happen? I did not really, I was doubting. I said, no, it cannot be you. I don't think it should be you. Because I've never seen a no Lord thing around, even with bad friends since he was growing. But as he came to Boya, That I was no more with him. That is when, when I heard this, I, saw, I said, no, it should not be a no. <laughs> Alors, euh, notre papa relate euh, l'histoire euh, de son fils. Il est, tout, il est tout d'abord reconnaissant envers Dieu de ce qu'il a fait dans la vie de son fils, à lui accordant la guérison au travers des facultés de l'homme de Dieu. Apôtre John T, il nous fait savoir que il a pour habitude d'appeler son fils euh, homme de Dieu dans la maison. Et quand il a appris cette nouvelle de ce qu'il était atteint du VIH, il était surpris, il ne parvenait pas à réaliser. Et il était aussi rendu préalablement compte que son fils, avec de mauvaises fréquentations, des garçons avec qui il allait dans des boîtes de nuit, et ayant grandi, s'étant rendu ici à Boya pour les études, les choses se sont appirées pour lui. All, after all this, I'm grateful to the man of God that my son is healed. We of this family, we are blessed. We must thank God for what he has done for this family. It is something that we have to appreciate God. And I want... I have... 
Alors, papa nous fait savoir que la main de Dieu, effectivement, repose sur sa famille parce qu'au vu de la situation par laquelle son fils traversait, c'est effectivement Dieu qui peut apporter de pareilles solutions et il est reconnaissant envers Dieu pour ce qu'il a éventuellement fait dans leur vie. Small song which I want to sing to thank God. All right, to the glory of God, Baba, we are going to do it. So let's listen to our brother. The documents on the board, can you please explain it to the people of God what the reports are talking about? The first report, as you can see, this one, is to, is to show that I was positive, as you can see it here, HIV positive. And after, like I said, a while, I went to do the test again, not being sure. And I did it again, and it still came out positive. As you can see here, positive. And with that, I decided to go to the regional hospital just to really confirm, to make sure that it, it, that's what's actually going on. And to my surprise and my pain, it still came out positive. Alors, chers téléspectateurs du monde entier, bien aimé en crise, vous pouvez voir sur votre écran un tableau où sont placés certains rapports médicaux qui corroborent avec ce que notre frère a précédemment donné comme récit. Vous pouvez voir les premiers rapports médicaux, ça se succède de façon consécutive à la suite de son examen qui s'était avéré positif du VH-SIDA. Il a effectué plusieurs examens qui se sont avérés tous positifs, tel que vous pouvez le voir. And people of God, after the hand of God touched me, with the grace of our father, Apostle John Chi, you can see the, the new results. I call it new because the old has passed away and this is the new. I am healed in Jesus' name. This is the new result that shows negative. Put your hands beautifully for Master Jesus Christ. Say neighbor. Dit voisin. Say neighbor. Dit voisin. After my encounter. Après ma rencontre. With Jesus Christ. Avec Jésus Christ. Through His servant. Au travers de son serviteur. Apostle John Chi. L'apôtre John Chi. All things. Les choses anciennes. Will pass away. Seront oubliées. And everything. Et toutes choses. Will become new. Seront nouvelles. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Acclamons pour Jésus Christ. Effectivement, notre frère Robert s'est tenu par la foi. Il a eu un fait un pas de foi concernant sa situation. Il s'est rendu sur le mystère de l'âge de l'Alliance de Dieu où il a pu rencontrer Jésus-Christ au travers des facultés de l'homme de Dieu, l'apôtre gentil qui lui a administré un toucher divin. Notre frère nous fait savoir qu'instantanément, il s'est senti relâché et la paix du cœur l'a envahi. Et quand il est retourné à l'hôpital pour effectuer d'autres examens afin de confirmer L'effectivité de sa guérison, il fait savoir que cela s'est avéré négatif pour la gloire de Dieu. So what is your advice to youth out there and to people with similar situations you were in the past? My advice to youth, Christians and people in my similar situation in our world, because it's past in Jesus' name, is that when you sin because that's what was actually the cause of my problem. Not even the disease was my problem. It was just the fact that the guilt that I could not actually even pray about it in confidence and I know God will answer me. So when you sin, don't go away from God. Don't like, because I've already started sinning, let me sin more. Go down your knees and seek your Heavenly Father. He's merciful enough to forgive you. Amen. So our brother is advising each and every one of us by saying that when we all make mistakes, as we all do, as children of God, we should run to God, not run away from Him. So after our brother made mistakes with his life, he decided to run to God, and indeed God restored what Satan had destroyed. Put your hands together for Master Jesus Christ. Alors notre frère Robert s'est rendu compte de son erreur. Il s'est d'abord culpabilisé, puis il est allé auprès de Jésus-Christ pour implorer sa miséricorde divine par rapport à sa situation et il a été restauré. Alors il conseille à tout un chacun qui passe par des situations similaires de se rapprocher de Dieu et de ne pas s'éloigner de Dieu. The first result, as you can see, this is the first after I did to confirm my healing, and this is the second time I did to confirm my healing. And the first time, 
It was just when I just got the good news that I've been healed. And, and after that, I went again to confirm and it still showed negative. Alors, notre frère Robert réitère encore ses rapports médicaux. Il nous fait savoir qu'à la suite des examens, multiples examens consécutifs concernant sa situation de VHCDA, il avait effectué ces examens qui s'étaient effectués positifs et s'étant tenu par la foi et ayant obtenu le toucher divin ici au travers de l'homme de Dieu, apôtre John Shee, il est retourné à l'hôpital où il a effectué d'autres examens avec foi. Cela s'est avéré négatif. Il est encore faire un autre pour attester effectivement de sa guérison. Et cela, c'est une fois de plus avéré négatif pour la gloire de Dieu. Gloria al Señor. Este, seguimos con más testimonio. Estamos escuchando al hermano Roberto, que está aquí hoy por dar testimonio con su familia, por lo que el Señor hizo en su vida y el cambio que el Señor hizo también. Porque el hermano nos dicen que viene de una familia cristiana, pero cuando llega el tiempo de irse en la, en la universidad, empezaba a andar con amigos que le, le haciendo mala vida, mal comportarse, que era irse a la discoteca tomando alcohol, fumando cigarrilla y más siempre solía buscar a mujeres. Hasta un día se di cuenta que todo lo que solía hacer no estaba bueno y decidió dejando toda esta vida. Pero se di cuenta también que de salud no se sentía tan bien. Así se, un, un voz, siempre se entendía un voz que le dio que tiene que, que tiene que irse a hacer examen, que tiene que irse a mirar su salud. Así se fui al médico diciendo al médico que tiene que mirar si estás bien. Sin saber los exámenes que tienen que hacer, los médicos le aconsejaron que se tienen, los médicos le aconsejaron que se tienen que hacerse como tres examen que era lo de hepatitis, clamidia y también del VIH, SIDA. Y así el hermano lo hizo todo y ahí saliendo le dijo que tiene el virus de SIDA. El hermano dice que después de tener ese resultado en la mano, se sintió muy desesperado en la vida, porque ya como un joven tenía mucho sueño para cumplir, tenía mucha oportunidad que tenían que buscar, pero se veía la vida terminando con esta aflicción. Así se iba a hablarse a su hermana porque ella lo podía tomar con un poco de maturidad. Y también su hermana, tal como era cristiana, siempre le ayudaba para orar y diciéndole que tienen que irse al Señor, devolverse al Señor para pedir la misericordia del Señor sobre su vida. Así el hermano regresó al Señor, pero también con tiempo después tenía que buscar una gracia más alta. Así un amigo suyo que trabajaba aquí le aconsejó que tiene que llegar aquí en la línea de oración. Así el hermano fuiste a hacer muchos exámenes, lo que le dijeron que también estaba exactamente con el virus de SIDA y no quería, aún no había empezado a tomar tratamiento. Vino el hermano aquí con su certificado médico, también se fue en el de la línea de oración y entras en la línea de poder. Por la ayuda del Señor Jesucristo, en vez del apóstol John Chi, el apóstol oró sobre el hermano este día y después le regaló una botella de agua viva, lo que siempre solía usar para orar. Pero saliendo de sí, tenía fe que ya estaba sano, pero tenían que verificarlo con el, por los, eh, los médicos. Así se fue al médico más y hizo una, un examen, lo que confirmó negativo, dos exámenes, tres exámenes y por eso ha decidido llegar aquí para poder decir al Señor Jesucristo Gracias por todo lo, todo lo que has hecho en su vida, por haber dado más esperanza en la vida y a devolver todo su sueño como un joven que tiene. Estás aconsejando a los jóvenes que cuando está creciendo que no se aparte del camino del Señor, porque la vida que los, los demás jóvenes están viviendo nada más es para engañar y destruir su destino, porque los planos que el Señor tiene por nosotros son planos de bienestar y no de malestar. Así que que Dios bendiga a esta familia en el nombre de Jesús también, que bendiga al Hijo y le damos gracias al Señor Jesucristo por haber restaurado todo lo que los enemigos han robado en su vida en el nombre de Jesús. Seguimos con más nuestro programa. Que Dios bendiga. Aleluya. Aleluya. Say your nebo, nebo. Nebo. I will receive my own testimony today. I will receive my own testimony 
today? Is somebody ready to praise Jesus? Can you rise up on your feet? Rise up on your feet as you praise Jesus Christ. Higher, my Lord is good. Oh. Take that down. 
heaven. Citoyen du ciel. Citizens of heaven. Citoyen du ciel. If you believe you are the next to testify, make a joyful noise. Say neighbor. I am the next to testify. Say I am the next to testify. Celebrate the kings of kings if you believe that. Right now, take out your testimony of this. For prayers. Take out that seed that should stand as a point of
Je vais 
worship the Lord. Wherever you are, in whatever way you want to stand, you want to kneel down, you want to sit down, just feel free in the presence of God as we worship Him.
Just wave your hands. Just wave your hands. Somebody just begin to talk to God. No pressure. Just talk to your father. You're in the presence of God. Feel free. Just empty yourself. That weight inside of you. Just empty it. You know why? Because you have this assurance that Jesus loves you. Wave your hands, wave your hands. In whatever way in which you have missed it, by reason of the resurrection power of God, you will find your way in Jesus' name. Vision fulfilled.
Amen. Happy Easter. Bonne fête de la Pâque. Wow. No matter what symptoms are present, quels que soient les symptômes présents, by his stripes you were healed. Par ses maîtres sûrs, vous étiez guéri. No matter how big your sins are, peu importe la grandeur de vos péchés, by his stripes you were forgiven. Par ses maîtres sûrs, vous étiez pardonné. Right now, picture the cross. Maintenant, regarde vers la croix. Picture the cross. Regarde vers la croix. Where the price was paid. Où la rançon fut payée. You died on the cross. Just to set me free. You bled and died. Just to make me whole again. I am sorry for the things that I've done, Lord. So now, David. Picture the cross. We got the veil of war. You tell the cross just to set me free from sin. Regarde vers la croix. Just begin to see your Lord on the cross. Et vois ton Seigneur sur la croix. Look at your healing on that cross. Vois ta guérison sur cette Look croix. Look at the breakthrough on that cross. Vois ta percée sur cette croix. Look at the victory on that cross. Vois ta victoire sur cette croix. Look at the forgiveness on that cross. Vois le pardon sur cette croix. No matter the sin you might have committed in the past, quel que soit le péché que tu as à commettre dans le passé, just look at the cross. Alors regarde une On that cross is revival, renewal and redemption. Si la croix se touche le réveil la rédemption et le renouveau. You died on the cross just to set me free from sin. You bled and died just to make me whole again. I am sorry for the things that You died. 
Easter once again. Bonne fête de Pâques une fois de plus. Wow. Jesus Christ has risen. Jésus Christ est ressuscité. Therefore, let your heart rise and seek the things from above. Par conséquent, que ton cœur ressuscite et cherche les choses d'en haut. The extent l'étendue to which you think the thoughts of God vous pensez les pensées de Dieu to that same extent à cette même étendue you have the power of God vous avez la puissance de l'Éternel Let someone say other shepherds alors que quelqu'un dise d'autres bergers other shepherds d'autres bergers may slumber peuvent somnoler and sleep et dormir But my own shepherd Mais mon berger keeps me day and night. Sur moi jour et nuit. He is greater Il est plus grand than all the combined forces que toutes les forces combinées of hell and earth. De et la terre. He has conquered death Il a vaincu la mort. for my sake. Pour ma cause. His purpose Son but is to bring me et de me ramener to his father in heaven. à son Père dans le Therefore, ciel. Therefore, all the divine powers toutes les puissances divines of heaven du ciel are engaged, sont engagées are engaged sont engagées for the accomplishment pour l'accomplissement of that purpose. de ce but. The devil le diable and his agents et ses agents may be making strong moves faire des grands pas to pluck me out pour m'arracher of the hands of my shepherds de mon de mon berger. but my bible says ma bible dit, when they come in one direction They will flee in seven directions. When direction. they come united, they will flee and be scattered. Say, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You may be seated in his presence. Vous asseoir dans ses parvis. Hallelujah. Amen. We are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Nous sommes la justice de Dieu en Christ Jésus. Remember, a sense of righteousness gives us a sense of power. Souvenez-vous qu'un sens de la justice nous donne un sens de la puissance. That is why the position of God in your life is power. C'est la raison pour laquelle la position de Christ dans votre vie est la puissance. Then about the position of God in my life. Il y a ton voisin la position de Christ dans ma vie. Is power. Et la puissance. Power of love. La puissance d'amour. Of being faithful, la puissance d'être fidèle, and power of forgiveness, et la puissance du pardon. Right now, in whatever state you are in, quelle que soit la situation dans laquelle tu te trouves, be filled with the power of love. Sois rempli avec la puissance d'amour. 
Be filled with the power of faithfulness. Sois rempli avec la puissance de la fidélité. Be filled with the power of forgiveness. Sois rempli avec la puissance du pardon. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ. Seigneur Jésus Christ. Make your children Fais de tes enfants love as you love. Aimer comme tu aimes. Make them humble as you are humble. Rends les humbles comme tu es humble. Make them patient. Kind. Rends les patients bien Meek. Doux. As you are meek. Comme tu es doux. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Au nom puissant de Jésus Christ. Remember. Souviens-toi. Love does not keep record of past wrongs. L'amour ne garde pas les registres du passé des erreurs du passé. Love does not keep records of past wrongs. L'amour ne garde pas les registres des erreurs du passé. Right now, begin to release forgiveness. Maintenant, commence à libérer. To le all who might have hurt you in any way. À tous ceux qui t'ont offensé par le passé. Begin to release forgiveness right now. Maintenant, relâche le pardon. Free yourself. Libère-toi. From every bitterness. De toute amertume. Free yourself. Libère-toi. From every unforgiveness. De tout non pardon. Free yourself. Libère-toi. From every anger. De toute colère. Free yourself. Libère-toi. From malice. De malice. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I release you. Je te libère. From every spirit of unforgiveness. De tout esprit qui ne pardonne pas. I release you. Je te libère. From every bitterness, de toute amertume. I release you from every anger, malice. Je te libère de toute colère et malice. Be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Soyez libéré au nom puissant de Jésus Christ. Be released in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Soyez libéré au nom puissant de Jésus Christ. Give your neighbor a handshake. Happy Easter. Alors, salut ton voisin. Dis-lui bonne fête de Pâques. Give your neighbor a handshake. Happy Easter. Bonne fête de Pâques. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Let me take you to the book of 1 Peter. Allez rapidement avec moi dans l'île de 1 Pierre. Chapter 1. Au chapitre 1. And let's, let's read from verse 4. Lisons à partir du verset 4. Okay, 1 Peter chapter 1. Let's take it from verse 3. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. In all this, you greatly rejoice Though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials, this have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, 
glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. 1 Pierre au chapitre 1 à partir du verset 3, je vais lire un peu très vite. Béni soit Dieu, le Père de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ qui, selon sa grande miséricorde, nous a régénérés pour une espérance vivante par la résurrection de Jésus-Christ d'entre les morts pour un héritage qui ne peut ni corrompre, ni souiller, ni flétrir, lequel vous est réservé dans les cieux, à vous qui, par la puissance des cieux, êtes gardés par la foi pour le salut prêt à être révélé d'entre les derniers temps, c'est là ce qui fait votre joie, quoique maintenant, puisqu'il le faut, vous soyez attristés pour un peu de temps par diverses épreuves, afin que l'épreuve de votre foi, plus précieuse que l'or périssable, qui cependant est éprouvé par le feu, est pour résultat la louange, la gloire et l'honneur lorsque Jésus-Christ apparaîtra. Yes, we are here to celebrate the spiritual significance of Easter and not the carnal significance. Nous sommes ici pour célébrer la signification spirituelle de la Pâque et non la signification charnelle de la Pâque. Are you with me? Est-ce que vous me suivez? We are here to celebrate the spiritual significance of Easter and not the carnal significance as people of the world out there do. Nous sommes ici pour célébrer la signification spirituelle de la Pâque et non une signification charnelle comme les modernes le font. The crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ brought darkness, sorrow, and bitterness to his followers at first. La crucifixion de notre Sauveur et Seigneur Jésus Christ apporta les ténèbres et la tristesse au premier rang pour ses disciples. But on the third day, Mais au troisième jour, il resurrected and brought joy to his followers and terror and confusion to the calm of his adversaries. Mais alors, au troisième jour, il ressuscita et il apporta la joie et la terreur dans le camp de ses adversaires. On Friday, vendredi, it was a painful day. Vendredi était un jour de douleur. Where the Savior was made to the cross. Le jour où le Sauveur fut cloué sur la croix. Where he died. Le jour où il mourut, he gave up the ghost il and said it is finished. Il dit tout est accompli. And was buried. Et il fut enseveli. And the enemy thought that was the end. Et l'ennemi s'est dit c'était la fin. But on the third day, mais alors au troisième jour, the Savior resurrected. Christ ressuscita. Our Savior is alive. Notre Sauveur est vivant. He has risen. Il est ressuscité. Are you not happy? Est-ce que vous n'êtes pas content? Let me see your joy. Alors que je ressente votre joie. Because you are joyful. Parce que because vous, you are happy. Vous êtes joyeux et content. This has brought terror and confusion in the camp of the enemy. Ceci a apporté la terreur et la confusion dans le camp de l'ennemi. Your dark moments Au moment des ténèbres are not meant to be permanent. Ne sont plus pas faits pour être permanents. Your greatest moments Le meilleur moment de grandeur are on the way. Sont sur le chemin. Jesus Christ is coming purposely for you. Jésus Christ vient objectivement pour vous. Are you with me? Est-ce que vous me saisissez? He is coming purposely for you. Il vient objectivement pour vous. He resurrected purposely for you and I. Il ressuscita objectivement pour vous et moi. Christ came for us. Christ vint pour nous. Died for us. Mourut pour nous. Rose again for us. Ressuscita pour nous. He still reigns in power for us. Et il règne toujours en puissance pour nous. 
He is seated at the right hand of his father and interceding for you and I. Il est assis à la main droite de son père et il intercède pour vous et moi. I am here today. Alors, je suis ici aujourd'hui because Jesus Christ is alive. Parce que Jésus Christ est vivant. I am here today because Jesus Christ is alive. Je suis ici aujourd'hui parce que Jésus Christ est vivant. Why doubt so much evidence? Pourquoi douter une telle évidence? If Christ did not rise from the dead, si Christ, our gathering here would have been in vain. Si Christ n'était pas ressuscité de la mort, notre rassemblement aujourd'hui sera en vain. I have seen the proof. J'ai vu la preuve. That the Bible is God's word, and God's word is true. Que la parole de Dieu est vivante et elle est vraie. There was one proof then, and there is one proof now. Miracles in His name. Alors il y a cette preuve existante qui est le miracle en le nom de Jésus Christ. The miracles of the apostles the miracles des apôtres became signs. What did these signs say? Devant les signes, qu'est-ce que ces signes disent? Each miracle said, these men are from God. Their message is true. Believe them. Ce miracle dit, ces hommes sont vrais. Leur miracle vient de Dieu. Il faut croire en eux. Believe their words. Croyez en eux. I believe the Bible is true. Alors je crois que la Sainte Bible est vraie. Because I have seen the proof of all that has happened since the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Car j'ai vu la preuve de tout ce qui s'est passé depuis la résurrection de notre Sauveur et Seigneur Jésus Christ. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today. And forevermore. Alors Jésus-Christ demeure le même hier, aujourd'hui et éternellement. When you read the Bible, lorsque vous lisez la Bible, you will see that it was foretold that when He should come to save us, the blind will see, the lame will walk, the deaf will hear. Vous verrez que c'était prédit que lorsqu'il viendra pour nous sauver, les aveugles auront la vue. Les handicapés marcheront, etc. And the dead will be raised to life. Et les morts seront ressuscités à la vie. Why should you question so much evidence? Alors pourquoi questionner une telle évidence? Why should anyone question so much evidence? Pourquoi questionner une telle évidence? The Bible is God's word. La Bible est la parole de Dieu. The Bible is God's chronicle of love la for Bible his people. Et cette chronique d'amour pour Dieu pour son peuple. From the darkness before Eden to eternity with him in heaven. Des ténèbres à l'éternité avec lui dans les cieux. You are in it. I am in it. Most importantly, God is in it. Vous et moi, nous sommes inclus. Le plus important, Dieu est inclus. You are here. I am here. Most importantly, God is here. Vous et moi, nous sommes ici. Le plus important, Dieu est ici. The greatest book on earth is the word of God. Le plus grand livre de la terre est la parole de Dieu. We should read it systematically. Alors, nous devons la lire systématiquement. Unexpectedly. Et because avec, our life depends on knowing the word of God. Et avec attente, car notre vie y dépend de connaître la parole de Dieu. God's word is his message of grace and truth to us today. La parole de l'Éternel est ce message, message de grâce et de vérité pour nous aujourd'hui. Read it. Lisez-la. Because it has converting power. Car ça a cette puissance qui rend pas. Read it because it has healing power. Ça a la puissance de guérison. Read it because it is so profitable. 
les élaka, elle est tellement profitable. And it keeps us from error and sin. Et ça nous préserve des erreurs et du péché. It is the only book that transforms. C'est le seul livre qui transforme. All the books can only inform. D'autres livres ne peuvent que informer. But the Bible alone transforms. Mais seule la Bible transforme. To better understand the resurrection power of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Pour mieux comprendre la résurrection de notre Sauveur et Seigneur Jésus Christ. Always fill your prayers with scriptures. Remplissez toujours vos prières avec les écritures. Because, because words spoken in harmony with God's word works wonders. Parce que les paroles déclarées en harmonie avec celles de l'Éternel produisent les merveilles. Words spoken in harmony with God's word works wonders. Les paroles déclarées en harmonie avec celles de l'Éternel produisent les merveilles. You may read, think, and pray all day, but unless you live in the word as well, you miss the point. Vous pouvez lire, penser, vivre de la parole. À moins que vous vivez dans cette parole, vous ratez tout. So the word must be planted in the hearts, watered and steadfastly trusted, before it can become the key to open and close prison doors. Alors la parole doit être plantée dans votre cœur, arrosée avec ferveur, afin que ça devienne une clé pour ouvrir les portes des prisons. The word of God forms the force on which the temple of truth is built. La parole de Dieu est cette forme qui permet au, au temple de la vérité d'être bâti. Using the word of God, utiliser la parole de l'Éternel, you have read helps you ensure that Your prayer is in line with God's word and his intentions for your life. Vous donne l'assurance que votre prière est accompagnée avec la parole de l'Éternel. In other words, en d'autres termes, when you make God's word the standard for your life, it means you are committed to his glory. Lorsque vous faites la parole de l'Éternel en nom de votre vie, vous êtes en compétition avec sa gloire. Are you committed to his glory? Est-ce que vous êtes engagé pour sa gloire? When you are committed to God's glory, lorsque vous êtes engagé dans la gloire de l'Éternel, when you talk, lorsque vous parlez, the resurrection power, la puissance de résurrection, talks. Elle aussi, elle parle. It is a talking of power with power. Il s'agit d'une déclaration avec puissance et puissance. When you smile, lorsque vous souriez, <laughs> the resurrection power smiles. La puissance de résurrection sourit. It is a smile of power with power. C'est un sourire de puissance avec puissance. When you dance, lorsque vous dansez, the resurrection power. Dances. La puissance de a dancing of power with power. Dance, une danse de puissance avec puissance. When you sit, lorsque vous asseyez, the resurrection, resurrection power sits. Alors la puissance a de sitting of power with power. Ça sort aussi en siège de puissance avec puissance. The Jesus Christ I know, le Jésus Christ dont je connais, is Jesus Christ. With resurrection power. Et le Jésus Christ avec la puissance de résurrection. No resurrection power, no Jesus Christ. Aucune puissance de résurrection, aucun Jésus Christ. This means that no state of being is as rewarding as living in tune with God's word. Alors aucun être vivant n'est récompensé que de vivre en harmonie avec Jésus Christ. Common sense, le sens commun, influences me. Influence that I should trust a man like Jesus Christ because of all that has happened since his resurrection. Que je fasse confiance à un homme comme Jésus Christ depuis sa résurrection. His resurrection, sa résurrection, transformed the church. A transformé l'Église. 
from a talk shop un artisanat to a house of power d'une maison de puissance Are you there? Que vous me His resurrection transformed the church from a dog shop to a house of power. Don Artisana a une maison de puissance. That is why the book of Acts is not mere history, but a pattern of what Christ wants his church to be today. Voilà pourquoi le livre des Actes des Apôtres n'est pas une simple histoire, mais un modèle de ce que Jésus voudrait que son Église soit aujourd'hui. The church is not made for and games. The church is not made for and games. L'Église n'est pas un simple amusement. If it were so, si tel était le cas, Satan will continue to enslave us and make us the dumping ground for his sickness and diseases. Alors Satan va continuer à nous asservir et faire de nous une terre pour toutes ces ruses. Can you imagine? Pouvez-vous imaginer? What would have happened? Qu'est-ce qui serait arrivé? To your life? À votre vie? To your family? À votre famille? To your health? À votre santé? To your career? À votre carrière? To your business? À votre affaire? To your marriage? À votre mariage? Christ had not risen from the dead. What would have happened to you and I? D'entre les morts, qu'est-ce qui serait passé avec votre vie? People of God, peuple de Dieu, I want to tell you. Je voudrais vous dire en ce jour that you have resurrection power. Que vous avez la puissance de résurrection with you today. Avec vous aujourd'hui. Because Christ has risen, car Christ est ressuscité. You have resurrection power in you. Vous possédez la puissance de résurrection. Be it in your health, que ce soit votre santé. Be it in your finances, vos finances. In your career, votre carrière. In your marriage, votre mariage. You have been resurrected with Christ. Vous êtes ressuscité avec Christ. His victory gives us victory. Sa victoire nous donne la victoire. You have been resurrected with him. So his victory gives us victory. Vous étiez ressuscité avec lui alors sa victoire nous donne la victoire. And that victory is only for those who recognize it. Et cette victoire est uniquement pour ceux qui reconnaissent cette Do you recognize the victory in Christ? Est-ce que vous reconnaissez la victoire en Christ? Do you recognize the victory in Christ? Est-ce que vous reconnaissez la victoire? Let me see your hand. Alors que je vois votre main. Victory in Christ Jesus is for there is for those who recognize it. La victoire en Christ Jésus est uniquement pour ceux qui reconnaissent cette victoire. Let someone say he's alive. Alors que quelqu'un dise qu'il est vivant. He's alive. Il est vivant. So I'm here today because he me. I'm alive today Only because of His grace Oh, He kept me God kept me He kept me So I wouldn't let go You may be seated in his presence. Vous asseoir dans ses parvis. Let someone say he is alive. Que quelqu'un dise qu'il est vivant. Let someone say he is alive. Il est vivant. 
Because he's alive. Parce qu'il est vivant. There's need for you to rejoice and be glad. Alors une raison que vous vous réjouissiez et que vous soyez content. You citizens of heaven, rejoice and be glad. Vous citoyens de Because Jesus Christ has resurrected. Et vous et soyez content quand Christ est ressuscité. Jesus Christ has resurrected. Jésus Christ est ressuscité. So therefore rejoice and be glad. Par conséquent, réjouissez-vous et soyez contents. My question is, what is resurrection? Ma question est celle-ci, qu'est-ce que la résurrection? What is resurrection? C'est quoi la résurrection? To resurrect Être ressuscité is to bring back to life somebody that has died or something that has been in a state of disuse. Et ramener à la vie une personne qui était déjà morte ou ramener à la vie une chose qui était en état d'abandon. Remember, there are many things in your life. Rappelez-vous, il y a plus de choses dans votre vie. That has been in the state of disuse. Qui a été dans un état d'abandon. By the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. Par la puissance de résurrection de Jésus Christ. Whatever. Is in a state of disuse. Quelque soit ce qui est dans un état d'abandon. In your life, dans votre vie, will be restored today. Amen. Sera ressuscité aujourd'hui. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When you read the book of 1 Corinthians, parce que vous lisez le livre de 1 Corinthiens, 15, chapitre 15, verse 35, verset 35, to the end, jusqu'à la fin. Resurrection, la résurrection, is to become alive. C'est de revenir à la vie. Renewed, le renouveau. Regenerated, régénéré et renouvelé. Revived, être revivifié. Resurrection, la résurrection, is the new and incorruptible body received by those raised from the dead by the power. Of God. Et le corps nouveau et incorruptible ressuscité par Christ par ceux qui sont nés de nouveau. Jesus is power of resurrection. Jésus Christ par sa puissance de résurrection is transmitted to his followers. Est transmise à ses disciples. Giving them a glorious new existence. Leur donnant une glorieuse existence. When we talk about the resurrection power of Jesus Christ lorsque nous parlions de cette puissance de résurrection de Jésus Christ we are talking about the rare opportunity he has given every believer to experience a new beginning nous parlons de cette opportunité rare qu'il a donné à tout croyant d'expérimenter un nouveau commencement this is a situation il s'agit d'une situation in which every dead area of your life experience Life anew. Où toute partie morte de votre vie expérimente la vie à nouveau. The resurrection power of Jesus Christ, la puissance de résurrection de Jésus Christ, provides every child of God a peace of conscience that produces ease of heart, eternal joy, security of God's presence, and assurance of life. Donne à tout enfant de Dieu la paix du cœur, l'assurance de la vie et la paix de conscience. In Romans 1, verse 3 to 4, Jesus Christ is declared to be the Son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness Dans Romans, by his resurrection from the dead. Dans Romains, hein, juste a déclaré d'être le fils de Jésus par la puissance, par sa puissance de résurrection d'entre les morts. A steadfast look at the crucified one will never look in vain at the great physician. Un regard avec ferveur vers Christ crucifié ne regardera jamais en vain. Isaiah 53 verse 5 to 7 says, He was flapped, stripped naked, tortured, humiliated, Dehumanized and crushed before he was brutally murdered. Yet he responded with forgiveness 
Father, forgive them. Esaïe 53, verset 5 à 7 dit Il fut châtié pour nos iniquités et fautes, pour nos transgressions, pour nos péchés. Il fut déshumanisé, mais il n'a pas répondu par la honte, mais il a répondu par l'amour. Father, forgive them. Père, pardonne-leur. Knowing that his death will accomplish salvation for mankind. Sachant que sa mort va accomplir le salut pour l'humanité. Christ died to provide us everything we would desire require to live for him here now. Et c'est mort pour pouvoir tout ce que nous avons besoin pour vivre sur cette terre maintenant et après. So if you are still living in want, in murmur, complaining, or measuring yourself by yourself, or comparing yourself with others, alors, si vous êtes toujours dans le doute, la murmure, vous comparant aux autres et vous comparant par vous-même. Know that Jesus Christ is not responsible for the pain of those who ignore his cross and suffering. Sachez que Jésus-Christ n'est pas ignorant de ceux qui ont, ne répond pas à ceux qui ont ignoré sa croix et son sacrifice. Since Jesus Christ died to provide all your needs, it is unnecessary for you to continue to begin, I mean, to continue in satanic bondage. Depuis que Jésus Christ est mort, vous pouvez voir à tous vos besoins, alors ce n'est pas nécessaire que vous continuiez à vivre dans le joug satanique. It is absolutely unnecessary for you to continue to suffer Satanic bondage. Alors, ce n'est pas nécessaire que vous continuiez à vivre dans le joug satanique. If men's prejudices are not conquered by the evidence of truth, they are but confirmed. Un simple prejudice n'est pas une simple parole, mais ils sont confirmés par la vérité. The benefit of Calvary are multi dimensional the benefits du calvaire sont multidimensionnels they include healing deliverance salvation protection cela inclut la guérison la protection la délivrance et le salut baptism of the holy ghost and all of god's blessings le baptême du saint esprit et toutes les bénédictions divines they are there for the, whoever desires ces choses sont disponibles à toute personne qui désire. They are there for whoever desires. Ces choses sont disponibles à toute personne qui les désire. All the punishment Jesus Christ received before and during his crucifixion was for our healing. Toutes les punitions que Jésus-Christ a reçues avant et après sa crucifixion, c'était pour for your healing, for my healing, pour votre guérison et la mienne. Body, spirit, and soul. Corps, âme et esprit. By his wounds, we are healed. Par ses maîtres sûrs, nous sommes guéris. Why was Christ buried? Alors, pourquoi Christ fut enseveli? Ask your neighbor, why was Christ buried? Demande à ton voisin, pourquoi est-ce que Christ fut enterré? They had a reason for burying him. Il y avait plusieurs raisons de l'enterrer. Ask me, why was he buried? Pourquoi est-ce qu'il fut enterré? He was buried. Il fut enterré. So that the redemption will be complete. Pour que la rédemption soit complète. He was buried so that your redemption, my redemption, will be complete. Il fut enterré pour que votre rédemption et la mienne soient complètes. The hour of Christ's death. L'heure de la mort de Christ was the beginning of his glorification and our redemption. Était le début de sa glorification et de notre rachat. This became the saving grace of Christians who are truly born again. Ceci devint la grâce salvatrice des chrétiens qui sont nés de nouveau. To be born again, the believer must first die with Christ and then resurrect with Him again. Être né de nouveau, le chrétien doit d'abord être enseveli avec Christ et être ressuscité avec lui. Except you die with him, 
You cannot put on the new life in Christ Jesus. À moins que vous mouriez avec lui, vous pouvez pas vous revêtir de la nouvelle vie de Christ Jésus Christ. Romans 6 verse 3 to 7. When we resurrect with him, we live in him, move in him, talk in him, sit in him, look in him, eat in him, walk in him, have our being in him. Romans 6 dit que lorsque nous résistons en lui, nous regardons en lui, nous marchons en lui, nous parlons en lui et nous faisons toutes choses en lui. This means the resurrection power fills us with life and new. Ceci signifie que la puissance de résurrection nous remplit avec une nouvelle This vie. This is what you need now. C'est ça, cela. The resurrection power. La puissance de résurrection. Human spirit fails why the Holy Spirit feels. L'esprit humain faillit tandis que le Saint Esprit remplit. Therefore, the Holy Spirit is the best influence. Alors, le Saint Esprit est cette meilleure influence. If Christ had not risen from the dead, what would have happened to the sick, the afflicted, and the oppressed? Si Christ n'était pas ressuscité d'entre les morts, qu'est-ce qui serait passé avec les affligés, les malades? What would be your hope? Because Christ in you is the hope of glory. Nous avons espérance car Christ en vous est l'espérance de la gloire. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. Les punitions qui nous a donné la paix sont tombées sur lui. This means the hour of Christ's death was the beginning of his glorification and our redemption. L'heure du début de la mort de Christ était le début de sa glorification et de notre rachat. This is the saving grace of Christians who are truly born again. C'est ça la grâce salvatrice de tous les chrétiens qui sont nés de nouveau. To be born again, a believer must first die with him, then resurrect with him. Être né de nouveau, le chrétien doit être enseveli avec lui et être né de nouveau avec lui. Unless you resurrect with him, you cannot put on the new life in Christ. À moins que vous mouriez en lui, vous ne pouvez pas vous revêtir de la nouvelle vie en lui. When you resurrect with him, lorsque vous ressuscitez en lui, you live in him, vous vivez en lui, move in him, vous marchez en lui, have your being in him. Vous avez votre être personnel en lui. You cannot see the picture of what you call Easter. Alors, vous pouvez voir la photo de ce que vous appelez Can you see the picture? Est-ce que vous pouvez voir la photo? A day set aside by Christians to commemorate the resurrection of someone who paid the supreme price, supreme sacrifice for our sins. Un jour particulier pour les chrétiens pour commémorer celui qui a payé le prix ultime, suprême pour les chrétiens. His resurrection is the joy of his friends. Sa résurrection est la joie de ses disciples, ses amis. I mean true believers. C'est-à-dire les vrais chrétiens. True born again. Les vrais nés de nouveau. Just as it is a terror and confusion in the camp of his enemies. Juste comme c'est une terreur, une confusion dans le camp de ses ennemis. His resurrection. Sa résurrection is our consolation. And communion with him et notre, by faith in his word. Et notre consolation et communion avec lui à travers la foi. If his resurrection is the joy of his friends, partners, and companions, are you one of them? Sa résurrection est la joie de ses disciples, ses compagnons. Est-ce que vous faites partie? Are you one of them? Est-ce que vous êtes un de ses disciples, ses compagnons? Jesus has resurrected. Jésus Christ est ressuscité. Let your minds rise and seek the things from above. Alors que votre pensée s'élève et cherche les choses d'en haut. So that you might be comforted under your present situation, under your present sorrow. Enfin que vous soyez confortable face à votre tristesse présente. He has risen. Il est ressuscité. Let your minds rise and seek the things that are from above. 
alors que votre pensée s'élève et cherche so that you can be comforted under your present sorrow, under your present difficulty, your present hardship. Soyez confortable face à vos épreuves présentes et vos difficultés présentes. Nevertheless, when Jesus Christ is in your heart, in the midst of your heart, he remains in your heart. Néanmoins, lorsque Jésus Christ est dans votre cœur, il réside dans votre cœur, il demeure dans votre cœur. Then never make him your friend. Alors, dis à ton voisin, fais de lui ton your ami. comforter, your redeemer, ton rédempteur, your savior, ton sauveur. It is by the power of resurrection that your sickness will turn to good health today. C'est par la puissance de résurrection que ta maladie sera transformée en bonne santé aujourd'hui. Your impossibilities will become possibilities today. Vos impossibilités deviendront possibles aujourd'hui. Your sadness will turn to joy today. Vos tristesses se transformeront en Your joie. Your failure will turn to success. Vos erreurs, vos échecs se transformeront en that power of resurrection. Par cette puissance de résurrection. Your hopelessness will turn to happiness. Votre désespoir se transformera And your frustration will turn to fulfillment. Et votre frustration en accomplissement. And when you are fulfilled in Christ, you lack nothing Christ, and you want nothing. Tu ne manques rien et tu ne désires rien. God's word says, "Health to all flesh." C'est que l'Éternel dit la chair à toute chair. Deliverance to all flesh, la, blessings to all flesh. La santé à toute chair, autant pour moi la délivrance. Whose flesh? The flesh of those who find and attend to God's word. Et cela est uniquement pour ceux qui cherchent et désirent la parole de l'Éternel. There is resurrection power in God's word. Par la puissance de résurrection dans la parole de Dieu. We make it work, but God makes it good. Nous faisons cela œuvrer, mais Dieu fait cela grandir. We make the work, the word of God work, but God makes it good. Nous faisons la parole de Dieu œuvrer, mais Dieu rend cela bon autant pour moi. We make it work when we obey the word. Nous faisons cela œuvrer lorsque nous obéissons à la parole. When we confess. And believe it. Lorsque nous la confessons et nous croyons en elle. If you ask conventional people why they want healing, they will tell you it's because they have suffered for so long. Lorsque vous demandez aux personnes conventionnelles pourquoi elles désirent la guérison, elles vous diront parce qu'elles ont souffert tellement. They will tell you it's because they are from a Christian background. Elles vous diront parce qu'elles viennent d'une famille chrétienne. They will tell you it's because they bear Christian name. Elle vous Peter, dit, John, Joseph. Elle porte un nom chrétien, Joseph, Pierre. These reasons are no basis for receiving healing. Ces raisons ne sont pas une base fondamentale pour recevoir la guérison. These reasons are no basis for receiving blessing, deliverance. Ces raisons ne sont pas une base pour recevoir la délivrance et la guérison. Matthew 8, 17 says, He himself took our infirmities. And bore our sickness. Matthieu disait, dit, Matthieu disait, dit, il a porté nos infirmités et nos maladies. Isaiah 53, verse 4 and 5 says, Surely he has bore our grief and carried our sorrow. By his stripes we are healed. Isaiah 53, 3, 4, 5 dit, Il fut transpercé pour nos iniquités et fautes, châtié pour nos iniquités par ses maîtres sûrs, nous sommes guéris. So these are the only grounds for your claims. Alors, ces choses sont la seule preuve pour ce que vous revendiquez. Christ died on the cross for our healing, blessing, for us to be free. Christ mourut sur la croix pour nos guérisons et délivrances pour que nous soyons libres. So therefore, to get your prayers answered, pour que vos prières soient exaucées, you must depend entirely on the merit and mediation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ are the only ground for any claim. Vous devez dépendre entièrement de la méditation et l'intervention de notre Sauveur et Jésus-Christ comme une seule preuve. The very foundation for receiving answers to your prayers is to base your faith on the fact that Christ died to provide all you are asking for. 
le socle de l'exaucement de vos prières et de baser votre foi sur le fait que Christ est mort pour pouvoir tout ce que vous cherchez. In his death for us, Christ provided every blessing man can desire or require. Par sa mort, Christ pourvu tout ce que l'homme peut désirer sur cette terre. Therefore, when you pray, look to the cross. Par conséquent, lorsque vous priez, mirez la croix. Look first to the cross where the price was paid. Mirez premièrement la croix où la rançon fut payée. For the blessings you are seeking. Pour les bénissons que vous recherchez. But today many are ignorant of the substitution, substitutionary fact of Christ's death on the cross. Aujourd'hui, plusieurs sont ignorants de ce sacrifice substitutionnaire de Jésus-Christ sur la croix. He was hung on the cross. Il fut accroché sur la croix. He was unjustly nailed. Il fut injustement cloué. To the cross. Sur la croix. He was meant to be a curse. Cela a été fait pour être une malédiction. For us. Pour nous. The fact that Christ died on the cross of Calvary makes it unnecessary for any one of us to suffer. Le fait que Christ mourit sur la croix de Calvaire rend cela absolument inutile pour que quiconque souffre. Right now, look to the cross. Maintenant, il faut mirer la croix. Look to the cross where the price was paid. Il faut regarder vers la croix où la rançon fut payée. All the punishment Jesus Christ received before and during his crucifixion was for our healing, spirit, soul, and body. Les punitions que Jésus a reçues avant et pendant sa crucifixion étaient pour notre guérison. That is the finished works of our Lord Jesus Christ. C'est ça les œuvres. Begin to look to the cross right now. Notre Sauveur et Jésus Christ commencez à regarder la croix. Picture the cross right now. Il faut mirer la croix maintenant. Picture the cross right now. Il faut mirer la croix maintenant. Picture the cross. Il faut avoir un regard vers la croix maintenant. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You came from heaven to earth to show the way. Thank you. You may be seated. Merci infiniment. May God bless His word in your hearts. In Jesus Christ's name. If your faith is lifted up, let me see your hand. If you believe He is alive, let me see your hand. Wave it, 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 wave it. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Yes, viewers all over the world. Alors, chers téléspectateurs, partout le monde entier. What we're about to show you now is of a sensitive nature. Ce que vous êtes au point de voir, c'est une nature sensible. I may not be suitable to the eyes. Il ne pourra pas être convenable. I may not be suitable to your view. Il ne pourra pas être convenable. But it is all for the glory of God. Mais c'est pour la gloire de l'Éternel. This is proof that Jesus Christ is alive. 
Ceci est la preuve tangible que Jésus-Christ est vivant. I have proof that Jesus Christ is alive. Que Jésus-Christ est vivant. That is why I am here today. C'est la raison pour laquelle je suis ici aujourd'hui. To prove the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. Pour démontrer la puissance de résurrection de Jésus-Christ. So what you are going to see now Alors, ce que vous êtes au point de voir maintenant is for the glory of God. C'est pour la gloire de l'Éternel. So please watch with a prayerful heart. Alors, regardez avec un cœur de prière. In Jesus Christ's name. Au nom puissant de Jésus-Christ. Thank you. Watch your screen. Alors, regardez votre écran. Watch is of a sensitive nature. Viewer's discretion is advised. The following is a footage of Mr. Ongwa Desmond suffering from a malignant non-Hodkin lymphoma, a cancerous condition characterized by tumors under his armpits, abdomen, neck, and pelvic regions. The situation later aggravated to stage two, a point where he started passing out lumps of blood and mucus through his private parts. This later on affected his kidneys, resulting in swollen legs, severe body pains and migraines, as well as multiple bacteria infections due to poor circulation of body fluids. At the final stage, he went into a coma and while he was on life support, it looked as if all hope was lost. When you have run out of rope, it is time to hang on to faith because no one's hope is lost whose hope is in Christ Jesus. Let us watch what happened when he encountered Jesus Christ through the medium of the living water sent by Apostle John Chi. Walking down the road of life, burdened with my problems, looking for someone, someone to help me out. Then I met this man, he told me he was Jesus.
Okay, let us welcome him in our midst. He's here. Thank you very much. Do you believe in the resurrection power of Jesus Christ? Let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. Common sense influences me to believe a man like Jesus Christ. Le sens commun m'influence à croire en un homme comme Jésus-Christ. I have proof that Jesus Christ is alive. Car j'ai la preuve que Jésus-Christ est vivant. Thank you. Let's hear from our brother. People of God, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, I'm called Ngoadesmon. Uh, and I'm from the Northwest region. She's my beloved mother, and beside her uh, is my brother-in-law. Uh, so for the past uh, two years, since 2022, early 2022, uh, I've been suffering from leukemia. So I had some uh, tumors all over my body, which was later diagnosed as a non-Hodgkin lymphoma, a type of blood cancer which affects your bone marrow and the production of uh, white blood cells. Voilà, avant de retourner sa gloire entière à l'éternel, il vient de la région de Nord-Ouest. À côté de lui, c'est sa maman, ensuite son beau-frère. Il nous dit au préalable que le problème qu'il a mené ici au ministère de l'Alliance de Dieu, c'est le problème de leucémie. Il avait des problèmes au niveau de ses aisselles et cela a beaucoup affecté ses globules blancs. Il avait un problème aussi à un stade qu'on pouvait comparer à un problème de cancer. Uh, as you have watched, you can only imagine the pain which I've been through. Uh, words alone cannot uh, explain uh, what I've been through, but it is only by the mercy of God. So through why I was going through all of this, it was painful, moving from one hospital to another. Uh, we could not immediately start treatment because the doctor said we needed further tests to know the specific type of leukemia it is. And because we are here, the test needs to be sent to America for further checkups. So I stayed for a couple of months before the result was out. Throughout that moment, a lot of pain, a lot of stress. But during, when the result... Alors, il nous dit, comme nous avons vu sur la vidéo précédente, il était sous l'agonie de la douleur, il était sous l'emprise de la douleur. Ce problème l'avait beaucoup affecté au quotidien, le stress psychologique. Ce problème de leucémie l'avait tellement affecté que lorsqu'il allait se faire consulter, le médecin lui a dit qu'il était temps qu'on détermine le stade, le niveau de cette leucémie. Et avant cela, il nous dit qu'il était constamment sur l'emprise de la douleur au quotidien. Il faisait face au stress psychologique. Because it's a, it's blood cancer, I was always, always on blood transfusion. I was always running short of blood. I have blood count six. The highest I had was six on 17. At times, I'll go down to two or one on 17. Uh, at a certain point in time, I was on a coma, uh, where the, the doctors declared that it was stage five uh, leukemia. Uh, all hope was lost. Voilà, il n'aurait été face à ce problème, il devait constamment avoir des transfusions sanguines. On devait lui donner les poches de sang parce que ce problème de leucémie avait tellement affecté sa vie. Et face à cette situation, il avait déjà perdu tout espoir. Et avant cela, 
Il nous a dit précédemment que face à ce problème, le médecin lui a dit qu'il pouvait voyager hors du pays pour chercher une expertise par rapport à ce problème, car il était temps qu'on détermine le stade de sa leucémie. I was bedridden for a very long time. Uh, because of the shortage of blood, I started experiencing painful urination, uh, multiple bacterial infection. I started urinating blood, not only blood, but lumps of blood, blood clot, painful blood clot, and uh, <laughs> too much. <laughs> voilà. Et il nous dit c'était une situation agonisante. Au quotidien, il était sur l'emprise de cette agonie de douleur et il devait faire face à plus de transfusions sanguines parce qu'il perdait beaucoup de sang. Il était à perte de sang et justement, on devait lui faire une transfusion sanguine pour remédier par rapport à ce problème de leucémie. So, uh, this bag that you see here, when my bladder got burst, I had a wound on my abdomen where I could no longer urinate properly through my private. So the doctor proposed this bag that with this bag, they are going to attach gum to it, to my skin, and place the bag on it. So that when I drink water, the water should not come out immediately, but it should come out through this bag because I could only lie down. I could not stand up. If I stand up, any water that is in my system will flush out. Alors, il vient de montrer le kit qu'il vient de montrer précédemment. On devait poser ce kit au niveau de son abdomen pour que chaque fois qu'il boive de l'eau, que cela ne sorte pas directement. Et justement, c'était la solution pour que chaque fois qu'il devait boire de l'eau, l'eau ne devait pas sortir et ça devait retenir de l'eau dans son corps. So, this big syringe you see here, Each time the, my catheter will, will get blocked with blood clot, the doctors will use this syringe like this to flush it out. At times, it will not even work. Et il nous dit que cette sonde de ce catheter qu'il vient de montrer, chaque fois qu'il devait avoir quelque chose à l'intérieur, le médecin devait appuyer ce catheter qui est comme une seringue pour que ce qui est à l'intérieur de cela sorte. Uh, there, was, there was this period we went to the hospital and uh, they refused to clean the wound. And my mother, they had to take it upon herself. She bought all the things needed to clean the wound. The video you saw there, that was my mother actually cleaning the wound by herself. Alors, il vient de nous dire que sur cette vidéo, on a vu sa maman dans la situation et lorsqu'il était à l'hôpital, sa maman était avec lui à, dans cette situation à l'hôpital. So, at one stage, the doctors came around and uh, they looked at the situation. They didn't actually know if it was my bladder that was burst or the pipe from my kidney leading to my bladder that has burst. So they say because I'm on chemo and I don't have enough blood, an operation could not be carried out to determine the particular area where it's coming from. So they say they'll just discharge me to go home and patient will take his course. Alors il nous dit que face à cette situation, une épisode, il a eu à à avoir une vessie qui était percée. Et lorsque sa vessie était percée, la situation est devenue difficile et compliquée. Et les médecins étaient dans l'impasse et on lui a demandé qu'il était temps qu'il rentre à la maison. Also, when, when I was in coma, I went off. I had so many experiences. I was seeing a lot of things happening to me. I was fighting a lot of battles. Uh, at one point in time, I felt I was no more, as if I was moving to the other side. I, I saw someone telling me, your time is up. You can choose your next family. Pointing to the left, 
and say, make your choice. Your time is up. I began to cry. I cried. I cried. I said, no. I don't want to go now. I love my family. I want to spend some time with this family. Give me some time. Give me some time. They said, no, make your choice. Your time is up. At that moment, I did not see the person again who was telling me that. I saw. Voilà, il nous dit que dans une épisode de coma, lorsqu'il est entré dans le coma, il a expérimenté une mauvaise expérience et il a vu de mauvaises choses dans le coma. Et quelqu'un est venu lui dire que ton temps sur cette terre est fini, il est temps que tu partes. Et il ne voulait pas partir, il plaidait avec cette personne, mais. Cette personne insistait en lui disant que ton temps sur cette terre est arrivé et il faudrait que tu partes. So, when the person left, I thought I was dead. I thought I was dead. I was seeing a lot of dead people around me. Everywhere was scary. I thought I was dead. I was in the mortuary and I'm alive, but around dead people. So I was scared to talk. I said to myself, if I open my mouth, these dead people will finally kill me. Alors, toujours dans cet épisode de coma, il se voyait toujours avec des personnes décédées. Il se trouvait à la morgue avec les personnes décédées jusqu'à ce qu'ils sortent du coma. Il se voyait toujours autour des personnes décédées. Et une fois, il s'est même vu à la mort avec les personnes décédées. Suddenly, I saw a bright light. But I could not see anyone. I saw a bunch of angels flying around. But I said, I'm in the mortuary. How can angels be here? I saw the man of God among the angels. Alors, il nous dit explicitement que toujours dans ce coma, il a vu beaucoup d'anges et parmi ces anges, il y avait le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi. I look, I said, I've seen this man before. He's the only familiar face I can recognize here. They were just staring at me. Then he said, Follow me. That is among the angels. Yes. You recognize somebody's face. Yes. Who was that person? It was you. Who? <laughs> Apostle John Sheen. Voilà. Et il nous réitère que parmi les anges, il a vu la face d'une personne. Et cette personne était le général de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi. Et le général de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi, lui a dit de le suivre. I looked at him, and then he said, this one, we have to spare this one. He was talking to the other angels. Then he said, follow me. I said, where am I going to? He said, follow me. I just followed him, and suddenly he disappeared. Voilà, il n'aurait été qu'autour de ces anges, il y avait une personne qui était la personne, de, le général de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi. Et lorsqu'il a regardé le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi, l'apôtre John Chi lui a dit, il faut me suivre. Et c'est comme ça qu'il s'est mis à suivre l'apôtre John Chi. Few days later, I, I woke up from coma. And when I woke up from coma, the first person I saw was my mother. And beside her was the living water. I asked, I asked her, where did you get this? She said, no. While I was on coma, she had to call my brother-in-law. And uh, my brother-in-law had to run and, and get uh, the living water. And say she has been administering it on me. And the sticker as well. She placed the sticker under my pillow throughout the time when I was in coma. Alors, il nous réitère 
embarqué dans ce coma lorsque le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre Gentil, lui a dit de le suivre. Justement, lorsque le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre Gentil, lui a dit de le suivre quelques jours après, il s'est réveillé de son coma et lorsqu'il s'est réveillé de son coma, la personne qui était à côté de lui, c'était sa maman et sa maman tenait en ses mains l'eau vive et l'autocollant oint et c'est son beau-fils, son beau-frère autant pour moi, c'est son beau-frère qui a donné cette eau vive et l'autocollant oint à sa maman et lorsqu'il était dans cet état comateux, sa maman aspergeait constamment l'eau vive sur lui. So, my, my mom says she has been administering the water to me and the sticker under my pillow. I said, but where is this coming from? She said, the Ark of God covenant, that it belongs to John Chi. I said, John Chi, she said, yes. I said, I saw him while I was in coma. She said, yes. That's why I've been administering you this water. I said, where is my brother-in-law? He called for him outside. I said, what is this? He said, this is the living water. I said, where is it from? He said, it's from John Chi. I said, John Chi. He said, yes. I was surprised. I could not believe that someone I saw actually had something they were using on me. So he started to explain to me that, no, the living water is like anointing water. You use it whenever you are in difficulties, whenever all hope is lost. I said, that must be the reason why I'm alive today, because I know I died. Voilà la preuve tangible de Jésus-Christ. Et il aurait été que lorsqu'il était dans le coma, et il a vu le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre Jean-Chi, parmi les anges. Et lorsqu'il s'est réveillé, il est sorti de l'état comateux. Sa maman avait le vive dans ses mains, avait le toit coulant au un. Sa maman lui a dit que c'est son beau-frère. Autant pour moi qui lui a donné cette eau vive et le toit coulant au un. Et sa maman aspégeait cela constamment sur lui lorsqu'il était dans, dans l'état comateux. Et il était stupéfié, frappé d'étonnement de savoir que la même personne qu'il a vue lorsqu'il était dans le coma, et cette même personne qui se trouve aussi l'autocollant au un, qui est la personne de l'apôtre John Chi. Et aujourd'hui, c'est la preuve tangible, la preuve significatrice que Jésus-Christ l'a guéri. Jésus-Christ l'a guéri au travers du moyen de l'eau vive en utilisant son humble serviteur, le général de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi. So, from there, I started administering the old, the old water, the anointing water myself. I used it on my wound, under my armpit. I used it on the one on my groins. And slowly, it was going, it was going, it was going, and everything disappeared. Alors, il nous dit que lorsqu'il a continué à administrer l'eau vive, toute sa maladie a commencé à partir progressivement, progressivement, jusqu'à ce qu'il retrouve sa guérison complète. I am free, I am healed, I am born again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man of God. And my life is a testimony for everyone who is going through any health challenge in this life. Vraisemblement, chers téléspectateurs, merci Jésus-Christ. Et la réponse qui vient d'un cœur joyeux. Aujourd'hui, son cœur est rempli d'allégresse. Sa bouche ne peut qu'abonder les merveilles de ce que l'Éternel a fait dans sa vie à travers le général de Dieu, Pau John Chi. Amen. 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 I want you to watch this video again. Je voudrais que vous regardiez cette vidéo encore. And encore. watch my brother here. Et vous regardez mon frère ici. For you to know that our God is awesome. Pour que vous compreniez que notre Dieu est merveilleux. Okay. Watch this video again. Regardez encore la vidéo. Sensitive nature. Viewers discretion is advised. The following is a footage of Mr. Ongwa Desmond suffering from a malignant non-Hodgkin lymphoma, a cancerous condition characterized 
by tumors under his armpits, abdomen, neck, and pelvic regions. The situation later aggravated to stage 2, a point where he started passing out lumps of blood and mucus through his private parts. This later on affected his kidneys, resulting in swollen legs, severe body pains and migraines, as well as multiple bacteria infections due to poor circulation of body fluids. At the final stage, he went into a coma and while he was on life support, it looked as if all hope was lost. When you have run out of rope, it is time to hang on to faith. Because no one's hope is lost whose hope is in Christ Jesus. Let us watch what happened when he encountered Jesus Christ through the medium of the living water sent by Apostle John Chi. Walking down the road of life, burdened with my problems, looking for someone, someone to help me out. Then I met this man, he told me he was Jesus. From the, from the video you have watched, you can see that I am free. I am standing in front of you. I am a testimony of God's goodness in my life. I am a testimony of the living water. I am a testimony. I feel no pain again in my armpit. There is nothing there as you can see. I urinate peacefully like a newborn baby. Voilà, lorsque Dieu guérit, il guérit effectivement à sa puissance et à sa force, rien du tout.
de paraître impossible. La vidéo précédente corrobore le fait que l'éternel l'a guéri. Et maintenant, il est en train de tapoter des aisselles la preuve tangible que l'éternel l'a guéri. Et il a guéri effectivement. I want to use this uh, opportunity to thank you all for sharing with me in this testimony, especially the man of God, Apostle John Chi. You saved my life, and you are still using your ministry to save many more lives. You are truly a man of God, a blessing to Cameroon, and a blessing to the world. Voilà, et remercie le peuple de Dieu d'écouter son témoignage, le témoignage qu'il est en train de partager. Et remercie aussi le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre jean si de se laisser utiliser par Dieu pour opérer le miracle dans sa vie et dans celle des autres. It's important for everyone to know that there is power in the holy water, in the living water. There is power in it, whatever you are going through. Use it all the time. Just keep it beside you. Even if you don't use it, you should always have it. Use it by faith, and God will see you through. Ainsi faisant, il exhorte le peuple de Dieu de se procurer de l'eau vive et toujours administrer cela avec la foi. Uh, as you can see, the medical report is quite old because uh, the doctors have used my report a lot. Uh, you can see the differential diagnosis includes Norse Hopkin lymphoma with large cells, poorly differentiated carcinoma, and amelanotic melanoma. The grammar is too much, you can understand. Correlation with clinical futures is required. Immunohistochemical stain not available here. We would be necessary for more specific diagnosis. This was the first one which they, rec they, rec they recommend, recommended me to do a further test, a test which will be sent uh, to the state so they can know the specific type of leukemia. Voilà, notre frère vient de montrer ici le tableau ci contre la preuve qui corrobore le fait qu'il souffrait du problème de leucémie. Et sur ce document, il y a la signification médicale du fait qu'il souffrait de la leucémie. So, this is the latest report which was done a few weeks ago after using the living water. Clinical history, known case of diffuse last cell T, no Hodgkin lymphoma, completed salvage therapy. That is the form of uh, chemotherapy I was using. Smell shows a mixed lymph fluid population. The large cells with pro prominated nodules noted on the previous biopsy and not identified in the current specimen. The mixed lymphoid prolification, malignancy not identified. En résumé, notre frère vient de montrer sur le deuxième document le document qui atteste le fait qu'il n'a plus le problème de leucémie et il est sorti du coma quelques semaines après qu'il a eu à administrer l'eau vive venant du ministère de l'Ache de l'Alliance de Dieu. Who can justly do this? Qui peut bien faire ceci? I cannot hear you. Qui peut bien faire ceci? Who can justly do this? Qui peut bien faire ceci? Clap for Jesus Christ. Acclamez merveilleusement pour Jésus Christ. If Jesus Christ was not alive, si Jesus Christ what would have happened to him? Qui sera avec notre frère? With God, all things are 
possible. Avec Dieu, toute chose est possible. People of God, praise the Lord. My name is Madame Gua Christina. The people beside me, this is my son Gua Desmond. He's my uh, son in law. He's always by my side since this boy started. Alors, notre maman retourne toute la gloire et toute la magnificence à l'éternel. Avant cela, il nous dit à côté d'elle, c'est son fils. Ensuite, c'est son gendre. Et ce merveilleux gendre qui a toujours été à côté d'elle pendant les moments difficiles qu'elle a traversés avec son fils. So, when this boy starts to speak, he traumatized me very much. When we went to the hospital in Douala, with that wound, they said that they cannot wash it. He cried. I cried with him. I cried until he turned and told me that Mama, stop crying. I go outside. I cried very well and come back. Voilà, notre maman nous dit que cette situation l'a traumatisé. Ça fut une situation agonisante. C'était de l'agonie. Pour elle et pour son fils, son fils pleurait constamment et elle aussi elle pleurait. Et lorsque son fils voyait sa maman pleurer, sous le fait d'encourager sa maman, il devait dire à sa maman de cesser de pleurer. Mais alors, elle devait sortir de la salle d'hôpital pour aller pleurer à l'extérieur. So when we went to the house, I go to a pharmacy, I bought those things to clean the wounds. I started cleaning the wounds. Every day, every day, water was coming out as is it is a, a tap. When I was cleaning the wound, I was praying. I declare and I decree, this morning you will not die. You will be the one to bury me, not me to bury you this morning. Voilà, notre maman nous dit que face à cette situation, elle n'avait qu'à remettre tout à l'éternel. Et ainsi, elle priait chaque jour en disant, mon fils, tu ne dois pas mourir, ce n'est pas moi qui vais t'enterrer, ça sera plutôt le contraire, c'est toi qui dois m'enterrer. I'm not a nurse. I don't even I don't even go to school. So I take upon me that I cannot leave my son to die like that. I start cleaning the wound. Every day I pray. Every day. If anyone calls me, I will say pray to this morning. Please help me and pray. So we had a chain prayer with my Christian friends. So we were praying. We had to pray for nine days. When we were praying, when I cleaned the wound, every day I clean it, I pray, I prayed. The last day that we were to end the prayers, a fat lumps like this come out. Then the wound have a deep hole inside. I start thanking God. I say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He asked me, Mama, what is it? I say, see that wound. See it. The thing is coming up. The next day. Alors, elle aurait été que face à la, cette situation qui était de l'agonie, elle a eu une union de prière avec les fidèles de son église, ses frères et sœurs en Christ. Il y a eu une union de prière pour remettre son fils en prière constamment. Elle remettait son fils en prière, elle priait pour son fils. Et au cours des événements, un amas de sang est sorti de son fils. Et lorsqu'elle a vu cet amas de sang, elle s'est mise à retourner toute la louange à l'éternel, sachant que l'éternel a exaucé ses prières et a libéré son fils. So, when my son-in-law bought this uh, anointing water, this morning water, the living water, So I start using it. I put the sticker under the pillow. So I was using it every day, every day. When he go on coma, I cried. I asked myself, what is really this? I said, let me call his friend and tell him that he should call a priest to come and anoint him. Alors, elle nous dit que lorsque son gendre est venu avec l'eau vive, 
elle s'est mise à prier avec ferveur en espérant l'eau vive sur son fils. Elle remettait toujours son fils en prière. Lorsqu'il était dans le coma, elle priait avec l'eau vive en espérant cela sur son fils constamment. So when I used the living water, my son started feeling fine, fine until he was eating. I said, boy, God have answered our prayers, Lou. Then he was not, her legs were no moving. He, he told me, mama, why do you leave me to leave the doctors to cut my legs? I said, no, your legs are there. He said, where are them? Touch them, let me see. I touched them. He cried, he cried. I said, okay, leave it. Let me call the doctor to come and explain something for you. Alors, elle nous dit davantage que lorsque son fils est sorti du coma, elle était tellement joyeuse et son fils ne ressentait pas ses jambes. Elle a demandé au, il a demandé que le médecin vienne, mais elle s'est mise à toucher les jambes de son fils jusqu'à ce qu'il a commencé à ressentir ses jambes et il s'est retrouvé dans un état bien portant. So when the doctors come, I still use the living water. I spread it. Now my son is fine. He's feeling fine. I am saying thank you, Jesus. I will beg the man of God. Voilà, lorsque le corps médical est arrivé, eux aussi, ils étaient frappés de tonnement, mais elle leur a dit qu'elle a utilisé l'eau vive pour prier sur son fils et Dieu a œuvré à travers le moyen de l'eau vive pour guérir son fils. Et aujourd'hui, elle ne peut que dire merci Jésus-Christ, car son cœur est rempli d'allégresse. Je veux le Dieu de l'homme pour me prophète John G. pour me permettre so que les gens de Dieu rejoignent me pour thank pour ce qu'il a fait à mon son. Comme je l'ai dit, merci Jésus. Merci Jésus. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Vraisemblement, chers téléspectateurs. Vraisemblement, chers téléspectateurs, merci Jésus-Christ est la réponse qui vient d'un cœur joyeux. Aujourd'hui, son cœur est rempli d'allégresse. Sa bouche ne peut qu'abonder les merveilles de l'Éternel en disant merci Seigneur. What I will advise people that they are sick, that they have serious problems, that they should keep up their faith to God and trust in God. They will be healed as my son is healed. Ainsi faisant, elle les autres. Le peuple de Dieu, que si vous faites face aux pareils problèmes, il faut remettre cette situation, ce prédicament, dans les mains de l'Éternel, et vous aussi, vous témoignerez pour la gloire de l'Éternel. Uh, I'm called Mingo Emmanuel Mbappa. Citizens of heaven. Mingo Citizens of heaven. Mingo Amen. I'm Mingo Emmanuel Mbappa. And the person next to me is Desmond, and that is the mother. They are my in-laws. We are here today because, first of all, we want to thank God for the life of Desmond. It's a testimony to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And to thank the man of God for allowing himself that God has been using him to bless the world, to bless Cameroon, and to be a blessing to our family. Voilà, il élève sa voix pour dire merci à l'Éternel et remercier le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi, de se laisser utiliser par Dieu pour opérer ce miracle dans, cette, dans sa famille. Avant cela, à côté de lui, c'est son beau-fils et ensuite sa belle-mère. Uh, it started and uh, it was a heartening situation. I couldn't really bear it because I was too disturbed. Desmond was with me in my home, Amiyaunde, when all this started. As you see him peeing there, it is in my home, actually. So it started as though it was something just blood clot, and he went to Douala on hospitalization. At one point, mom called me pretty early in the morning. 
He called my wife pretty early in the morning and told us that the situation is getting really too bad. And we have to get up also in prayers. Alors, il est en train de narrer les événements de ce qui s'est passé. Lorsque la situation a commencé, c'était comme une situation légère, mais lorsqu'il n'était pas là, on a appelé sa femme pour lui dire que son beau-frère Desmond est en train de prendre une autre tournure, que la situation est en train de se compliquer et qu'il fallait qu'il cherche une solution immédiate par rapport à cela. I immediately called a friend that I know in Boya. I told him, hey gentleman, I will need your help. Whatever it costs me is not a problem. Please, I need somebody to do an errand for me. To come to the ACCOM. Please do that for me. I really need that help. And just a few minutes after, he called me and told me he's going to put his younger brother at my disposal and get me his number. Immediately. Alors, à la recherche de solutions, il a appelé quelqu'un qui est ici à Bouya parce qu'il était à la recherche de solutions. In the same line while he was coming over here, I had the number of the prayer line. I equally called. So when he came, he was in contact here with me and the, the person he met here, I don't even know the person, I explained the situation. That is how he got the living water and took it to the hospital in Douala and gave them wider. Alors, lorsqu'il est entré en contact avec cette personne qui était ici à Bouya, c'est comme cela qu'on l'a expédié l'eau vive. So, like mom said, I was also, I was always by them. It's because his situation was such that he could not take even a public transport. So I had to sacrifice my own job, everything I was doing. And I left Yaoundé immediately to Douala because I had to carry him along in my own car, wherever he had to go. Voilà, il ne pouvait pas prendre le bus de transport commun. Il a eu à se déplacer avec son véhicule pour arriver à Douala parce que c'était une situation qui avait besoin d'une intervention immédiate. So, that is how we have been up and down and uh, I told mom how to administer the living water and the importance of the living water and that she should always keep it by Desmond and make sure she prays with Desmond and that is what she had been doing. Justement, lorsqu'ils ont eu l'eau vive, il nous dit qu'il priait constamment sur son beau-fils en implorant la miséricorde et la faveur de Dieu. Lorsqu'il priait, il espérait l'eau vive sur son beau-frère. As all of us can see, today Desmond is the testimony to the gospel of Jesus Christ. We want to thank... Évidemment, chers téléspectateurs, via la vidéo précédente, notre frère Desmond aujourd'hui est un témoignage pour la gloire de l'Éternel. Desmond is also a testimony to the power in the living water. Il est aussi un témoignage qui est dans la puissance de l'eau vive. I can't end this than to call, encourage anybody that is watching us right now that God is actually God is actually the person in this living water. It is not our prophet. He is just a servant. And in difficult situation, please Make sure you have one, because that is a direct contact with the power of God. Ainsi faisant, il exhorte le peuple de Dieu que Dieu se manifeste au travers de l'eau vive, que quelle que soit votre situation, si c'est une situation périlleuse et difficile, faites tout moyen possible d'avoir l'eau vive, car l'œuvre de l'Éternel est en train de se manifester à travers l'eau vive. So right now, I want to acknowledge God in His mercy and his love towards us in what he has done in the life of Desmond. I also want honestly to thank the man of God and to thank him again for allowing himself to be used by God to bless us. Amen. Okay. Ainsi faisant, il remercie l'Éternel pour sa miséricorde et son amour dans la vie de son beau-frère et il remercie le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi, de se laisser utiliser par Dieu. Ah, oh, vale. Ahora estamos escuchando al hermano Desmond que vino aquí por un asunto 
de tumor que le salieron en la derecha y también en el espacio privado. Y el desmón está contando que se fue y todo empezaba con un pequeño de malaria, de paludismo, pero cuando se fue al médico le hablaban de una cosa de anemia y lo que era decir la sangre que le solía salir de su parte privada. El hermano le dicen que se fue al médico siempre dentro de un asunto, en situación muy desesperado, porque los médicos le faltaba poner sangre cada día. Así que era una situación muy peligrosa hasta que un día se entraron en el estadio de coma. Dentro del coma, ahí dicen que se fue a un viaje donde no veía nada, nada más a Los Ángeles. Y en el medio de esos ángeles se ve al apóstol John Chi. Y sin conocerle, sin saber quién eres. Y ahí el, un hombre se le apareció y le dijo que aún no es tu tiempo de ir, te hay que regresar. Así regresaba y encontraba a su madre cerca de su lado. Y se preguntaba a su madre qué es lo que estás haciendo aquí y qué llevas en la mano si su mano le enseñó el agua viva. Sin saber lo que era el agua viva, la madre sí, le dijiste que el agua viva es el agua del apóstol John Chi. Ahí empezó a se dar cuenta que ha sido salvado por el medio del agua viva. Y también dice que su cuñado sí es la que presentó y que le trajo el agua viva en el médico. Así estás aquí hoy día para agradecer al Señor, para agradecer al apóstol John Chi, para dejarse y usar por el Espíritu del Señor, por salvar a mucha gente tal como él aquí hoy día. Que Dios bendiga a nuestro hermano en el nombre de Jesús. I want to advise, I want to advise everyone that when we, gone, when we have gone to the end of the journey, let us have hope only in Jesus Christ. Thank you, thank you. Amen. 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 So I want to ask my brother Desmond, what are you doing for a living now? I'm just resting. You are <laughs> resting. Wow. Clap for Jesus Christ. Wow. We we'll thank God for his life. And we thank God for our mom who has always been there. We thank God for brother has been there. God has been so faithful and uh, today he is alive. Jesus Christ is alive. He is alive. Amen. What else do we need? Only to say thank you Jesus. No tenemos nada que decir, que decir gracias al Señor. Así que agradecemos al Señor por su vida y de su madre que siempre ha sido en su lado. Gracias Señor. Desmond is a blessing to the world. This morning is a benediction for the world. Amen. Amen. So, he has really gone through a lot. Ha pasado mucho tiempo, muchas dificultades. But he is what he is today by the power of resurrection. Pero es lo que es hoy por el poder de la resurrección. So, the Lord has instructed me El Señor me has dicho. This month is a blessing to the world. This month is a bendición for the world. And it's a blessing to the world. But God has instructed me to bless him. Y el Señor me ha instruido que yo lo bendiga. For him to start up his life. Para que pueda empezar su vida. To get back on his feet. Because as you bless him with the sum of 500,000 francs. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, man of God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. May the oil on your head never run dry. I will not only be the one to take these blessings. Everyone here must be part of these blessings. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Man of God, thank you. Thank you. God will continue to bless you. Upon receiving. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Everyone here will be part of this blessing. Amen. So I will begin the blessing. You will follow. Bless him. Bless him. Viewers, watch your screen. 
upon him receiving from the throne of grace. You can see so, what the man of God is about yeah. to do. He has just stand received. Stand up, stand up, stand up. <laughs> his son He's of doing push up, oh. <laughs> Do it again, let me see. Viewers, watch your screen. He's overwhelmed with joy. You see that? He's doing push ups. Me, I cannot do the one he has done now like this. You can see the gesture from the man of God opposed to John Chi. Wow. Thank you. Not only God has used him to restore back this man to his original position, but he has also received a sum of 500,000 francs from the man of God opposed to John Chi. Indeed, the gospel is not just in words, it's also in action. Glory be to God. So, please bring me those containers here, whatever. Everyone here must bless this month. Everyone. Choir, give us song. This month must be blessed. Because he's a blessing. Viewers, you can also send in your blessings. Alors, chers téléspectateurs, vous pouvez aussi envoyer so, vos bénédictions à notre frère Desmond. Vous pouvez voir ce qu'il a passé. Mais aujourd'hui, ce n'est pas moi qui ai pris la gloire. Il est ce qu'il est par sa grâce. Et il est ce qu'il est aujourd'hui par sa grâce. Amen. Amen. Ok. Alors, toute personne présente ici aujourd'hui doit bénir notre frère. Merci pour nous aider. The glory of the Lord is upon me. I am blessed every day. The glory of the Lord is upon me. I am blessed Come. every day. Amen. So they should give him three bags of rice. Donnez they should bring three bags of rice here.
it's love. Your man says that you're right forever. Jehovah, I don't know. Because you know the baby.
Let me see, let me see. My lifter. 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 Lifter of my head, my melody, the song that I sing. Drop it, let's teach the church. You are the lifter of my head. It says, You are my glory, you are my sheet, dear Lord. You are the lifter of my head, my melody, the song that let me hear the church now. You say, Yeah, you know the song. Come, you are my glory. Everybody, let us go. You are the lifter of my head. You are the lifter of my head. My glory. You are my glory. You are my shield. Hey, you, you are, are the, the lifter of my head. My melody, the song that I sing. You are the lifter of my head. You are the lifter of my head. My glory. You are my glory. Oh, yeah. You are my shield. You are. to the left.
tell you it is an error for your neighbor to challenge you here in dancing why it is an error for your neighbor to challenge you la somme contribuée donnée par la congregation contribuée par la congrégation to support our brother Desmond pour entraîner notre frère Desmond to start a new life pour commencer une nouvelle vie so we have the sum of 782,600 francs Amen. Amen. Listen. 782,600 francs. 533 US dollars. <laughs> 10 euros. 200 rands. 10 pounds. 285 Australian dollars. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, President. So, alors, regardez votre écran, chers téléspectateurs. Une photo de souvenir qui est en train d'être prise par le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi, et notre frère qui a au préalable, il a reçu une somme de 500 000 francs et la congrégation a aussi contribué une somme de 782 600 francs. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, the congregation. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you all. God bless you so, so much. Today, we are all resurrected in Jesus' name. Merci, Jésus-Christ. C'est la réponse qui vient d'un cœur joyeux. So, a few months ago, we were crying tears of sorrow. Today, we are crying tears of joy. So, my advice to everyone is be grateful for whatever you are going through, whatever you have to be grateful for, and the Lord will bless you in unexpected ways, in abundance and abundance of ways. We are all connected. We might not know each other, but we are all from one source. And from that source, all of us are resurrected in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I have never seen this before. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man of God. 
Today is the evidence of resurrection power of Jesus Christ. We thank everybody and the congregation for your support. Thank you. Thank you, man of God, for this platform. Viewers all the world, we thank you for, for your support and being part of us in this particular service and this testimony in Jesus' name. Merci pour le soutien, merci le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi, et merci pour la puissance de résurrection de Jésus-Christ. Amen. Amen. So, thank you. If your faith is lifted up, let me see your hand. Si ta foi est affermie, que je vois ta main. Amen. Amen. Yes. We are now ready to move into the next line of action. Nous sommes au point d'avancer au notre niveau d'action. The reason for this day. La raison pour cette journée. He has resurrected. Il est ressuscité. Therefore, whatever situation you are in, alors quelle que soit votre situation présente, must be resurrected. Elle doit être ressuscité. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So the power of resurrection is coming upon you right now. Alors la puissance de résurrection vient sur toi maintenant. And with it, the joy of the Lord. Et elle accompagnée de la joie de l'Éternel. Amen. Amen. The way the Lord has instructed me la to go about this service today is different. La façon que l'Éternel m'a instruit de diriger ce culte aujourd'hui est différente. Amen. Amen. The Lord has given me the grace. L'Éternel m'a octroyé la grâce to anoint everyone here. Joindre toute personne présente ici aujourd'hui. Amen. Amen. I am only given this grace. J'ai reçu cette grâce to do this. Pour faire ceci. Viewers, you are not left out. Spectateurs, vous n'êtes pas ici. Physically, you may not be here, but spiritually, you are here with us. Physiquement, vous n'êtes pas ici, mais spirituellement, vous êtes ici. Physically, we may not be there, but spiritually, we are there with you. Physiquement, nous sommes pas là-bas, mais spirituellement, nous y sommes. So the Lord has instructed me to anoint everyone here. L'Éternel m'a instruit d'oindre toute personne présente ici aujourd'hui. And as this anointing lives in you, et comme cette onction demeure en toi, vit en toi. Nothing out of God's control will happen to you. Rien hors du contrôle divin va t'arriver. As this anointing comes upon you, comme cette onction survient sur toi, it will release a new life in you. Cela va relâcher une nouvelle vie en toi. It will release a new lease of life in you. Ça va relâcher une nouvelle paix de vie en toi. And as this anointing remains in you, et comme cette anointing demeure en toi, you will be accessible but untouchable. Tu seras accessible mais intouchable. Touch not my anointed. Touch point mon roi. Touch not my anointed. Touche-toi, mon roi. Do my prophet no harm. Et ne fais aucun malheur à mon prophète. Are you ready for the anointing? Es-tu prêt pour l'onction? Are you ready for this anointing? Es-tu prêt pour cette onction? So you will be anointed in the power room. Everybody must go through the power room. Vous serez loin dans la chambre de puissance. Toute personne va traverser la chambre de puissance. You in the overflow. You must go through the power room. Toute personne va entrer dans la chambre de puissance. This anointing must come upon you today. Cette onction doit descendre. This anointing must come upon your generation today. Cette onction doit entrer dans ta génération aujourd'hui. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord will use me. L'Éternel va m'utiliser to anoint pour oindre 
Your hands for success. Votre main pour la victoire. The Lord will use me to anoint your womb for fruitfulness. L'Éternel va m'utiliser pour un tes entrailles pour la fécondité. The Lord will use me. L'Éternel va m'utiliser to anoint you for victory. Pour te ouvrir pour le succès et la victoire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So please let's get ready. Alors, We are going to the power room now. Nous allons dans la chambre de puissance maintenant. Are you ready? Êtes-vous prêt? Are you ready? Êtes-vous prêt? So, as you are coming, come along with the anointing oil. I will give you now. Quand vous venez, venez-y avec votre huile d'onction. Amen. Amen. So as you are coming, come along. Quand vous venez, That is the instruction. Venez-y avec votre huile d'onction. Voilà l'instruction que j'ai reçue. Alors, regardez votre écran, chers téléspectateurs. Le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi, en personne, est en train de partager l'huile d'onction. Regardez votre écran, chers téléspectateurs. Les personnes présentes ici, présentes, sont en train de recevoir l'huile d'onction afin d'être un dans la chambre de puissance. Alors, chers téléspectateurs, restez dans une attitude de prière et de méditation. La distance n'est pas une barrière pour que vous receviez cette option. Attend to you. Je vais prendre tout mon temps pour vous a... Everyone must pass through the power room. Pour vous prendre, toute personne va passer dans la chambre de puissance. So are you ready? Alors êtes-vous prêt? 
Are you ready? Okay. Let's go. Retrouvez-moi dans la chambre de puissance. Because of the crowd, it will affect the sick ones. Is it that we attend to them first? Amen. So please, they should bring out the sick ones. Let's attend to them first. So bring out the sick ones. Let's attend to them first before we start attending to everyone. Nous allons d'abord prier pour les malades avant de prier pour vous. Mama, go help my sister. Please, Mama, go help my sister. Please, Mama, go help my sister. She cannot walk. She was operated on the spine and she cannot walk. This man of God, help my sister. This man of God, help my sister. Man of God, help my sister. Please, man of God, help my sister. This man of God, help my sister. Let the resurrection power of Jesus Christ locate my sister today. This man of God, help my sister. Help my sister. This man of God.
Viewers all over the world. Voilà, chers spectateurs partout dans le monde entier. Thank you for joining us. Happy Easter. And thank you for joining us in today's live broadcast. Merci de vous joindre à nous en cette part et en ce culte en direct. We are right here in the power room. Nous sommes ici dans la chambre de puissance. As you can see, people from all walks of life, they are here. Comme vous and uh, they believe that the resurrection power of Jesus Christ will raise them from whatever situation they are in. Les gens sont venus de différents domaines de la vie espérant que la puissance de résurrection de Jésus-Christ va les ressusciter dans la situation dans laquelle ils se trouvent. Resurrection is to bring back to life something that has died. La résurrection c'est ramener à la vie ce qui est déjà mort. Your dead business will rise again. Votre affaire qui est mort va Your dead career will rise again. Votre carrière morte va ressusciter aujourd'hui. Your dead marriage will rise again. Votre mariage qui est mort va ressusciter aujourd'hui. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Au nom puissant de Jésus Christ. By the power. Par la puissance. That raised Lazarus from the dead. Qui a ressuscité Lazare d'entre les morts. That power, that same power is going to raise you. Cette puissance va te ressusciter aujourd'hui. From sickness to good health. De la maladie à la bonne santé. From failure to success. De l'échec à la réussite. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, we first of all anoint the sick ones. Avant que je commence à ouvrir les malades. Amen. Amen. So. Let us anoint the sick ones first. Il faut que je commence à oindre les malades d'abord. Come on. Show me your hand. Just to rub. Oh, right. On share the speed. Accident in the UB. He had an accident in UB. Uh -huh. boy, he had an accident in the field. Uh -huh. Yes. And then he cannot work, cannot do anything, man of God. Help me. Help me, man of God. Now he's home and he cannot go to school. He cannot do anything on his own. Help me, man of God. Help me. You say he did one? He had an accident in the UB. He's playing boy in UB. Okay, he was playing football. Yes, he had an accident in the field. He just collapsed one time. Man of God, help me. I was playing football in school and I collided with the goalkeeper. So I had a spring in my leg. So I want God to heal my leg completely because I cannot do all my activities freely. Okay. You rub your leg. Lose the bandage. Alors, regardez votre écran, chers téléspectateurs. Il est en train de délier les bandes. On m'en a ordonné à Lazare de délier ces bandes. Regardez votre écran, chers téléspectateurs. Le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi, lui a ordonné de délier ces bandes. Le même ordre qu'on a donné à Lazare de sortir de la tombe et de délier ces bandes. Cette puissance de résurrection aujourd'hui est en œuvre dans sa vie. Il est en train de délier ses bandes comme le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi, lui a instruit. La puissance de résurrection. I am not the healer. Je ne suis pas le guérisseur. I am not the deliverer. Je ne suis pas le délivreur. I know the healer. Mais je connais le guérisseur. And I know the deliverer. Et le délivreur. His name is Jesus Christ. Son nom, c'est Jésus-Christ. So the very foundation for receiving answers to your prayers is to base your faith on the fact that Christ died to provide all you are asking for. De nos prières de baser la foi sur le fait que Christ est mort pour pouvoir tout ce que nous cherchons. Healing and all of God's blessings, inclusive. La guérison y inclut les bénédictions de Dieu. So take this. Regardez votre écran, chers téléspectateurs. Le serviteur de Dieu l'a posé ici en train de le prendre. Regardez votre écran. Et il est en train de se oindre après avoir reçu l'instruction de la part de l'homme de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi. La puissance de résurrection 
est en train de survenir sur lui. Regardez votre écran, chers téléspectateurs. Regardez comme il est en train de mouvoir sa jambe. La preuve de la puissance de résurrection qui est en œuvre dans sa vie. Regardez votre écran, chers téléspectateurs. Cette puissance de résurrection est en train d'œuvrer dans sa vie. On lui a ordonné de se lever et marcher pour la gloire de l'Éternel. Regardez votre écran, chers téléspectateurs. Il est en train de marcher Thank you, Thank pour you, la gloire Jesus. de l'Éternel. Thank you, Jesus. I can walk. I can walk. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I can walk. I'm healed. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Don't run. Don't run. Just walk. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. My son is delivered. Thank you, Jesus. My son is delivered. Thank you, Jesus. My son is delivered. Thank you. He cannot walk, but he can walk now. What he cannot do, but he can do it now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, man of God. I have a spinal cord. They have operated me. This is twice. I have done all type of meditation to no avail. I cannot do anything on my own. I cannot even bend as I'm like this. I believe that by the power of the blood of Jesus and his resurrection, uh, this is my final bus stop. In Jesus' name. So, how did you come about this? I don't know. They operated me in 2022. After one year, I have the same problem again. They sent me back again to the theater and operated me. Then after that, it was after 14 days I was walking. After 14 days, I could not walk. So, I've been in the house. They were telling me from the bed. I could not even get up. I could not sit. After about three to four months, I started walking gradually, but I cannot bend, I cannot even straighten myself like this. Please, man of God, help my sister. Help my sister, please, man of God. She cannot walk on her own, she cannot do anything. She was operated from a spine, a spine. She cannot walk. From the spine? Yes. She cannot even go to church because she, can, she, can, she cannot sit up since then. She's only in the house. So, how are you using this? I use it like when I want to, let's say like I want to go to the palo, I use it to, to I push. push it, yes. Okay. Then I can sit, or because I cannot sit on something that is lower than this. Okay. Yes, and I cannot bend. I cannot turn myself. I've taken all type of medication. No have it. Viewers all over the world. Help me, man of God, please. We can see Mrs. Asa Pamela, all the way from the northwest region of Cameroon, Help me, man who has of God. come Help here me, man of God, please. with the problem of difficulty in walking due to a lumbar disc hernia. She's using a walker, a crush, and a body brace. Help me, man of God. Help me, man of God, please. I believe with you everything is possible. With God. She has come to seek the face of God, believing that Jesus Christ is the solution to all fundamental issues of life. She's about to receive spirit-filled prayers from God's servant, Apostle John Chi. Through the medium of the anointing oil. Robin. Just sit down, sit down. Remember sit that down, Jesus down, Christ don't, don't. can use any medium to express himself. Don't, don't pull it up. <laughs> uh, okay. Believing is our only medium to receiving. Wherever you are watching us from, distance is not a barrier to the move of God's power. She has been instructed by God's servant to use the anointing oil. We can see her using it all over her body, wherever she has had the pains. Viewers all over the world, you can see her reaction. You Just can liver, see her liver, reaction liver. to the anointing oil. This woman came here with this problem of difficulty in walking. You can see the power of God through the medium of the anointing oil. Watch your screen, viewers. 
The power of God is Come in action on, through your, the medium of the anointing oil. Just hold it, hold it, hold it, and stand there. Téléspectateurs, regardez l'écran de votre télévision. Si vous venez de vous connecter, nous mm -hmm. sommes en direct ici au ministère de l'Âge de l'Alliance de Dieu, Boya Cameroun, avec le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi, dans la chambre de puissance, pour célébrer la résurrection de notre Seigneur et Sauveur Jésus-Christ. Il est en train de oindre les malades. You. you cannot walk. Go. She has been set free. Come on, viewers, are you just you, watching Jesus. like that? Thank you, Jesus. She can now walk. Jesus. She came here with a problem of difficulty Thank you, Jesus. walking. Thank you, Jesus. My sister is walking. Sister Jesus. Thank she you, Jesus. Can now Thank walk you to the glory of God. Thank Put you for your hands beautifully mercy. together for Thank the miracle where you go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My sister is walking. There were some years that she could not walk. Today she is walking. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I am free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Come you. down. Come. Thank you, Jesus. 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 My sister can walk. My sister is already walking. I can walk. I am here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's a response from a happy Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Our Sunday we will go to church together. We will not go to church alone. We are going to Sunday. Thank you, Jesus. And we can see viewers all over the world that our sister is now able to walk. Without the aid of the worker. Thank you, Lord. Voilà, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Merci, Thank Jesus. you for healing. Merci, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I am, I am here. here. I am here. Thank you, Jesus, for healing my sister. She has suffered a lot. She has suffered a lot. Thank you, Jesus. This is indeed evidence that the age of miracle has not passed. Wherever you're watching us from, viewers, connect by faith, and you too will receive your own miracle. Remember that faith is the only heavenly currency. When Jesus Christ sees you without faith, he sees you without miracle, he sees you without healing. Men of God. He sees me. you without blessing. I have an nerve decompression of at the back, the lower back, which is uh, as, as affected my nerves. The nerves, the, the, uh, I, I resulted in having sciatica. And the thermal, this nerve here, then I have developed arthritis. The whole arm, the knees, this side, man of God, it's like I can ask somebody to cut the, one of the tendons because... So it's how has it affected you? I cannot do anything at home. I cannot do anything at home. This lady has come all the way from Botswana with a problem of difficulty in walking and then I have due to arthritis and nerve compression. Years. She is using a knee brace. And she says she has been suffering from this problem for What do you want Jesus Christ to do for you? to heal me for my, for, for my salvation. Okay. Jesus is the healer. Amen. Just massage it. Pull it up small. Just lose it. Ayant les difficultés à marcher, elle utilise une genouère. Elle est en train de recevoir le toucher divin. Remove it, remove it. La puissance de la résurrection de Alors, Jésus chers téléspectateurs partout dans le monde entier, regardez votre écran. Cette femme qui est venue ici avec des difficultés à marcher, elle a eu le privilège d'entrer dans la chambre de puissance où l'homme de Dieu, la peau de John Chi, est en train de la honte. Regardez hein. votre écran, chers téléspectateurs. La distance n'est pas une barrière à la mouvance du Saint-Esprit. Où que vous soyez, osez une demande en ce moment. Regardez comment il est en train de honder son pied sur le commandement de l'homme de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi. 
Regardez ce qui va se passer, chers téléspectateurs. Jésus-Christ n'a jamais dit au revoir. Il est toujours là pour vous. Il suffit simplement pour que vous puissiez agir par la foi. Et vous allez avoir les mêmes résultats que ceux qui sont ici dans la chambre de puissance. Dieu n'est pas limité par l'espace, le temps. Dieu peut tout faire. Il n'y a rien que Dieu ne puisse faire. Quelle est ta situation Est-ce qu'on t'a déjà déclaré qu'on ne peut plus rien faire On vient de la ordonner, mesdames et messieurs, chers téléspectateurs, de s'élever. Regardez votre écran. Regardez, premier pas, deuxième pas, troisième pas, chers téléspectateurs, acclamez le Seigneur Jésus-Christ en ce moment, quelque chose qu'elle ne pouvait pas faire, regardez votre écran. Elle est sous l'influence du Saint-Esprit, regardez votre écran. Elle est en train de subir une opération spirituelle. Jésus-Christ est en train de restaurer tout ce qui était mort dans sa vie, comme vous pouvez constater. Le pied qu'elle ne pouvait pas bouger par elle seule. Voilà, chers téléspectateurs. She has been commanded by God's servant to walk. She's still under the influence of the Thank Holy Spirit. Jesus. People Come of God, are you, just watching? are you just watching your screens? You can see Mama walk into the glory of God. Regardez votre écran, chers téléspectateurs. Elle est en train de courir pour la gloire de Jésus Christ. Est-ce qu'on peut acclamer? Thank you, Jesus. This is something Thank she could not do for the past 23 years. Now she is able to do it to the glory of God. Après 23 ans de maladie, chers téléspectateurs, à l'instant que l'homme de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi, l'a ordonné de se rendre avec cette huile d'ancien, elle a eu la force pour pouvoir marcher. Voilà, ça continue toujours dans la chambre de puissance ici au ministère de l'Âge de l'Alliance de Dieu. My name is Banla Edric. I'm from the Northwest Problem. I live in Douala. I have a problem with my leg, uh, 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 right leg. So it's starting the few when I was playing ball. Man of God, hi, my son. From, I started going to hospital at uh, Bonaberry, Douala. I'm from uh, uh, Bingo. My son cannot walk. Man of God. So he thinks that started when I was playing football. So I had a fracture here. Not a fracture, so I had a small hurt here. So he started, uh, I've been going several times to the hospital. I don't have a solution. So I want one of God to help me. It's been four months that I, I'm like this. I'm working, I'm working with the scotch. So I want man of God to help me. Man of God, please help me, I cannot work. I, can, I cannot do anything, I cannot go to work. So I can't do anything. What do you want Jesus Christ to do for you? I want Jesus Christ to heal me and to save me. For the salvation of your soul. The salvation of heaven. Voilà. L'occulte d'ancien continue ici dans la chambre de puissance avec son serviteur, le général, l'apôtre John Chi. Regardez, chers téléspectateurs, il continue à honte les gens qui ont effectué le déplacement ici pour chercher la solution à leurs problèmes. Comme vous pouvez voir sur votre écran, ce monsieur qui a des difficultés à marcher alors qu'il utilise la béquille pour se soutenir et maintenant, l'homme de Dieu est en train de leur donner de se lever, comme vous pouvez constater, chers téléspectateurs, sur votre écran. Regardez votre écran, chers téléspectateurs. Regardez, 
On l'a ordonné de s'élever. Regardez votre écran. Avec cette nuit d'onction que l'homme de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi, lui a donné de ce one. Et il peut marcher maintenant, mesdames et messieurs, pour la gloire de Jésus-Christ. Est-ce qu'on peut acclamer le Seigneur Est-ce qu'on peut acclamer le roi des rois Regardez votre écran. Il peut marcher maintenant librement, sans utiliser la béquille. Thank you, man of God. Où que vous soyez, Thank you, Jesus. peu importe ce que Thank vous êtes en train de traverser you, en ce moment, sachez qu'il n'y a rien que Jésus-Christ ne puisse faire. Et il n'y a pas un problème que Jésus-Christ ne peut pas apporter la solution. Il n'y a pas une maladie que Jésus-Christ ne peut pas guérir. Parce qu'il a l'autorité. Et il nous a donné cette autorité, comme vous pouvez voir cette autorité. It became severe, so I went and consulted, and they made the X-ray and saw that I had uh, lumbar pontulosis. So it has really hindered me because I'm a teacher. I'm not going to school any longer, and I cannot walk without the aid of lumbar corsets. Manogwa, please help my aunt. She cannot walk. She's losing a lumbar corset. Please, man of God, she's having lumbar spondylosis. She cannot work on her own. She has been placed on drugs, man of God. Please. Please help me, man of God. I want Jesus to use you to heal me, restore me, and establish me. Please, man of God. Please, man of God. I've gone through a lot in life. Please, man of God. Uh, Please, this man of medication God. are for you? Yeah, they, they, are, they, are, they are one for this. And these other ones... The ones are for pains. And so if I don't think, I don't walk. Okay, they yes, are for man, pains. Yes, man of God. I've gone to for physiotherapy, but no way. So I'm tired, man of God. I'm not walking. Okay, can you lose have... the belt? Viewers, watch your screen. You can see this lady who have come this morning at the Ark of God Covenant Ministry with a problem of lumbar spondylosis. As you can see, she's using a, a lumbar corset to support herself. You can see her now receiving. Et votre écran, of grace by the man of God, Senior Apostle John Chi. Elle est déjà sur l'influence du Saint-Esprit. <laughs> Regardez. <laughs> L'opération spirituelle est en train de prendre place dans sa vie et qui est venue avec des difficultés à marcher. Elle utilise une ceinture lombaire. On l'a ordonné de mettre cette huile sur son dos. L'obéissance vaut mieux que des sacrifices. Elle obéit, elle est en train de ouvrir son son dos, sa colonne vertébrale avec cette huile, l'ancien. À l'occasion de la Pâque, l'homme de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi, a déclaré cette journée comme culte d'ancien. On peut voir la puissance de Jésus-Christ dans cette huile. Regardez votre écran, chers téléspectateurs. On a ordonné de marcher. Quelque chose qu'elle ne pouvait pas faire, mesdames et messieurs. Elle peut maintenant marcher librement. Elle peut maintenant tourner pour la gloire de Jésus-Christ. Regardez votre écran. Viewers, our sister has just been set free. Thank Remember you, Jesus. With a Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Due to lumbar spondylosis. But walk. after a touch from the man I of God, we are the medium of the anointing oil. She oh, has just been restored Jesus. back to the original position you, in which Jesus. she was I created to be. A round of applause again for oh, Master Jesus, Jesus Christ Thank you, Jesus. for what he has done in the life I of this sister. Like this. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Can only be a response. From a happy heart. Viewers all over the world, if you are just joining us, ongoing in the, in the life Easter service, here at the Ark of God Covenant Ministry, 
And if you do with the man of God, Senior Apostle John Chi, and the man of God. shepherd man. None of Wherever you are against spinal cord, I get diabetes, get high blood, get gastric, or that thing that they don't grab me. So I don't do anything. I only pick in there. If you work for me, I don't do anything for 15 years. I don't go help me. I am not the healer. The healer is Jesus Christ. Okay? Yes. So, what do you want Jesus Christ to do for you? I want me to heal me, man of God. For God the salvation of your soul. Can you apply it on your leg? Your knee? Viewers, watch your screen. Mm -hmm. You can see her holding herself under the instruction of the man of God, opposed to John Chi. Remove the corset. Jesus Remove the corset. Christ is still able to take away every pain. Can you touch your back with him? She has come here with a problem of difficulties in walking. You can imagine where she has been in search of solution to her problem. You can see she has come here with a problem of difficulties in walking due to lumbar spondylosis. You can see her with a lumbar corset supporting herself. The anointing oil has just been given to her. Reference to the book of Isaiah 10 and 27, whereby the okay. Bible says, It shall come to pass that the body shall be taken off thy shoulder, and the yoke of thy neck, and that yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing oil. Right now, look at what is happening here, viewers all over the world. You can see her exercising herself. Jesus Christ has healed This is something she could not do. But after placing her leg here, the Ark of God Covenant Ministry, Jesus Christ has done it again. Through the medium of the new living oil. Thank you, Jesus. Let her go. Let her go. You can see her walking to the glory of our Lord and Savior thank Jesus you, Christ. Thank you. Viewers, are you just watching like thank that? You, Jesus. Give it up for Master Jesus Christ. After 15 years, you can see what is happening here. She has just been set free. Jesus Christ has placed her back to the original position in which she was created to be. My two legs, they are burning. Also, my knee and my scorn are fine. Please, I know the feet do not know I don't suffer. I know the feet do not know Man of God, help me hear my cry. Change my story. <laughs> I'm not the healer. The healer is Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So what do you want Jesus Christ to do for I, you? I want Jesus Christ to heal me. Okay. Healing is for salvation, okay? Mrs. Cassie Regina has come all the way from the Northwest region with a problem of difficulty in walking due to a chronic back pain. She is using a lumbar corset to support herself. No, don't take it up. It's all right. Leave it. Just use it to press. Okay. Put it here. Okay. She has don't been instructed like by God's servant to use the anointing oil. To anoint herself wherever she is feeling the pain. Viewers all over the world, you can see her anointing her back, her knees, as she has been instructed by God's servant, Apostle John Chi. Viewers all over the world, distance is not a barrier to the move of God's power. Wherever, whichever medium you're using to watch us okay. from, Know that Jesus thank Christ you, Jesus. is able to set you free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Connect by I'm faith. Here. Thank you, Jesus. I'm here. Viewers, you, Jesus. are you just watching like that? Thank Mama Jesus. Regina, who has had this thank problem you, of difficulty in walking for the past 27 thank years, thank she could not do anything by herself. Oh, now, you, to the glory of God, she's thank able Jesus. to walk. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm here. Thank you, Jesus. You can see her exercising to the glory of God. You can see Mama running to the glory of God. You will celebrate the miracle working God. Thank you, Jesus. This can Thank you, only Jesus. be Thank you, Jesus. by the power of Jesus Christ. Thank you, O Lord. 
I've come to meet Apostle John Chi to help me. Oh Lord, I've given my mind to God. For all this while, I've not been able to move successfully. I have, I have a problem with my spine, and it, it has radiated to my leg. My leg is numb. This part, my left leg like this is numb, oh Lord. I don't, I don't think this honor. I think this is my last bus stop. What do you want Jesus Christ to do for you? Jesus Christ to help me. Or I'm already kind of him of Jesus. Have this. Okay, apply it on your back. We can see Papa Songna Linus taking the instructions in righteousness. As God's servant has instructed him to, un to anoint his back with You're the, the anointing oil. Yes, man of God. Uh -huh. He has been sick for one month now. He cannot get up. He cannot even walk. He cannot even go to work. Okay. Okay. Mr. Songna Linus came here with a problem of difficulty in walking due to a lumbosciatica and hypertension, and he has been using a crush to assist him in his daily activities. <laughs> to the glory of God, people of God, you can see him exercising, Thank you can you see him Thank doing the Jesus. things he could not do. Thank you, He's walking to the glory of God. Indeed, every dry bone is resurrecting again. Every dead ligament, every dead tendon is resurrecting again as Baba is exercising to the glory of God. Back. Oh, speaker, I use the back or set. I wrote for five years. I did for us. Any man or God, I come out of this situation. What do you want Jesus Christ to do for you? I want Jesus can make heal me. Okay, for the salvation of your soul, remove this. Amen. Remove this. Do some man. Téléspectateurs, regardez la délivrance de cette femme qui est venue ici au ministère de l'âge d'alliance de Dieu et en les difficultés à marcher, utilisant une no, ceinture no, lombaire. No, et elle, elle est en train de recevoir la prière de délivrance par le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi, okay. la puissance de la résurrection de Jésus-Christ est à l'œuvre ici au ministère de l'âge d'alliance de Dieu. Jésus-Christ guérit Amen. maintenant, délivre maintenant, bénit maintenant. L'homme de Dieu vient de lui donner l'huile pour oindre okay. sur son back. corps afin que le joug de la maladie puisse it. être brisé. Car dans la présence de Dieu, l'onction brise le joug. Téléspectateurs, touchez l'écran de votre télévision et recevez également votre miracle, votre guérison, votre délivrance et surtout tout ce qui était mort dans votre vie Just watch the reaction of, on the face of Mama Sakwe who has been instructed to use the anointing oil on her back and everywhere she had the pain you can see the reaction on her face as it is happening okay. here viewers okay. it is happening wherever you are you can come. She has Thank been instructed Jesus. by Thank God's servants to move because she has been totally Thank set free Jesus. by our Lord and Savior Thank Jesus, Jesus Christ Thank you, Jesus. We can Thank see you, Mama Jesus. walk into the Thank glory you, of God without the aid of the lumbar corset. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mama can now stoop. She can now squat. Thank you, Jesus. Thank glory Jesus. be to Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Good evening. My name is Karakwe Emmanuel. I come from Northwest. So I've been suffering with my left uh, foot for eight years today. So I've come that uh, the man of God will help me. How has it affected you? I did not do anything. I did not fall. I'm a builder. So when I was climbing a ladder to stand on a platform and build, something just picked me like a curry. What do you want Jesus Christ to do for you? I want this uh, anointing oil uh, to help me and set out what is happening in my leg. Okay, apply it there. Nous sommes toujours sur la série de délivrance par l'onction du Saint-Esprit à travers le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi. 
ici dans la chambre de puissance au ministère de l'âge d'alliance de Dieu Bouya Cameroun. Regardez les grands téléspectateurs, l'ancien, la puissance qui a ressuscité Lazare de la mort après quatre jours. Cette même puissance est en train de œuvrer ici au ministère de l'âge d'alliance de Dieu pour ressusciter les organes de cet homme qui ne fonctionnait plus du tout. Il Thank se lève, il marche pour la Thank gloire you, de Dieu. Jesus. Acclamez yeah. Jésus-Christ pour cette Thank grande you, délivrance. Thank you. Thank les spectateurs, acclamez le Jesus. Seigneur. Thank you. Thank you. Euh, Thank ce qui vient d'opérer dans la vie de ce corps. Utilisez la béquille ici. Il marche librement pour la gloire de Dieu. Yes, I cannot walk. I cannot walk. My leg is pending me. My waist, my spinal cord. I go to the hospital. Now that they cannot do nothing to me. Uh, I cannot walk. I cannot walk. I cannot walk. Oh. Apply it on your knees. This woman has just cried a cry of faith. Right now she's anointing herself. Mrs. Abumold Comfort has come yeah, to the Africa God's Covenant, Covenant Ministry with the problem of difficulty in walking due to a chronic lumbar spondylosis and gastritis. She's using a lumbar corset to support herself and by the special grace of God she has been instructed to use the anointing oil to anoint herself. Viewers all over the world you can see her reaction after using the anointing oil as instructed by God's servant. Stand up. She has been instructed to stand to her feet. Thank you, Father. We can see her walking already to the glory of God. Thank Something she was unable to do for the past 15 years. She has been in this bondage for the past 15 years. And to the glory of God today, through the medium of the anointing oil, our sister, Abamu Comfort, is able to walk. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I, I, it's my leg. Oh, so why? Thank you, say, man of God. I, let me. Man of God, let me. Man of God, as I did so, I don't fall for Kada. As I've been fall for Kada, I don't spring deep foot. I spring my, I, I fall. I don't even know how I spring my neck. All day my place, though, it will haunt me. I don't think I'll go for bingo. They make a scan. They don't see no, they don't determine says that scan. I mean they don't say I said they are side, you need the you need the clear fine. And then I can they give me a message, say, Mammy, go, go drink. Next month you come back here. I said yes. As I go, no way. Then my neck, it disturbs me so make my as that's why I stand so. I know if turn neck so, I know if sleep, I know if turn my chest. I know we don't, I know we take my hand. Mama Angu Victorine is explaining how she came about this problem of stiff neck due to a neck trauma she encountered some months ago. And she's saying that she has been unable to move her body, to move her neck, especially because of this trauma she underwent. What do you want Jesus Christ to do for you? Uh, to heal me, to heal me, to deliver me. Applying. <laughs> Listen on your back. I am back. Madam Angu me. Victorine is obeying the instructions in righteousness as given to her by God's servant, Apostle John Chi. She has been given the anointing oil to anoint her neck, which we can see her doing right now to the glory of God. 
viewers all over the world, wherever you're watching us from, distance is not a barrier. Connect by faith, and you will be next in line for a testimony. We can see her moving her neck after being instructed by God's servant to go. This is something she was unable to do for many years now. Thank you, Jesus. She's able to move her neck from side to side to the glory of God. Who can justly do this if not our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Téléspectateurs, nous nous émettons toujours en direct au ministère de l'Âge d'Alliance de Dieu, Bouya Cameroun. Nous sommes dans la chambre de puissance avec le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi, pour administrer les prières de délivrance, de guérison, de bénédiction, de restauration et tout ce que vous aimerez que le Seigneur fasse dans votre vie, dans votre carrière, votre mariage et tout ce qui vous concerne en ce jour. Connectez-vous avec foi, vous qui nous regardez sur YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Demandez ce que vous voulez que le Seigneur fasse dans votre vie. La puissance de résurrection de Jésus-Christ est à l'œuvre ici au ministère de l'Âge d'Alliance de Dieu pour ressusciter tout ce qui est mort dans votre vie. Le diable vient pour tuer, voler et détruire, mais gloire à Dieu car il est venu pour restaurer, pour bénir, pour guérir, pour délivrer tout ce que l'ennemi a tué, volé et détruit dans votre vie. Demeurez dans l'attitude de la méditation, de la prière, Surtout, exercez votre foi, car sans la foi, nul ne peut recevoir quoi que ce soit de Jésus-Christ. L'homme de Dieu, vous le voyez en train de oindre les fidèles qui sont venus du monde entier, les visiteurs internationaux. A prophetic exercise is happening right now, live and direct here at the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry. Nous sommes sur la section des visiteurs internationaux qui viennent des États-Unis d'Amérique, de la France, du Canada, de l'Inde, du Portugal, de l'Espagne, de la France, de l'Angola, du Ghana, du Nigeria, de l'Afrique du Sud. Yeah, the prayer line session, we have visitors from far and near. Visitors who have come all the way from the, from the USA, they have come from Germany, from Italy, from South Africa, from Botswana, from Congo, from Ivory Coast. Visitors from Spain, from Belgium, from Kenya, from Ghana. They have been anointed by God's servants. Téléspectateurs du monde entier, vous qui nous regardez à présent en direct au ministère de l'Âge d'Alliance de Dieu, nous vous invitons sur la section des visites internationaux qui sont quittés des extrémités de la terre pour chercher la face de Dieu ici au ministère de l'Âge d'Alliance de Dieu. Our visitors have de come de from Dieu, far and wide. Ils visitors from solution. Luxembourg, from Australia, from South Africa from Botswana, from Ivory Coast, Congo, Brazzaville, from Ghana, from France. They are being anointed right now by God's servant, Apostle John Chi. Viewers all over the world, this is a prophetic exercise. Wherever you're watching us from, connect by faith. Viewers, it will be coming to your nation. We are coming to your nation with this. Thank you. It's coming to your nation. The servitude of viewers all over the world, like you've rightly heard from God's servant, Apostle John Chi. The anointing oil is coming right where you are. We can see the influence of the Holy Spirit as these people who have come from far and near 
are under the influence of the anointing oil. Téléspectateurs, l'homme de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi vient d'annoncer que ce tuil vient dans votre nation, l'onction de l'élévation, l'onction de la promotion, l'onction de la procréation, l'onction de la longévité, l'onction de la prospérité. Zimbabwe, from Canada, il vous rejoindra également. The man of God has rightly said that the anointing oil will be meeting you right where you are. Stay connected by faith. As it was in the days of old, the age of miracle has not passed. Jesus Christ is still working wonders in the lives of his people. Remember that he can use any medium to express himself. Today, by the grace of God, he is using the medium of the anointing oil. And we can see the children of God under the influence of the anointing under the influence of the Holy Spirit as the anointing oil is being ministered on them. Viewers all over the world, wherever you're watching us from, whichever device you're using to watch us from, touch your screen. And the anointing of God will not pass you by. Les spectateurs, les serviteurs de Dieu ont toujours les petits d'elles dans la chambre de puissance afin que le Seigneur puisse changer leur histoire. Là où il y a l'onction de Dieu, il y a la présence de Dieu, la présence de Dieu qui apporte le salut des âmes, la guérison, la délivrance et tout ce que vous désirez. Alors exercez votre foi en touchant les camps de votre télévision et demandez au Seigneur de tout cœur de faire quelque chose de nouvel dans votre vie, dans votre famille et tout ce que vous désirez est disponible en ce lieu. Nous continuons avec le toucher du vent. Il est en train de oindre une personne après une autre. Regardez comment l'onction est en train d'agir sur cette femme. You can see the reaction of this lady. She is under the influence of the Holy Spirit as the anointing oil has been placed on her. Wherever you're watching us from, touch your screen. Connect by faith, knowing that distance is never a barrier to the move of God's power. We can see the reaction of this man who came with a problem of gastrointestinal tumor all the way from the United States of America. We can see his reaction immediately. The anointing oil was placed on him. Watch your screen viewers. He's still receiving sp spirit-filled prayers from God's servant, Apostle John Chi. Téléspectateurs, vous n'êtes pas laissés pour compte concernant cette ligne de prière. Nous avons des gens qui sont venus des extrémités de la terre avec plusieurs pathologies pour recevoir la solution à leurs problèmes. Car Jésus-Christ a dit, venez à moi, vous tous qui êtes fatigués et chargés, je vous donnerai du repos. Ils sont fatigués des maladies, de la souffrance, de toutes sortes de troubles 
Et ils sont venus Watch the reaction of these people who came with the problem of epilepsy. After the ministration of the anointing hour, watch what is happening. The Spirit of God is at work in the lives of these people. Wherever you are watching us from, whichever medium you are watching, connect by faith. Le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chia, a été oint par l'éternel des armées et il est en train de oindre le peuple de Dieu afin de les accorder une vie meilleure. It is still happening here live and direct from the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry, Boya Cameroon. The prophetic exercise continues. We can see this lady who has come here with the problem of HIV AIDS under the influence of the Holy Ghost as the anointing oil is being ministered to her. What is that situation you are going through? What is that problem? Jesus Christ is able to set you free. If only you believe the job is half done. Dans la présence de Dieu, la guérison est possible. La délivrance est possible. We are the HIV and AIDS section, and we can see the Holy Ghost in, in action. Il suffit simplement de croire à toutes ces choses. Watch the reaction of these people as they have been anointed by God's servant with the anointing oil. The move of God's power is great. Continue to watch your screen. Place your hand on whatever device you are using to connect. And your case will not escape the anointing of God today. Nous sommes toujours sur la section de la ligne de prière avec le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi. Il est en train de oindre tout un chacun dans la chambre de puissance. Connaître la présence de Dieu, c'est connaître sa puissance. Et connaître sa puissance, c'est connaître sa présence. Là où il y a la présence de Dieu, la guérison, la délivrance, et toutes sortes de bénédictions sont justes comme la respiration. Alors, téléspectateurs, vous qui nous regardez, Watch the reaction of these people as they have been anointed with the anointing oil. Watch what God is doing in the lives of his people. Jesus Christ is still in the business of healing, in the business of deliverance, of setting the captives free. Quand il, lorsqu'il promet, il finit toujours par accomplir. Dieu, fidèle et vivant, Dieu vrai, Et à l'œuvre ici au ministère de l'âge Whatever de device Dieu. you are using to watch us, le touch the Dieu screen of your device with faith in your heart and you will not escape the anointing of God.
Que les spectateurs demandent au Dieu de l'apôtre John Chi de vous oindre partout où vous nous regardez à présent. Le ministère de l'Âge d'Alliance de Dieu abrite toutes les nations, car le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi, c'est le Dieu de toutes les nations. Peu importe là où vous êtes, la distance ne peut pas être un obstacle pour vous de recevoir en direct ici au ministère de l'Âge d'Alliance de Dieu. Exercez votre foi. Dites au Seigneur de vous oindre par le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John G, de oindre votre bureau, votre foyer, vos finances, vos affaires et tout ce qui vous concerne. Et votre vie sera transformée. Continue to watch your screen. Témoigner. Viewers all over the world, the age of miracle has not passed. Jesus Christ is still the same yesterday, today and forever. Jesus Christ is still doing miracles among his people. As the spiritual exercise continues, many are being liberated, many are being set free. L'instruction a été All you need is to believe. John Chi pour oindre son peuple en ce lieu de la résurrection et il est en train de le faire car il honore toujours à toute instruction que le Seigneur lui donne. Il est en train de oindre un par un, peu importe la, le problème qui vous a amené ici, en ce lieu, ou alors qui vous nous regardez, peu importe le problème que vous traversez, connectez-vous à cette tension, soyez oindre et témoignez pour la gloire de Dieu. Viewers, watch your screen. Healing and deliverance taking place. You can see as this man is reacting to the power of God. Jesus Christ is separating him from any force of darkness. Watch your screen. After being anointed, using the oil of victory, you can see him reacting to the power of God. Jesus Christ is liberating him from any force of evil. Any unclean spirit that has been tormenting him is being casted out by Master Jesus Christ. Watch the deliverance power at work. You can see his reaction. Watch as the unclean spirit is uncomfortable in the presence of God. Indeed, where the light of God is, demons have no hiding place. Where the ark of God is, Demons have no option but to submit to the authority that is in the mighty name of Jesus. Watch your screen. Down he goes. Jesus, Jesus Christ's power remains supreme to all powers. He's been declared free to the glory of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes, you are all over the world. You are still witnessing the live Easter Sunday service coming to you from the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry. And we are in the power room. That are yet today are people who have come from far and near. Despite their race, location, and condition, they have all converged here at the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry, believing that God is going to walk through the humble faculties of his servants and meet them at a point of need. Yes, some of them have consulted medical facilities. Others have consulted, consulted diabolic powers like witchcraft agents, whereas some have restlessly been looking for solutions to their problems, all yet to no avail. They have come here believing that though doctors may treat Jesus Christ as the healer, though there are other powers, Jesus Christ is the ultimate power, though they have restlessly been looking for solutions to their problems. No one's hope is lost, whose hope indeed is in Christ Jesus. Viewers all over the world, wherever you are, you too can be a partaker of this great blessing. Wherever you are right now, it's the time to place a demand on the anointing. Connect with us right now by faith. As you can witness God's servants moving around and anointing the people of God with the oil of victory, you can see for your own selves the healing, the deliverances that have already taken place. Right now, connect by faith and believe that that same healing can happen in your life. That same deliverance can happen in your life. Remember, today celebrates the death, the resurrection of our Lord and Savior. Right now, connect by faith and believe that that resurrection power is going to walk in your life and bring back to life anything that is dead. Be it in your life, in your family, in your ministry. Viewers all over the world, wherever you're watching us right now, connect by faith 
and continue to be in an attitude of prayer. Jesus Christ n'est pas un homme pour mentir, ni le fils de l'homme pour se repentir ce qu'il dit. Il ne peut jamais renoncer à sa parole, car il ne fait rien sans sa parole. Il a élevé sa parole au-dessus de son nom. Il a dit qu'il ne nous laissera pas seuls. Il nous laissera avec le Saint-Esprit, notre Consolateur, qui nous aidera en toutes choses. Le Saint-Esprit est en train d'utiliser son serviteur, l'apôtre John Chi, pour oindre le peuple de Dieu venant de toutes les nations, ceux qui viennent des États-Unis d'Amérique, du Canada, de l'Allemagne, de l'Italie, du Botswana, ceux-là qui viennent du Nigeria, du Ghana, de la France, un peu partout dans le monde entier, ayant l'évidence que Jésus-Christ utilisera son serviteur, l'apôtre John Chi, pour changer leur histoire. Vous pouvez les voir devant votre écran, téléspectateurs. Vous qui nous regardez en Allemagne, touchez l'écran. Vous qui nous regardez, peu importe l'endroit, Jésus-Christ est près de vous, comme il était pour la femme à la perte de sang, comme il était par l'aveugle Bartimée, pour vous toucher, pour vous oindre par les mains du serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi. La Bible déclare que dans la, dans, la Bible déclare que dans les temps anciens, Dieu faisait des grands miracles par les mains des apôtres. Il n'a pas changé. Il l'a fait hier. Il le fait aujourd'hui avec les mains de l'apôtre John Chi et il le fera éternellement car il ne change point. Regardez la manifestation de cette femme, après avoir reçu l'onction sur sa tête par le serviteur de la porte de John Chi et le berger Glassin, aucun démon ne résiste dans la présence de Dieu. Il n'y a pas de cachette pour les démons. Ils sont exposés par la lumière du Saint-Esprit. Regardez la bataille entre la lumière et les ténèbres au travers du serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi. Le Saint-Esprit a déjà pris contrôle sur cette femme pour la franchir. Et elle vient d'être affranchie réellement, car celui que le Fils de Dieu déclare libre est libre en effet. Continuez à méditer, prier, à poser votre requête devant l'Éternel et il mettra un sourire de qualité sur votre visage. Viewers all over the world, if you are just tuning in, ongoing is the Easter Sunday service here at the Ark of God Covenant Ministry with the man of God, Apostle John Chi. Alongside his dependable shepherd man, shepherd Lasty, you have come again this morning well prepared, highly foiled, to put the kingdom of darkness into total disarray. We have people who have come from far and near. They've come from all walks of life. They've come from America. They've come from Asia. They've come from Europe. They've come from Africa. They've come from the Middle East. They've all converged here at the Ark of God Covenant Ministry, expecting that Jesus Christ is going to use the faculties of his humble servant, Apostle John Chi. We us look at what is happening here. You can see this lady passing out substances to consume from the table of the enemy. Jesus Christ is not leaving any stone unturned. Remember, the Bible says, whatever was not planted by our Heavenly Father shall be uprooted. Wherever you are following us, viewers all over the world, is it via YouTube, the Ark of God TV app, Ark of God TV, Facebook, whatever medium you are using to view us, 
Jesus Christ is coming to you. Jesus Christ is coming at your rescue. All what you need to do is just to place your hand on that device you're using to view us and begin to place a demand on the anointing of God. You can see the shepherd man using the victory oil, the anointing oil, to work wonders in the life of God's children, to bring about promotion in their life, restoration, healing, deliverance, and every other God's blessings in the life of his children. Remember, most of these people have come with burdens. They have come with heavy hearts. They have come with pain. They have come with disappointment. But in as much as they have stepped their legs here at the arena of liberty, they are not going back the same. They are going liberated. Look at what is happening here. You can see this lady under the power of the Holy Ghost. Watch the reaction of this woman. Watch the reaction of this woman who has come all the way from the United Kingdom. She's receiving prayers from God's servants through the medium of the anointing oil. She came here with a problem of evil attacks. She's still under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Watch her reaction, viewers. And down she goes as the evil spirit in her is being cast out. Viewers, the holy touch continues through the medium of the anointing oil. You can see her back being restored to the original position in which she was created to be through the medium of the anointing oil. We are still at the international visitor section with visitors from Ireland, from Mali, from Denmark, Senegal, Mauritius, Ghana, Nigeria, Finland, USA, UK, visitors from Spain, from Chile, from Brazil, Algeria, Costa Rica, visitors from Jamaica, from Australia, from Congo, from Central African Republic, Receiving prayers from God's servant, Apostle John Chi. Wherever you're watching us from, whichever device you're using to watch us from, touch the screen of your device. No, no. With faith in your heart, your case will not escape the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Estamos en la sala de poder ahora con Apostle John Chi en la línea de oración con los visitantes internacionales que han venido de muchos países. Tenemos Francia, España, Malesia, Congo. Mira tu pantalla. Están recibiendo la mano del hombre de Dios. Lo que han venido con fe, esperando recibir a la mano del Todopoderoso. El poder de la resurrección está sobrando ahora. Así que tenemos la gente de Canadá. Alemania, México, Estados Unidos, Sudán, Francia, Cuba, la República Dominica, Jamaica. Te viene a mirar tu pantalla. La, mira la pantalla de la hermana que de no, con problemas de ojos, está recibiendo la mano del Señor. La línea de oración, telespectadores, la distancia no es una barrera por el movimiento del Señor. Así que toca tu pantalla y recibe el poder de esta liberación. Jesucristo ha resurrado hoy para liberar 
y de todo lo que estás aplicado. Telespectadores, nos estamos en la sección de visita internacional, toujours. Watch Africana. the reaction of Miss Leila, all the way from Luxembourg, who has come here today with a problem of evil attacks, receiving prayers right now from God's servant, Apostle John Chi. <laughs> Viewers all over the world, watch her reaction. Come on. Watch her reaction. Come on. <laughs> Toujours sur la section des visites internationaux venant du Canada, de l'Allemagne, du Mexique. Continue to watch your screen. Des États-Unis d'Amérique, du Soudan, de la France, du Cuba. There is no name that is above the name of Jesus Christ. Neither is there any power that is stronger than the power of Jesus Christ. As it is happening here, viewers. As it is happening here, viewers, it is happening there, connect by faith. We are still in the visitor section of the, of the prayer line of the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry, where we have visitors from France, from Canada, from Germany, from Cuba, from Dominican Republic, from Costa Rica, visitors from Libya from Paraguay, visitors from Chile, from Algeria, from Equatorial Guinea, Australia, Congo, visitors from the United States of America, visitors from the Democratic Republic of Congo, from the Central African Republic, from Argentina, visitors from Angola, Visitors from Togo, from Ireland, visitors from Mali, from Senegal, from Mauritius, visitors from Ghana, from Poland, from Nigeria, we destroyed his life. Huh? We destroyed from his Cape life. Vey. We destroy everything. Everything like what? Everything. His career. Korea? Yes. Who are you in the first place? Who are you in this body and how long has been living in him? For many years. Many years? Yes. How many of you in this body? For many. For many. What have you done to his marriage, his family? He's not, he's not married. His career, what have you done? We destroyed it. His family? Now get up. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Mr. Rodrigue has come all the way from the USA with the problem and of never evil attacks. again enter him. As the in demon. the mighty name of Jesus. We're not going. You must take your stagnation. No. Everything you have deposited in him out. Out. No. We're not going. You are going. No, we're not. You are going. We're not going. In the name of Jesus Christ. We're not going. You have no option. We're not going. You have come to the end. We're not going. You are going. No. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When power meets power, no, the lesser going. power must bow. In the name of Jesus Christ. And there is no greater power than the power of Jesus Christ. Our brother, Roderick, all the way from USA, is receiving prayers right now no, from God's servant, Apostle John Chi. He came here with a problem of evil attack as the demon confesses to being responsible for his destruction, both career-wise and family-wise. Right now, the kingdom of darkness is in trouble as our brother is receiving prayers from God's servant, Apostle John Chi. The Bible says that at the mention of the name Jesus Christ, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus is the In the mighty Lord. name of Jesus Christ, lose your grip. Lose your grip. Watch your In the mighty viewers. name of Jesus Christ. Watch your screen view. Lose your grip. Ah, I command you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ah. In the no. mighty name of Jesus we Christ. We can't go. We can't. In the name of Jesus we Christ. We can't let him go. No. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ah. Enough is enough. You have tormented him enough. Now out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Demons have no other alternative than to bow to that name, Jesus Christ. Watch the reaction of our brother as he's receiving prayers from God's servant, Apostle John Chi. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Aucun démon ne peut résister you are going à la puissance du nom de Jésus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dans Philippiens chapitre 2 verset 9 le dit ouvrez Your end has come. Par mention de ce nom tout genou. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tout démon fléchit genou. Toute maladie, tout problème s'incline. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And down he goes. Come on, stand up. Come here. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are going. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We can't. We can't go. Enough of the torment. No. We will continue tormenting him. You lie. You are leaving him now for good. No. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He can. He can be set free. You have been subdued. He cannot be You powerless demon. You have no place on him. Now your time is up. Go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, go. you must go. No, no, I refuse. In the mighty name of Jesus I Christ, you are powerless in the face of Jesus Christ. I refuse. Watch the reaction ah, of our brother. I refuse. I can't go. You have tormented him enough. No. Today your end has come. No. Whether you like it or not. You are living. No, we're not living. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I said we're not living. You are living. We're not. 
In the name of Jesus Christ. We're not leaving. We're not. Your time is up. No. In the We're name of leaving. Jesus Christ. We are not leaving. We are not leaving. We are not leaving. We are not leaving. Regardez les téléspectateurs du monde entier, la délivrance de ce homme qui vient des États-Unis d'Amérique. We're not leaving. Et en la foi, par le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John G. Le Dieu d'Abraham. He must succeed. Le Dieu d'Isaac. He must. Le Dieu d'Isaac. He Jacob must now. Mettra fin à son calvaire. Don't let him succeed. Le Saint-Esprit a déjà pris contrôle. In the name sur of Jesus Christ. Pour le pour libérer. Continue to watch Thank your you Lord. He must succeed. Confirmer sa présence okay. en ce lieu. You are up. We can't let him succeed. Les démons ne résistent no. jamais In dans la présence of de Jesus Dieu. Christ. We can't let him succeed. Thank you Lord. Ils savent. Ils doivent se soumettre à l'autorité suprême de notre Seigneur et Jésus. You cannot stop him. Par le Seigneur You cannot. We can stop him. You can stop him not yes. here. Yes. The greatest here. mistake you have made is of allowing him here. As long as he is here, you cannot stop him. Yes, we'll stop him. In the name of Jesus, we'll your we'll end has come. Him. We will stop him. In the mighty name of Jesus we'll Christ. La délivrance dans le nom du dans la puissance du Saint Esprit. And never again come close to him. Is that right? No! He cannot go! Listen ah! to me. He can't go! You are living now and never again come close to him. That is my command and my instruction to you. I have the power of the name Jesus Christ at my command. Now, leave. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go! You cannot leave. Lorsqu'il descend, il descend be. avec la délivrance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Avec la bénédiction, il descend avec le salut. Et il dit dans ses saintes écritures que la tente In the Jesus name of Jesus Christ. Ah! Ah! Continue to watch your screen. Ah! Go! You cannot go! You are going! You are going! Ah! Il est tombé à clamer Jésus Christ pour sa délivrance. Demons are powerless. And never again enter him. Now go in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, 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 ah. Don't, don't, don't set him free. You, you, you lie. Don't set him free. Those the son of man sets free are free indeed. Don't set him free. He is free f forever. I cannot be free. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He cannot be free. Ah. Ah. You powerless ah. demon. Ah. He cannot be free. No. He must. He no. must be free. No, we cannot let him be free. The resurrected Jesus Christ has resurrected him. No. No, we torment him. You we have him. taken his place. And never again come close to him. No, we cannot leave. We cannot leave. Les démons n'ont aucun pouvoir dans la présence de You are powerless in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ils ne peuvent pas résister à l'autorité suprême de notre Seigneur et Sauveur Jésus Christ. You cannot defeat us. Il est vivant. You cannot defeat Il agit maintenant. In the name of Jesus Christ. Il est en train d'agir par le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John G. Sur ce jeune homme qui vient you des États-Unis d'Amérique, ayant des attentes de retourner libre, délivré, béni, restauré, et revenir pour témoigner pour la gloire de l'Éternel. Ah. Ah. Les spectateurs ah. dans le monde entier, they speak to him, he hear voices, they speak to him. But today is the end. L'âge des miracles n'est pas encore révolu. Jésus He hear voices. They give, give him command. Do this, do this. 
Keep hearing voices. Serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John G. en train de dire qu'il entend les voix. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Regardez la manifestation. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Qui ont asservi la vie de ce jeune homme. You are a liar. You are living him now. You have tormented him enough. You are living now. Out of him. Out of him. Out. 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 What too many. What too many. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. À l'œuvre oh, sur ce jeune homme. We entered him. We're too many. La too many to not count. We're too many. All of you put together are living now. I bring all the powers of the darkness. I bring all the powers of the darkness. I command 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 the powers of the darkness to come. I command the powers of darkness to come. I command the powers of the darkness to come. I command the dark. Ah, I command it all. Are you done? I command it all. Are you done? Yes. Okay. Let there be light. Ah, ah. Where the light of God is, darkness has no hiding place. Let there be light. No. I'm begging you. Huh? I am begging you. Do not set him free. You don't need to beg me. You are no. living. No, please. You are going for good. Please. Please, I am begging you. Please, don't set him free. You, 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 are, you are a loser. You ah. are leaving him for good. Ah. And never again come close to him. Is that okay? No. Never no. again come close to him. No. 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 Le spectateur, le spectateur, John Chi, en train d'invoquer la lumière de la délivrance. In the mighty name of Jesus homme, Christ. Afin qu'il soit affranchi pour la gloire de Dieu. Les démons ne résistent jamais. In Jesus au nom name. De Jésus Christ. La lumière luise dans les ténèbres. Et les ténèbres ne peuvent pas résister. Les démons font partie de les ténèbres. La maladie. You will not make him a fool. La you have made him a fool enough, but he will no longer be a fool for you. We tortured him and made him a fool. We lied to him. We lied. We lied to his life. We made him a fool and stupid. Always at the hospital. Always at the hospital. He goes to the hospitals always. Always at the hospital. We send him there. We send him there. They think everybody thinks he's, he's stupid. He's a fool. He's a fool. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. He's free. He has been declared free to Watch the that. Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The brother he's has free. been declared free. Come, come. Please, can you leave the place? Leave the place. Okay, stand up, my brother. Come. He's free. Come and help me. Our brother has been declared free by God's servants, Apostle John Chi. Indeed, demons are powerless in the face of Jesus okay. Christ. How are you? I'm good. Huh? We're still in him. Huh? We're still in him. Just leave it. Just continue to watch your screen. Still witnessing healing and deliverance taking place. Just leave him there. Leave the place. Just leave him like that. It's free. Just leave him like that. In 
indeed in the presence of God, demons have We no are here at the pregnant women section of the prayer line session in the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry, Boya Cameroon. As we see the pregnant women who are receiving spirit-filled prayers from God's servant, Apostle John Chi. Whatever situation, whatever situation you're going through, it doesn't matter how long you've been in this problem. Jesus Christ is here today to set you free. Whichever medium you're watching us from, touch the screen of whatever device you're using with faith in your heart your case will not escape the anointing of God. Viewers all over the world, prayers still continues here at the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry. You can see as God is using his servant through the medium of the oil of victory anointing people and you can see as they are receiving their healing and deliverance yes viewers all over the world we are in the pregnant women's section we're expecting mothers have come some of which have been, some which have been experiencing challenges such as miscarriages stillbirth overdue pregnancy viewers all over the world watch how god almighty is turning around the situation of these pregnant women who have come in with different problems from bridge presentations to typhoid fever in pregnancy, God Almighty is able to set us free from whatever bondage the enemy might have put us in. Connect by faith. Watch how our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is reversing the problems of these women and setting them free together with their unborn babies. They have come from far and near to receive from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And no one who ever comes to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will go back the same. He would never look away from the one who comes to him for help. Continue to connect by faith. Whatever device you're using to watch us from, touch the screen of your device and you'll be next in line for a testimony. The age of miracle has not passed. Jesus Christ is still in the business of healing his people, of setting the captives free. Continue to watch your screen viewers. Nous sommes déjà sur la section des femmes enceintes qui sont venues d'un peu partout dans le monde entier avec des cas différents. Watch this man's reaction as he's receiving prayers from the shepherd man through the medium of this anointing oil, watch his reaction. He's been anointed by the shepherd man. Resistance is not a barrier to the move of God's power. Continue to watch your screen. Faith is our only heavenly currency. As you connect by faith, your case will not escape. The anointing of God today. Les femmes enceintes à la recherche d'un accouchement sain et sauf sont ouintes par le serviteur de Dieu, la porte de Chi, afin de donner naissance à leur bébé librement. Femmes enceintes qui nous regardent à présent, viewers all over the world, continue to watch your screen. Continue to watch your screen. Pour témoigner les continue to watch your screen. See how the children of God are being anointed through the medium of the anointing oil. The 
The Bible says in that Psalms that he has anointed our head with oil and our cups run over. This is a prophetic activity. Continue to connect by faith. As it is happening here, viewers, it is happening wherever you are. As it is happening in the lives of the people here in this power room session, it is happening right where you are. All you need to do is connect by faith. Your case can never escape the anointing of God. Demandez au Saint Esprit de vous localiser partout où vous êtes. We are still in the vis visitor section where we have visitors from France, from Finland, from Burkina Faso, from Benin, from Switzerland, from Gambia, from Belgium, visitors from South Africa, from United States of America, visitors from the Netherlands, visitors from Greece, visitors from Portugal, visitors from Italy, from Cyprus, from Russia, from the United Arab Emirates, who have come all the way to have an encounter with Jesus Christ here at the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry, where our tests give way to testimony, where our mess becomes a message. Jesus Christ is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. We are still at the visitor section. With visitors from all over the world receiving prayers and anointing from God's servant, Apostle John Chi. Visitors from Norway. Visitors from Argentina. Visitors from Togo from Ireland, from the United Kingdom, visitors from Ghana, visitors from Turkey, visitors from Nigeria, from Poland, from Dominican Republic, visitors from Libya, from Paraguay, from Malawi, from Gambia, from Namibia, as the man of God rightly said, viewers, the anointing oil will be, will be with you any moment from now. Wherever you are, the anointing oil will be at your various destinations, your various locations any moment from now. Whichever device you are using to watch us, touch the screen of your device and your case will never escape the anointing of God. Remember that faith is our only heavenly currency to receiving. Connect by faith. Watch the reaction of this woman all the way from the United States of America who came here with a problem of spinal cord injury. She's under the influence of the Holy Spirit right now as God's servant, Apostle John Chi, is ministering spirit-filled prayers. Watch her reaction, viewers. What is that ugly situation you've been in? Jesus Christ is here right now to set you free. At the mention of that name, Jesus Christ, every knee must bow and every tongue confesses that Jesus Christ is the Lord.
Watch the reaction of this brother. Demons have no hiding place where the light of God is. Watch his reaction. Viewers, watch your screen. Demons are powerless in the face of Jesus Christ. Viewers, watch your screen. The kingdom of darkness is in total disarray. The kingdom of darkness is in total trouble. He As was a witch doctor. <laughs> he did charms for people. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Watch your screen viewers. Watch the reaction of this brother. In the name of Jesus Christ. As he's receiving prayers from God's servant Apostle John Chi right now. Continue à observer cette délivrance qui s'opère dans la présence de Dieu par l'impulsion du Saint-Esprit. Le nom de Jésus-Christ. There is no hiding place for demons. The might of Jesus Christ. See what our sister is vomiting out. The might of Jesus Christ. Elle est en train de vomir les substances toxiques. Your evil spirits, come out of him. They mange sur la table du démon, sur la table de l'ennemi, en train de sortir. Continue to watch your screen. Par le nom de Le diable n'a pas dans la présence de Dieu. La manifestation de ce démon. Watch what is happening right here, viewers. Il est influencé par le Saint-Esprit devant le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi. The might of Jesus Christ. Il n'a pas de choix, il doit se soumettre à son nom. What have you done to this young man? Continue What have you done to this young man? Jesus Christ, the great liberator of all times, who had delivered the fou of Gadara, is present in this world. Watch what is happening to our sister. To chase the demons. As it is happening here right now, viewers. It is happening wherever you are. 
Connect by faith. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Watch the reaction of our sister right now. Look at the poisonous substances she has vomited. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Who are you? Glory be to Master Jesus Christ. Our sister has been set free. Who are you? All over your body, Holy Ghost, fire! Continue to watch your screen. <laughs> watch the reaction of this brother. <laughs> As is receiving prayers from God's servant, Apostle John Chi. The mighty of Jesus Christ. Viewers, watch your screen. Devant le nom de Jésus Christ, les œuvres et les ténèbres sont exposées. Et détruit car Jésus Christ est le Dieu suprême. Le Dieu d'Abraham, continue to watch your screen. Le Dieu d'Isaac, le Dieu de Jacob, le Dieu tout puissant est ici présent au ministère de l'âge d'alliance de Dieu. Regardez l'écran, téléspectateurs. You lie. You say what? You lie. Who are you? We are many. Huh? We are many. You are many. And what have you done to this young man? Kill this young man. Huh? This young man belongs to us. Oh, it belongs to you. Yes. Who are you? We are many. You are many. And where is your kingdom? Many. Where is your kingdom? <laughs> We have gathered in him from many places. Okay, you are from many places. Yes. And what are the evil you have done to him? <laughs> he wants to leave us alone. You don't want him to leave you people? Yes. You want him to be with you people? Yes. Why? He's our member. Oh, he's your member? Yes. Okay. So, as a member, what are the things you require from him? We need his life. Huh? We need his life. Why? Why do you want to kill him when he's your member? Because he wants to leave us go. Okay, is that why you're angry? Yes. What have you done to his career? We have destroyed our child. <laughs> huh? He said, which doctor? He said, which doctor? Yes. We have decided to leave the which doctor. Then the, the, the medicine is in the house, the shrine is in the village. And as he has decided to leave the, the mix in there, they are attacking him. I don't have peace in the house. He's your son? He's my son. Man of God. He's my son. Why do you want to destroy this young man? My son. He's very He's intelligent. Huh? That child has something. I don't want him to achieve that thing. That child must come useless. You want him to be useless? Yes. Why? I because he wants to leave you? Yes. You lie. Jesus Christ has taken him. <laughs> he belongs to Jesus Christ. Not, not to you. Not How did you come into him? Since he was born. Mm -hmm. Yes. We That's how you him. entered him? Yes. We have many ways to enter into that child. Uh -huh. That child wants to be a green man. We will not allow him. I don't want it. Yes. So what are the evil things you have done to him? I will not say. What are the evil I will things not say. you have used him to do? I will not say. Speak in the name of Jesus Christ. What are the evil things you have done? Hmm? He 
said that he want to speak, they are lock, locking his neck, not to speak. He must. They are locking his neck, not to speak. Enough is enough. You have tormented him enough. You are leaving him now. No. You are leaving. No. No, no. You are leaving. No, no. You have a beginning, you have an end. Your end has come now. No. no. In the name of Jesus, what are the evil things you have used this guy to do? And what are the evil things you have done to him? Speak. Speak. Viewers, continue to watch your screen. Watch the reaction of this brother. Whom the man of God said. What are the evil things you have done? If you say he will die. Huh? He has an agreement with us. If he say that agreement, he's going to die. Okay, he has an agreement with yes. you. And if he said he's going to die. Yes. Who said so? Who say he's going to it's die? Grandmaster. Huh? So our grandmaster. The grandmaster. Yes. Where is he? Where is the kingdom? Where is the kingdom? We are from many places, many kingdoms. Oh, you are from many kingdoms? Yes. Okay. So for your information, Jesus Christ has taken over this young man, not you anymore. You have lost your place in his life. From today henceforth, you have lost your place in his life. Jesus Christ resurrected for him. Jesus Christ has risen that he may live a fulfilled life in Christ. So you are leaving him now. All of you put together, you are leaving him now in the name of Jesus Christ. What now speak. Previous. What are the evil things you have used him to do? What are the evil things you have done to him? I command you to speak in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Speak. He will not die but live. To testify to the goodness of God. You have deceived him enough. You liar. He will not die. But leave. Now speak. What are the evil you have done to him? We need that child. Huh? We need that child. We need his life. You need the child. Yes. You need, need his him. life. Yes. To do what with his life? To attract others to our kingdom. To attract people to your kingdom? Yes. For your information, you will not take his life. Jesus Christ has his life. We don't take his life. We will take his son's life. You will not. We are able. Eh? We are many. You are many. Yes. All of you today will be arrested. All of you put together will be arrested now. In the name of Jesus, fire your kingdom. Fire all over your body. Fire your kingdom. What? Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. In your kingdom, fire. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Watch your screen. You here. cannot resist the fire of God. You cannot resist the fire of God. In your kingdom, fire! Fire in the name of Jesus Christ! Fire! Now, out of him! Out of him! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Continue to watch your screen. 
In the name of Jesus Christ. Powerless demon. Be consumed in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Téléspectateurs, la cette délivrance vous concerne également partout où vous êtes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ce que Dieu dit à un, il le dit à tout le monde ce qu'il fait. Avec une personne, il, il peut le faire avec tout le monde. Il suffit seulement de croire. Peu importe le démon qui possède votre vie, la puissance de Dieu est réelle, efficace pour vous affranchir en ce moment. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dans le règne spirituel. Pour libérer l'âme de ce homme. Que le diable a tenté il y a de cela longtemps. In the name of Jesus Christ. Le nom de Jésus Christ, la source de nos délivrances, de nos guérisons, de notre salut. Et de tout ce que nous en avons besoin. Thank you, Lord. Et c'est sacrifié sur la croix. Aujourd'hui, il est ressuscité. La Bible déclare dans le livre de Jean, chapitre 10, qu'il est le bon berger, qui n'abandonne jamais ses enfants. Ils connaissent sa voix. Et il est ici aujourd'hui pour les appeler. Si tu entends sa voix, réponds. Afin que tu sois guéri. Il appelle son peuple pour la guérison. Il les appelle pour le salut, pour la délivrance, la restauration et pour une vie meilleure. N'hésitez pas à sa voix. N'endurcissez pas vos cœurs. Ouvrez vos cœurs à sa parole et à son esprit. Il dit Je me tiens à la porte et je frappe. Si tu entends ma voix, ouvre. In the name of Jesus Christ. Il va avec son Père. Ouvre alors la porte de ton cœur afin qu'il puisse entrer pour te délivrer. Ouvre la porte de ton cœur à présent. We are still live here at the power room session of the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry. Et transformer ta vie. Cameroon. Viewers all over the world. Remember that faith is our only currency to receiving. Wherever you're watching us from, connect by faith. No matter the situation, no matter the problem, nor the duration in which you've been in bondage, if only you can connect by faith, Jesus Christ is willing and ready to meet you at the point of your need. As it is happening here live and direct, it is happening to wherever you are. Stay connected by faith. Whichever device you are using to watch us, continue to touch the screen of your device. Parce qu'il dit oui, à ta délivrance, personne ne peut dire non. Lorsqu'il dit oui à ta guérison, nul ne peut s'opposer. S'il décide de te bénir, nul ne peut résister devant sa main puissante. Cette main est en train de œuvrer sur ce homme. Afin qu'il soit sauvé pour la vie éternelle. Vous aussi qui nous regardez. Demandez à ce que le nom de Jésus-Christ puisse agir dans votre vie à présent. Parce ce qui se passe ici est capable de se retrouver partout où vous êtes. Out. 
Au nom de Jésus-Christ qui chasse les démons et en train de chasser ce démon rebelle, récalcitrant qui a servi la vie de ce corps. Combien, 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 combien? C'est la raison pour laquelle il a oué son serviteur, l'apôtre John G. Il a reçu le mandat de la libération des âmes pour la vie éternelle. John ne va pas faire de plaies. Je ne l'ai pas. So you, you see what is happening? Watch the manifestation of evil spirits. That is to tell you the level of his strength. Don't leave her like that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Au nom de Jésus Christ. Out! So. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Au nom puissant de Jésus Christ. She's my wife. She will not have children. She has given birth for me. Why are you tormenting her? She started following you on Facebook, on YouTube. Amen. So that is the level of his strength. Ça, sur le niveau you, de sa you force. see that the other woman came and fell here. This vous avez, one came and fell here. Vous avez vu l'autre femme qui est venue qui est tombée sur lui. That's the level of the strength. Cette femme aussi est venue tomber sur lui. C'est la dimension de sa force. She is my wife. I married her. So the one inside him is drawing them close. Donc celui qui est en qui est sur ce In garçon est en train de les tirer vers lui afin de résister. So resist. Il est en train de les attirer afin de résister. So, all of them are small, small ones. Come here, come here. Donc tous ceux-là ce sont des petits petits démons. I command you out of her. Je te commande de sortir d'elle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Au nom de Jésus Christ. You say what have you done to her? Tu dis qu'est-ce que tu lui as fait? Elle ne peut jamais enfanter. She can Elle never femme. give birth to children. Elle a passé du scuta à son mari. C'est ça ce que j'ai fait. Son mari a fui le lit conjugal. Il dort. I've caused the husband to leave the the marital room. Who are you? Qui es-tu? Moi. C'est moi. C'est moi. Who are you? Qui es-tu? On m'appelle sœur Bondezo. I'm the snake of the water. Ta famille. J'ai pris From... possession de la famille. Il m'appartient à sa famille. She belongs to me. M'appartient. Okay, right now, leave, leave her alone. Maintenant, laisse-la no! tranquille. In the name of Jesus Christ. Au nom de Jésus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Merci, Seigneur. Now get out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire. Fire in your kingdom. All over your body, Holy Ghost, fire. Fire. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Continue to watch your screen viewers. Only force alone. You have lost the battle. Only force alone. You have lost the battle. You lost the battle. You have lost the battle. Jesus Christ has won the battle. You are a loser. 
never again enter her. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now go. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will watch your screen. From time immemorial, the devil has always been a liar and the father of all lies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Continue to watch your screen, viewers. Watch the reaction of this brother. Unfortunately, darkness has no hiding place where the light of God is. Demons have no option than to surrender to that name, Jesus Christ, which is superior to every other name. Jesus Christ has always won the battle. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The camp of the enemy is in total trouble. By the death and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the enemy has been put to shame. Remove the chain. Remove it. Continue to watch. Remove the necklace. Your screen. Demons have no choice than to obey. Watch the reaction of this brother as he has been commanded to remove the rings, to remove the chains. The devil and his associates have no option than to pack their belongings and leave as they are being commanded to do so by God's servant, Apostle John Chi. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, man of God. My son is free. My son is delivered. Thank you, man of God. free. Once again, the kingdom of darkness has been put to shame. My son is delivered. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, man of God. My son is delivered. Thank you, man of God. Prayers continue here at the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry. Viewers all over the world continue to watch your screen as we witness God walking through the, the faculties of his anointed servants, both the apostle and Viewers shepherd. Viewers continue to watch your screen. We are still here where God's servant is praying for some visitors who have come from Italy, from Malawi, from Namibia, from Zambia. from Botswana to receive prayers from God's servant, Apostle John Chi. Distance is not a barrier to the move of God's power. As it is happening here, viewers, so is it happening wherever you are. 
whichever device you're using to watch us. Connect by faith and touch the screen of your device. And your case will not escape the resurrection power of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Continue to watch your screen. Whatever problem you might have come here with, whatever may be the situation, it doesn't matter what name it is called. It doesn't matter how long you've been going through this problem. Jesus Christ is here today right now to put an end to that problem and give birth to your future. Connect by faith. Remember the Bible says that it, without faith it is impossible to please God. Continue to connect by faith viewers. Watch what is happening here in the power room session of the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry. Watch the reaction of these our sisters. The kingdom of darkness is in trouble. Continue to watch what your screen. To come to her for ah, I distract them. Why? I drive them away. Ah. Why do you think I try to destroy him? Oh, no. No. Now get out. Watch ah. the combat between the kingdom of light Mighty and the kingdom of darkness. In and of Jesus course, the come lesser here. power has no option than to bow. Fine, the name of Jesus Christ. All over Our sister has been declared free by Fine, the shepherd man. All over your body. All over your body, all over fire. What have we done to her? What have we done to her? Her career, her marriage. Viewers all over the world, continue Fight. to watch your screen. All over your body, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fight in the name of Jesus Christ. Fight in the name of Jesus Christ. As it is happening here, as the people of God have been set free, you too have been set free. Who are you in our body? All you need to do is touch the screen of your device with faith in your heart. And Jesus Christ, by his resurrection power, is going to resurrect whatever that has been dead in your life. You wicked demon. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Now I say, what have we done to her? <laughs> what have we done to her career? <laughs> mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fine, in the name of Jesus Christ. Out of her. Two 
Avenue. You just continue to watch your screen. Watch the reaction of this young lady. As she receives the anointing oil from God's servant, Apostle John Chi. Because darkness has no hiding place where the light of God is. So is every shade of darkness beginning to get expelled. Demons are powerless before the face of Jesus Christ. Continue to watch your screen. The children of God are still in this prophetic activity of being anointed by God's servant with the anointing oil. Viewers all over the world, wherever you're watching us from, as you connect by faith, know that you too are being anointed for greater things. You have been anointed to soar above your limitations. You have been anointed to go beyond your expectations. You have been anointed to overcome that ugly situation the enemy has put you in. Watch the reaction of this sister after she was anointed with the anointing oil from God's servant, Apostle John Chi. The light of God is dispelling every shade of darkness in their lives. Viewers all over the world, as you connect by faith, know that you too are anointed. And every shade of darkness in your life is being dispelled in Jesus' name. Continue to watch your screen. Remain in an attitude of prayer and in an attitude of belief. Téléspectateurs, si vous venez de vous connecter, vous n'êtes pas en retard, vous n'êtes pas épargné de cette grâce qui soutient cette grande commission. There is no hiding place for demons where the light of God is. Et Dieu vous localisera partout où vous êtes. Il n'y a pas de favoritisme dans le royaume céleste. Ce qui se passe ici est capable de se reproduire partout où vous êtes. Il suffit simplement de croire comme l'aveugle Batimé, comme la femme à la perte de son, comme l'homme à la piscine de Bethesda, ainsi que les autres qui ont reçu des miracles dans la Bible dans les temps anciens. Car sans la foi, Vous ne pouvez rien recevoir de Jésus-Christ, selon Hébreu chapitre 11, verset 6. Lorsque Dieu vous voit sans la foi, il vous voit sans miracle. Lorsqu'il vous voit sans foi, il vous voit sans guérison, sans bénédiction. Mais avec la foi, vous avez accès à tout ce que vous voulez dans la banque céleste. Vous qui nous regardez à présent, vous n'êtes pas en retard. 
ou qui nous regardait aux États-Unis d'Amérique, en France, au Sénégal, au Burkina Faso. Watch what is happening right here on the prayer line session of the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry, Boya Cameroon. God is using the faculties of his humble servant, Apostle John Chi, and the shepherd man to set the captives free, to bring healing to the sick and deliverance to the oppressed. Distance is not a barrier to the move of God's power, viewers. There is no problem that Jesus Christ cannot solve. Jesus Christ is the fundamental solution to all issues of life. Continue to watch your screen, viewers. See how our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is setting the captives free. Is bringing healing to the sick. Deliverance to the oppressed. Watch the reaction of this sister as she is being anointed with the anointing oil from God's servant, Apostle John Chi. People of God remain in an attitude of prayer, in an attitude of meditation. Remember that faith is your only connection to receiving that healing, that miracle, that blessing, that breakthrough you've been asking. As it was in the days of old, it is still happening here in the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry because our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is still the same yesterday, today and forever. Whatever situation you are in, whatever situation you've been through, Jesus Christ is here, ever willing to set you free. Watch what is happening. Watch the reaction of this uh, sister after being administered the anointing oil by God's servant, the shepherd man. Watch her reaction. Jesus Christ is still present here today, so setting to the captives free. You say you have destroyed what? <laughs> what have we done to our marriage? As it does. Why? <laughs> she has a star. Yes. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? I mean, it's pretty sharp, but... How did you enter her? <laughs> the, the parents brought her to me. What are the evil you've caused her to do? Not anymore. I don't want her to serve God. You don't want her to serve God? Yes, she has a breast. Now you have a beginning, you have an end. Your end has come now. Out of her! Out! Go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Watch her reaction. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body, all over fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out of her! Watch her reaction, viewers. In Jesus' name. In the combat Thank between you. light and darkness, light always overcomes. So the glory of God, our sister, has been declared free. Jesus, I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Viewers all over the world, continue to watch your screen.
whichever device you're watching us from, connect by faith and touch the screen of your device. And your keys will not escape the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world. As different as our needs are, Jesus Christ is here, meeting them all, one by one, at the points of our needs. Continue to connect by faith. Ush. Continue to connect by faith, viewers all over the world. Watch the reaction of this sister as the man of God approached her. Darkness has no hiding place. Tormented her life. Tormented her life. Oh. She has a spirit of anger and theft. Who gave her spirit of anger? The father friend. Uh -huh. The father took her to the shrine to the friend. Uh -huh. They gave her a heart of a cat. They gave her a heart of a cat. Heart of a cat. Yes, when she was four years. Okay. Since you gave then. it to this lady. Yes. Okay. And ha then. what are the evil you have done to her? Since then, since as the father could not come and pay me for the charm that I did. I okay. possess her with the spirit of oh, theft. Oh, you possess her? Yes. Okay, with the spirit of anger. And theft. What other evil have you caused her to do? That's all. What have you done to her career, marriage? <laughs> Nothing about that. Hmm? Nothing about that. Her family? Now, get out. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out! 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. And down she goes. The spirit of stealing, killing, and destruction you, has been cast out of our sister. As it is happening here, viewers, wherever you are, it is happening there too, if you believe. Watch the reaction of this brother. Continue to watch your screen, viewers. Continue to watch the power of God in action. Jésus Christ n'a jamais dit au revoir, il est toujours à l'œuvre. Plus puissant que durant son séjour. What have you done to this girl? Continue to watch your screen. Watch the they will not succeed. Watch the combat between light and darkness. Who are you? Oh, you are demons have no hiding place where the power of God is. What have you done to our marriage? What have you done to our marriage? No peace. Who is the cause? Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? Family of <laughs> No, you from left. Get out! Out of her! The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Our sister has been set free as the spirit of killing, stealing, and destruction has been cast out of her. Viewers all over the world, continue to watch your screen.
stay connected by faith. Jesus Christ is still doing miracle in the lives of his people. He's still the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus Christ, the Liberator of all times, is always at work here at the Ministry of the Age of the Alliance of God to liberate the souls for the life eternal. Il a donné l'instruction à son serviteur, l'apôtre John G, pour oindre tout le monde qui participera à ce service de la résurrection, qui est la célébration de la Pâque également. Et il a obéi à cela. Il est en train de faire ce travail avec le berger Glassin, afin que le peuple de Dieu puisse témoigner les merveilles de l'Éternel. Il ne ment point. Il est le même hier aujourd'hui à jamais. Observez, touchez l'écran. Watch Priez how our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Dieu vous touche également. is moving through the également. faculties of his servants to attend to the needs of his people. There is no problem Jesus Christ cannot solve. Whatever may be the situation, know that Jesus Christ paid it all on the cross of Calvary. By his resurrection power, everything that has been dead in your life is coming back to life again. By his resurrection power, that Infunctional heart is coming back to life again. Watch the power of God in action through the faculties of his servant, Apostle John Chi. Viewers all over the world, as it is happening here, it is happening there too, if you believe. Continue to connect by faith. Remember that no problem is overdue for Jesus Christ to handle. No situation can be more than our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for he has conquered all on the cross of Calvary. He is still the same yesterday, today, and forever, for he changed not. He is present here today to change your test into a testimony. To turn around that mess into a message. Viewers all over the world, continue to connect by faith. Remain in an attitude of prayer, in an attitude of meditation. The spiritual exercise still continues. And God is using the faculties of his servants to anoint the children of God for greater heights, for greater success, and for breakthrough. As the spiritual exercise continues, viewers, connect by faith, believing that you too are being anointed wherever you are.
There is no situation Jesus Christ cannot handle. By his resurrection power, he's able to turn around that situation that looked ugly and make it into a beautiful one. Continuez d'exercer votre foi, téléspectateurs. Ne gardez pas silence, ne vous découragez pas. Dieu est toujours près de vous. Le pourvoyeur de tous les temps. Le médecin par excellence. Le grand médecin que le monde n'a jamais connu. Est près de vous pour guérir votre cœur blessé. Pour ôter le joug, le fardeau sur votre vie, pour briser la malédiction qui menace votre famille. Lorsqu'il dit oui, nous ne pouvons dire non. Alors invite-le de tout cœur, ouvre la porte de ton cœur, afin qu'il puisse te localiser. Touchez l'écran de votre télévision, confessez tout ce que vous aimeriez qu'il fasse dans votre vie en ce jour. Vous avez les photos des membres de vos familles. Placez cela sur l'écran et priez ensemble avec le serviteur de Dieu, l'apôtre John Chi. Et Dieu changera votre histoire. Il nous a promis la restauration dans le livre de Job, dans le livre de Joël, autant pour moi, chapitre 2, verset 25. Il restaurera tout ce que les, les sorciers, les démons, le péché a dévoré dans notre vie. Alors, il ne mange jamais ce qu'il promet. Il finit toujours par l'accomplir. Connectez-vous. Touchez l'écran. Implorez sa miséricorde et sa faveur. To witness the resurrection power at work here in the power room. God indeed is walking through his anointed servants. Both the apostle and the shepherd man, you can see the effect of God's power flowing here in the power room. Yes, people of God, with your very eyes, you have seen, and with your very ears, you have witnessed, you have heard, as demons are responding to the authority in the mighty name of Jesus, sicknesses responding to the voice of healing, chains being broken, curses being broken, ch chains of addictions being broken, all happening here at the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry. Wherever you are, distance is not a barrier. Connect now by faith and believe that just as you have witnessed with your eyes, as many have received their healing, as many have received their deliverance, as many have been set free from the kingdom of darkness, you too are not excluded. Viewers, continue to watch your screen as you witness God's servants moving among the midst of God's people and anointing them with the oil of victory. Just as David was anointed by King Samuel to become king over Israel and was given numerous victories, you two are going to be anointed today. You are all over the world. You are not excluded from this great package, but you are. So what have you done to him? The bed. Destroy him. What have you destroyed in him? His life. What have you done to his career? I've destroyed. His family? I've destroyed. Who are you in his body? Family altar. How did you enter him? <laughs> How did you enter him? To his dream. Now go ahead. Ow! Oh, name of Jesus Christ. The events taking place. Indeed, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Of God, continue to watch your screen as we witness God. Viewers all over the world, continue to watch your screen. There is no enough physical strength to stop Satan. Satan can only be stopped by the power of God. Continue to watch your screen.
God continues to express himself through the faculties of his servant. As he uses his servant to anoint the people that have come believing God for their healing, deliverance, and breakthrough. Be all over the world, wherever you are, you are not excluded from this great blessing. Place your hand on the screen of the device you're using to watch us. And equally, place a demand on the anointing. Tell God that which you want him to do in your life, in your family, in your ministry. And watch as the resurrection power together, coupled with the anointing, will bring healing, will bring deliverance, will bring restoration, will bring blessing to that situation. You are all over the world, wherever you are, continue to watch if we, and stay in an attitude of prayer. Viewers, you are still witnessing the live Easter Sunday service of the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry. Indeed, in the presence of God, healing, deliverance, and all of God's blessings are just like the air we breathe. That power to heal, that power to bless, that power to save is all being made available. Wherever you are right now is the time to seize the opportunity. Are you on a sick bed? Are you experiencing an addiction of any kind? Be it addiction to drugs, hard drugs, addiction to smoking, addiction to pornography or masturbation? Are you oppressed by the enemy? Are you oppressed in your dreams? Right now is the time to connect and place a demand on the anointing. That as many have come, and are receiving their deliverance. As many have come and received their healings. As many have come and received their breakthrough. You too are not excluded. You are all over the world. Whatever medium you are using to watch us right now. Are you watching us through Facebook? YouTube? The Ark of God TV? The Ark of God TV app? The power of God is very much alive and active. Connect right now by faith. And witness your own deliverance. Witness your own healing. Yes, today commemorates, celebrates the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Indeed, Jesus Christ is going to use the apostle and bring back to life anything that is being dead in your life. Jesus Christ is going to restore you fully to the place you were originally meant to be. He is going to give you victory in every circumstance that has held you back. Be us all over the world, wherever you are, connect now by faith. You cannot afford to go back the same way you came. You cannot afford to go back the same way you came with that problem. Right now is the time to connect and place a demand on the anointing. Just as God's servant is anointing, all are gathered here in the power room today. You two are being anointed for success. You two are being anointed for victory. You two are being anointed for promotion in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus Christ's present day ministry is far greater than his earthly ministry because he is present everywhere through his word and by his spirit. Indeed, Jesus Christ is very much close to you just as he was close to blind Bartimaeus. He is close to you just as he was close to the woman with the issue of blood. Never a sickness, Jesus Christ cannot heal. Never a problem, Jesus Christ cannot solve. Never a burden, Jesus Christ cannot bear. Never a friend like Jesus, never a man like Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world, wherever you are, connect right now by faith and place a demand on the anointing. Remember, distance, space, and time poses no barrier to the move and manifestation of God's power. Are you watching from a different country in or out of Cameroon? Are you watching... From any country, viewers all over the world, the power of God is still very much alive and active. Are you watching the live service or a replay of the service? God's power is still working. Are you in a situation that needs the attention of God? Connect right now by faith and place a demand on the anointing. Yes, people of God, we have people that have converged from all over the world. They have come from Canada, Germany, Mexico. USA, Sudan, France, Cuba, Dominica, Dominican Republic, Jamaica, Costa Rica, <laughs> Libya, <laughs> and many more countries of <laughs> Congress here just believe 
that God is going to restore them through the humble faculties of the servant. What are the evil you have caused this girl to do? Oh, God. You say what? Ah, you should leave me alone. What are the evil you have caused her to do? She's very disobedient. Uh huh. Who is the cause? Me. What are the evil? Uh, what are the evil? Have you caused uh, her to do? Uh, she doesn't like listening to advice. Ah. Uh, Who are you? Uh, that's your husband. Uh, In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Watch your skin. The kingdom's taking place in the mighty name of Jesus. The kingdom, the kingdom of darkness is in place. What have we done to our career? Nothing for the moment. Our marriage? She will never get married. Who says she will never get married? She will married? never get married. Who says she will never I'm get married? I'm the one. I'm the, the one. one. Who are you? My spiritual husband. Now, your spiritual husband. How did you enter her? How did you enter her? True dreams. Now, get out. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All the way. All the way. Fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. All over fire. Out of her. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will watch your screen. Witnesses deliverance. Never again place. enter her. In Jesus' name. Down she goes. Thank you, Lord. Demons Peace remain be. powerless before the God of Apostle John G. Mom. What's the name of your mom? Dongo Ezaida. Call her name. Dongo Eza Ida. Madam, come. You say, what happened to you? Our father has abandoned us since Monday goes. He's no more living with us again. He's living with one poor city. Living with a prostitute? Yes. What happened? My father was another eh? woman. My yeah. father of God another woman. Your father loves you. My father left us to go in a prostitute house, and that woman is using med medicine to control him. How do you know? Be it is because yeah, the problem came in the house. We realized everything. One yeah. day, one day when we were sleeping, my father came. Somebody was knocking the door outside, and we went to look the person. We saw that it was a woman. I went in that house. <laughs> they said, she said, this is where he's living, and this is the child. He has one child with that woman. Several times, he was no more living with us again. I'm the one man of God. You are the mother? Yes, man of God. So how many children do you have? I have four. Four for your husband? Yes, man of God. And what happened? He has abandoned us. He just packed out, he's still living in the, in the neighborhood with a woman. He does not care again. We, we, are, we came from Ecuador again, the opposite man of God. Since on Wednesday, they are here. I am my children. I, did, I, so I just need a transport anywhere to be here to seek for solution. He does not care. I'm the one doing everything. He just packed pack his things, just abandoned us like the man of God and left. He's moving around the town with a woman. Okay, wait for me. Wait for me. Let them wait for me.
You are still still witnessing the live Easter Sunday service, and we are in the power room. Yes, remember the Bible says in Isaiah 53 verse 5, that Jesus Christ was pierced for our transgression. He was crushed for our iniquities. By his stripes we are healed. Remember, this is not the present, but the past tense of healing. This is to tell us that Jesus Christ has already paid the price for all what we need on the cross of Calvary and has perfected it in his resurrection. Wherever you are right now, all what you need, you, you demand from God in terms of healing, deliverance, and breakthrough has already been provided for you on the cross of Calvary. Connect now by faith and believe that Jesus Christ is going to meet you at the point of need. Give us all over the world. Connect right now by faith. As you witness God's servant and ministering spirit-filled prayers to all those who have come here, believe in God for your healing. Give us watch your screen. Watch as this girl is reacting under the power of God. Indeed, that unclean spirit that is tormenting her right now is very uncomfortable in the presence of God. Watch your screen as Jesus Christ is separating her from any force of darkness. The unclean spirit cannot stand the presence of God. Indeed, where the light of God is, demons have no hiding place. Where the ark of God is, demons have no option but to submit to the authority that is in the mighty name of Jesus. Give us all over the world. Continue to watch your screen. Healing and deliverance still continues to take place. Jesus Christ is putting an end to any form of satanic domination in the lives of God's people. Watch as this woman is reacting to the power of God. Indeed, this is to tell us that Satan and his demons are the cause of all the ungodly happenings we see in our society today. They are the cause of pain, sickness, addictions, and afflictions of all kinds. Viewers all over the world, wherever you are, you cannot afford to go back the same way you came. You cannot afford to go back the same way with that condition that brought you here. Right now is the time to place a demand on the anointing and believe that as many as received the anointing, as many as received that anointing to be blessed, that anointing to heal, you two are not excluded from that great blessing. Wherever you are, viewers all over the world, this is still the live Easter Sunday service. Connect now by faith and experience the resurrection power of God walking right now in the power room. Give us all over the world, wherever you are, continue to watch your screen. Regardez la manifestation de cette sillette des spectateurs. Vous voyez que les démons sont la cause des œuvres impies que vous voyez dans le monde. Les démons sont la cause des maladies, de la pauvreté, de toutes sortes de souffrances. Mais dans la présence de Dieu, ils ne peuvent pas résister. Ils doivent quitter vos vies afin que votre vie soit améliorée. L'homme de Dieu, l'apôtre John G., est toujours dans la chambre de puissance avec le berger Glassin pour administrer les prières de foi, les prières de changement, les prières de restauration, les prières qui vont vous amener à un autre niveau. Il suffit simplement de croire. Il suffit simplement d'ouvrir votre cœur afin que Jésus-Christ puisse vous toucher et vous libérer pour la gloire de son nom. La foi croit maintenant, la foi agit maintenant et la foi reçoit maintenant. 
Alors, partout où vous êtes, touchez l'écran de votre télévision avec foi. Tenez-vous également à la brèche des membres de vos familles. Tu connais leur situation, tu sais ce qu'ils traversent. Utilisez les photos, posez sur l'écran et demandez au Seigneur de les toucher partout où ils sont. Utilisez leurs photos comme point de contact, leurs documents, ceux qui sont à la recherche de l'emploi, continuez à méditer.
viewers all over the world the bible says believe in the lord your god and you shall be established believe in his prophet and you shall prosper people of tanzania people of east africa the people of l'afrique de l'est the time has come le temps est venu for divine establishment in your nation pour l'établissement divin dans votre nation in your life dans votre vie in your career dans votre carrière in your business dans votre affaire in your marriage dans votre mariage and in your destiny et dans votre destinée divine establishment in every area of your life l'établissement divin dans tout domaine de votre vie I, Apostle John Chi, moi l'apôtre John Chi, will be at the Benjamin Mutaka National Stadium. Serai au stade si mentionné. With servant of God in this great nation, Tanzania. Avec les serviteurs de Dieu dans cette grande nation, la Tanzanie. This very year, 2024. Cette année 2024. On Friday the 7th, on 8th, of June 2024 le 7 et samedi le 8 juin 2024 for the heal the land africa crusade guérir la nation la croisade de l'afrique prayer line registration is free alors l'enregistrement sur la ligne de prière est gratuite salvation is not for sale prayer line registration will start from the 15th of May to the 5th of June 2024. L'enregistrement sur la ligne de prière va commencer le 15 mai pour s'achever au 5 juin 2024. At Omega Ministries Church of All Nations. Dans l'église aussi mentionnée par l'apôtre John Chi. Mbezi Beach, Africana, Dar es Salaam. À Dar es Salaam, le lieu si mentionné par l'apôtre John Chi. Tanzania. En Tanzanie. Entrance to the stadium is free. L'entrée au stade est gratuite. Salvation is not for sale. Le salut n'est pas à vendre. It's a free gift. C'est un don gratuit. So, people of Tanzania, the people of Tanzania, people of East Africa, the people of l'Afrique de l'Est, the time has come. Le temps est venu. For divine establishment in your nation. Pour l'établissement divin dans votre nation. In your life, dans votre vie, in your career, dans votre carrière, in your business, dans votre affaire, in your marriage, dans votre mariage, and in your destiny, et dans votre destiny, divine establishment in every area of your life, l'établissement divin dans tout domaine de votre vie. I, Apostle John Chi, moi l'apôtre John Chi, will be at the Benjamin Mutaka. National Stadium serait au stade si mentionné with servant of God in this great nation Tanzania avec les serviteurs de Dieu dans cette grande nation la Tanzanie this very year 2024 cette année 2024 on Friday the 7th on 8th of June 2024 vendredi le 7 et samedi le 8 Juin 2024. For the heal the land, Africa, proceed. Guérir la nation, la croisade de l'Afrique. Prayer line registration is free. Alors, l'enregistrement sur la ligne de prière est gratuite. Salvation is not for sale. Prayer line registration will start from the 15th of May to the 5th of June 2024. L'enregistrement sur la ligne de prière va commencer le 15 mai pour s'achever au 5 juin 2024. At Omega Ministries Church of All Nations. Dans l'église aussi mentionnée par l'apôtre John Chi. Mbezi Beach, Africana, Dar es Salaam. À Dar es Salaam, le lieu si mentionné par l'apôtre John Chi. Tanzania. En Tanzanie. Entrance to the stadium is free. L'entrée au stade est gratuite. Salvation is not for sale. Le salut n'est pas à vendre. It's a free gift. C'est un don gratuit. So you are highly welcome. Alors. Viewers all over the world. The Bible says, believe 
in the Lord your God and you shall be established. Believe in his prophet and you shall prosper. People of Tanzania, the people of Tanzania, people of East Africa, the people of Africa de l'Est, the time has come. Le temps est venu for divine establishment in your nation. Pour l'établissement divin dans votre nation. In your life, dans votre vie. In your career, dans votre carrière. In your business, dans votre affaire. In your marriage, dans votre mariage. And in your destiny, et dans votre destiny. Divine establishment in every area of your life. L'établissement divin dans tout domaine de votre vie. I, Apostle John Chi, moi l'apôtre John Chi, will be at the Benjamin Mutaka National Stadium. Serai au stade si mentionné. With servant of God in this great nation, Tanzania. Avec les serviteurs de Dieu dans cette grande nation, la Tanzanie. This very year, 2024. Cette année 2024. On Friday the 7th and 8th of June 2024. Vendredi le 7 et samedi le 8 juin 2024. For the heal the land Africa crusade. Guérir la nation à croisade de l'Afrique. Prayer line registration is free. Alors l'enregistrement sur la ligne de prière est gratuit. Salvation is not for sale. Prayer line registration will start from the 15th of May to the 5th of June 2024. La sur la ligne de prière va commencer le 15 mai pour s'achever au 5 juin 2024. At Omega Ministries Church of All Nations. Dans l'église aussi mentionnée par l'apôtre John Chi. Mbezi Beach, Africana, Dar es Salaam. À Dar es Salaam, le lieu si mentionné par l'apôtre John Chi. Tanzania. En Tanzanie. Entrance to the stadium is free. L'entrée au stade est gratuite. Salvation is not for sale. Le salut n'est pas à vendre. It's a free gift. C'est un don gratuit. So, you are highly welcome. Alors, vous êtes les bienvenus. Come and be blessed. Bénis et soyez bénis. In Jesus Christ's name. Au nom puissant de Jésus Christ. See you. all over the world the Bible says believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established believe in his prophet and you shall prosper people of Tanzania people of East Africa the people of Africa de l'Est the time has come le temps est venu for divine establishment in your nation pour l'établissement divin dans votre nation in your life, dans votre vie, in your career, dans votre carrière, in your business, dans votre affaire, in your marriage, dans votre mariage, and in your destiny, et dans votre destiny, divine establishment in every area of your life, l'établissement divin dans tout domaine de votre vie. I, Apostle John Chi, moi l'apôtre John Chi, will be at the Benjamin Mutaka 
National Stadium. Ferait au stade si mentionné. With servants of God in this great nation, Tanzania. Avec les serviteurs de Dieu dans cette grande nation, la Tanzanie. This very year, 2024. Cette année 2024. On Friday the 7th, 8th of June, 2024. Vendredi le 7 et samedi le 8 juin 2024. For the heal the land, Africa, proceed. Guérir la nation la croisade de l'Afrique. Prayer line registration is free. Alors, l'enregistrement sur la ligne de prière est gratuite. Salvation is not for sale. Prayer line registration will start from the 15th of May to the 5th of June 2024. L'enregistrement sur la ligne de prière va commencer le 15 mai pour s'achever au 5 juin 2024. At Omega Ministries Church of All Nations. Dans L'église aussi mentionnée par l'apôtre John Chi. Mbezi Beach, Africana, Dar es Salaam. À Dar es Salaam, le lieu si mentionné par l'apôtre John Chi. Tanzania. En Tanzanie. Entrance to the stadium is free. L'entrée au stade est gratuite. Salvation is not for sale. Le salut n'est pas à vendre. It's a free gift. C'est un don gratuit. So, you are highly welcome. Alors, vous êtes et bienvenue. Come and be blessed. Bénis et soyez bénis. In Jesus Christ's name. Au nom puissant de Jésus Christ. See you. all over the world the bible says believe in the lord your god and you shall be established believe in his prophet and you shall prosper people of tanzania people of east africa the people of l'afrique de l'est the time has come le temps est venu for divine establishment in your nation pour l'établissement divin dans votre nation In your life, Tom. Stretch out your hand. Étendez vos mains. Right now, begin to take your place in the believers' authority. Maintenant, prends ta place dans l'autorité des croyants. Begin to take your place in the believers' authority. Prends ta place dans l'autorité des croyants. Amen. 
In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Say my soul. Imonam. Magnify the Lord. Magnify l'Eternel. My soul. Mon âme. Exalt the Lord. Exalt l'Eternel. My soul. Mon âme. Praise the Lord. Lou l'Eternel. Right now, begin to ask Jesus Christ. Maintenant, demande à Jésus Christ to come into your life. De venir dans ta vie. And take dominion over you. Et prendre domination sur toi. Ask Jesus to come into your life and take his rightful place. Demande excuse de venir dans ta vie et prendre sa vraie place. Resurrection, la résurrection, is the new and incorruptible body received by those who are raised from the dead by the power of God. Est le corps nouveau et incorruptible reçu par ceux qui sont ressuscités d'entre la mort. The resurrection power of Jesus Christ is coming upon you right now. La puissance de raison de Christ vient sur vous maintenant. Right now, receive the good health that comes from the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. Receive the good health that comes from the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You raise me up so I can stand on Christ we pray. Amen. Jesus Christ has purchased healing. Jesus Christ has purchased la guérison. Deliverance. La délivrance. And all of God's blessings. Et toutes les bénédictions divines. For you and I at the price of great suffering. Pour vous et moi au prix d'une très grande souffrance. No matter what symptoms are present. Quel que soit les symptômes présents. By his stripes you are healed. Par ses maîtres sur vous êtes guéri. By his stripes you are healed. Par ses maîtres sur vous êtes guéri. Jesus is my friend. Jésus Christ est mon ami. My companion. Mon compagnon. And partner. 
et mon père tenait. Begin Comment tu as expérimenté la joie de Begin to experience the joy of resurrection. Comment tu as expérimenté la joie de la résurrection. Begin to experience the joy of breakthrough. Comment tu as expérimenté la joie de la paix. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you in pain? Êtes-vous dans la douleur? In the place of pain. À la place de la douleur. Begin to receive the joy of resurrection. Comment tu as expérimenté la joie de la résurrection? Are you experiencing failure? Est-ce que vous expérimentez l'échec? Begin to receive the joy of success. Comment tu as recevoir la joie de la réussite? Are you facing disappointment? Est-ce que tu fais face à la déception? Begin to receive the breakthrough of resurrection. Comment tu as expérimenté la paix de la résurrection? Are you in want? Êtes-vous dans le besoin? Begin to receive the blessing that comes from resurrection. Commencez à expérimenter les bénédictions qui viennent de la résurrection. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. To resurrect is to ressuscité. bring back to life. Ramener à la vie. Somebody that has died or something that has been in a state of disuse. Une personne qui est morte ou une chose qui a été abandonnée. Whatever in your life. That has been in a state of disuse. Qui a été abandonné dans ta vie. Begin to resurrect right now. Commence à ressusciter maintenant. Begin to resurrect right now. Commence à ressusciter maintenant. Whatever in your health. Quelque soit ce qui est dans ta santé. That has been in a state of disuse. Qui a été dans un état d'abandon. Begin to resurrect in the name of Jesus Christ. Commence à ressusciter au nom puissant de Jésus Christ. Your business begin to resurrect. Tes affaires commencent à ressusciter. Your career begin to resurrect. Ta carrière commence à Your finances begin to resurrect. Tes finances commencent à ressusciter. Your finances begin to resurrect. Your marital life begin to resurrect. Commence à ressusciter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let the power of resurrection fall upon you right now. La puissance de résurrection tombe sur toi maintenant. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Today everything about you is going to resurrect. Aujourd'hui tout ce qui te concerne va ressusciter. Your right to receive healing. Ton droit de recevoir la guérison. Blessings. Les bénédictions. Is based on the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. Est basé sur la puissance de résurrection de Jésus Christ. Anything that shows that has been dead in your life. Qui a été morte dans ta vie. Anything that has been dead in your business. Toute chose qui a été morte dans tes affaires. Anything that has been dead in your career. Toute chose qui a été morte dans ta carrière. Anything that has been dead in your marriage. Toute chose qui a été morte dans ton mariage. Begin to resurrect right now. Amen. Commence à ressusciter maintenant. Be resurrected in the name of Jesus Christ. Be ressuscité au nom puissant de Jésus Christ. Let someone say, I am new now. Que quelqu'un dise, je suis une nouvelle personne. I am new now. Je suis une nouvelle personne. By the power. Par la puissance. Of resurrection. De résurrection. My destiny. Ma destinée. Reject sickness. Rejette la maladie. My destiny. Ma destinée. Reject poverty. Rejette la pauvreté. My destiny. Ma destinée. Reject setback. Rejette la régression. My destiny. Ma destinée. Reject failure. Rejette la l'échec. My destiny. Ma destinée. Reject sickness. Rejette la maladie. My destiny. Ma destinée. Reject failure. Rejette l'échec. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Right now, stretch out your hand. Maintenant, étendez vos mains. Right now. Maintenant. It is time to experience the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. C'est le moment d'expérimenter la puissance de résurrection de Jésus Christ. The resurrection power of Jesus Christ. La puissance de résurrection de Jésus Christ. Is transmitted to his followers. Est transférable à ses disciples. Giving a glorious new existence. Le donnant une nouvelle glorieuse existence. Right now. Maintenant. Begin to receive life anew. Commencez à recevoir la vie. Begin to receive a new life. Commencez à recevoir une nouvelle vie. Begin to receive a new life. Commencez à recevoir une nouvelle vie. Begin to receive a new destiny. Une nouvelle destinée. Begin to receive a new career. Une nouvelle carrière. Begin to receive a new business. Une nouvelle affaire. Begin to receive. Recevez. Let everywhere be silent. Il y a du silence partout. He was tortured. He fit torturé. 
humiliated, humilié, and brutally murdered, et brutalement assassiné, so that you, pour que vous et moi, could receive a life that is fulfilling, que nous recevions une vie qui est accomplissante. He paid the debt he did not owe. Il a payé la dette qu'il n'avait pas. You owed the debt you could not pay. Vous avez eu la dette que vous ne pas pu payer. He has purchased healing for you at the price of great suffering. Il a acheté la guérison pour vous au prix d'une grande souffrance. Right now, picture the cross. Maintenant, regarde la croix. Something is about to happen to you right now. Quelque chose au point de se passer avec That cannot be explained by the human mind. Qui pourrait pas être expliqué selon la Just humaine. look at him on the cross. Maintenant, regarde le sur la croix. Look at your healing on the cross. Regarde ta guérison sur la croix. Look at your deliverance on the cross. Regarde ta délivrance sur la croix. Look at your salvation on the cross. Regarde ton salut sur la croix. Let everywhere be silent. Alors qu'il y ait du silence partout. He has risen. Il est ressuscité. He has risen. Il est ressuscité. He has risen. Il est ressuscité. He is alive. Il est vivant. 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 Let everywhere be silent. Alors qu'il y ait du silence partout. By his resurrection power. Par sa puissance de résurrection. I stand against. Je me lève au contre. Any occultic power. Toute puissance occulte. That is challenging your forward movement. Qui défie votre avancement. By his resurrection power. Par sa puissance de résurrection. I stand against any demonic power. Je me lève au contre toute puissance démoniaque. That is standing against your forward movement. Qui se tient contre votre avancement. By his resurrection power. Par sa puissance de résurrection. I stand against any satanic force. Je me lève au contre toute force satanique. That is standing against your forward movement. Qui se tient contre, contre votre avancement. Resurrection power. Par sa puissance de 